What's up everybody, my name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Alright, so welcome back everybody. This game here is called Goblin Stones. Um, stone. And uh, we have a early, I guess, advanced key review copy to uh, play out, uh, play Goblin Stone before it releases. It's uh, supposed to release today, March 12th. Um, actually, a couple of hours ago, but it, it didn't happen. So now uh, I think it's got a couple of more hours left to go. And we did do a run earlier, and it bugged out. It was a game-breaking bug that caused the um, the base to just stop functioning or working completely because I can't buy, uh, or sorry, I can't build new stuff, new buildings, because it accidentally wiped out my warehouse and all my resources are in the warehouse. And so that means I can't reconstruct the warehouse because all the resources that's used to construct the warehouse is in the um was that was in the warehouse and i can't build anything else because i have to have a warehouse with all my resources in there so that was game breaking and that uh, basically is causing us to start a new run so what is goblin stone about it uh is very similar to darkest dungeon and also has a little bit of a card game mechanic to it. You can't actually do all the available spells or attack moves. You actually draw from your, your, uh, your card pile. And every single character has their own individual card pile. And then you can reshuffle your card pile if you have enough mine points, right? There's a, there's a stat called mine that will basically allow you to redraw if you have high mine points. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start a new story here. Continuing is not gonna work because it just, there's only one save. The game only has one save file and if that one save is broken or bugged, you're screwed and you have to basically play a new story. Now that's the feedback I have for the developers is, hey, you know, you might wanna consider adding multiple saves here, right? So that way we can roll back to certain points in the game that's not bugged. Because if we hit a bug that's totally game-breaking, the run is over. And that's really bad. Um, so yeah. I can't hit continue. So we'll do new story. You, are, uh, you currently have an existing save game. Are you sure you want to start a new game? All save progress will be lost. Yes, I guess so. That's fine. Are you sure you want to delete your progress and start a new game? I mean, I can't do anything else, right? Because it destroyed my warehouse, and I don't have a warehouse anymore. So I tried reloading, and it didn't work. So there's nothing else I can do. So yes, sure. Well, this gives you guys a and chance so to... The story begins. ...to watch this from, from the start. Because I know some, there's a lot of you guys here now, right? Dungeons. A most familiar setting for the earnest adventurer. Dark and musty halls. Teeming with foul creatures, forgotten treasures, and copious amounts of experience points. Entombed in this particular cavernous hallway is an artifact of profound significance. A gemstone like no other. In pursuit of this artifact, three stoic adventurers delve into the darkness, eager to plumb its depths, unwitting to what lies in wait. Okay, so at the very beginning of the game, the first time you do new game, it starts you off with a little tutorial, but it uses the human dwarf and halfling. The actual game itself is all about goblins. So it's kind of weird how the storyteller transitions from these three guys here and then the loot that you get from these guys somehow magically transfers to the goblin later. You'll see that in a little bit, which is really weird. I don't 
I don't understand the the reasoning why we have three guys here that's totally not related to the game itself, right? Thank you for that, Beta DM Dragon. At least now you can punish the goblins a bit at the start for the erroneous ways of building a layer. Yeah, well. Okay, so to move, press and hold left mouse button, alternatively A and D, right? Sure. So I'm gonna do the left and left and right, right? So we're gonna control these guys. Click to climb down. Can I even click on these guys? Oh, I can't even click on their stats. Click to climb down. Thank you, by the way, for reporting the bug for me. That really needs to be addressed before they release the game. Because otherwise, they're going to get so many bug reports. Ah, the common goblin. Widely regarded as a hideous and feeble minion. Okay, the battle time. Eager to advance the future of its experience points. They assaulted. Combat is turn-based. Everyone falls in line to attack. All foes... Kill all foes to win the battle. And so this top bar here is basically the timeline. And these are the, uh, the turn notches, right? So depending on where you are on these turn notches, um, you you get to go in your particular order, right? And they compare, basically. The closer you are to the center, uh, basically determines the, your turn order. Everyone will move to the center along this timeline, or this time bar. When a character reaches the middle, their turn starts. So, down here, basically, is the card mechanic. This reminds me a lot of Hearthstone. Uh, you only have up to three slots to choose from, so if you have more abilities than the three, it gets uh, put in a draw pile. And then you have an option to redraw if you have uh, high intelligence, which is, it's called mine. And we all actually get the stats for these guys because this is the demo. Oh, I had to, oh we do get the stats for it here, right? We do get a little stats here. No, we don't get the stats here. It doesn't show the mine stats. Okay, no, it's fine. All right, so the ability, this that ability will move you back two, two little notches, right? It costs two notch back. So we're gonna go attack this guy for six points, and then it moves that guy back. Two on the timeline bar. After attacking, position changes. All right, and this guy has hack. This is the dwarf for eight points of damage. It will kill the goblin. A loot bag. An honest reward for dispatching the squalid creature. Okay, I'm gonna open the loot. Most foes drop valuable items when killed. Choose loot carefully. You only have limited bag space. Okay. Now this somehow magically transfers to the goblin later. Perhaps the next yield will be a bit more substantial. Okay, there's nothing here to loot, right? Climb down. Oh, scary. Climb down. More goblins. It appears that ill fortune has beset these hapless few. Their companion lies crushed beneath the rubble. Oh no. Poor goblin. He's like crying. Oh, another one joins the battle. They attack the goblins in distress. These goblins are weak. 10-10. The next indicator shows whose turn is coming up. Okay, first, that's me. You can use this ability now that there's more foes. Okay. 
like throw the stones. I don't need to. I'd rather use this. Listening to that direction is actually bad. Yeah, they're... Telling me to use that other ability was a bad idea. Hey, useless Eperu. Welcome. And good morning. Thank you, Dan, for those redemptions. And Deviant Chase 2 for the redemption. Alright, easy peasy. Poor goblins. Alright, I'll take them a loot. Such a dismal bounty. One must slay great quantities of goblin for a decent recompense. Mm-hmm. Fine. We're going deeper and deeper into the dungeon. They chance upon greedy little burglars. Treasure rightfully theirs, be plundered in front of their very eyes. Indeed. In front of their very eyes. Quickly, they interrupt and lay clay to the treasure. Oh, three again. Six points, right? Yeah, it's better to just take them out. It doesn't really matter what these guys' health are like, because we're switching to a different party at the end, so... So I don't really... it does not matter who I... if they, these guys die or not. Goblin B, Goblin C? Oh, these nameless goblins. Well, this time around, I'll make sure that I don't have a wounded. They soon realize they have no chance at survival. In desperation, they hurl their loot at the assailants. Without tally, the goblins withdraw into the Sanctuary of Darkness. How strange. These creatures were fully expected to die. Perhaps their journey will be worth following. So now we follow these guys. And then you'll see here in a second the loot. Two little goblins. One despondent, one morose, and both with the shivers. So yeah, you'll see that in a second here that the loot that we got with those three initial adventures somehow got transferred to these guys. So that part was kind of weird. Occasional snack for a hungry goblin. At this size, however, the roles are reversed. Okay, this guy has five points. And this has a inflict stun. Let's go ahead and do that. Three damage and stun. Nice. One of your characters is tired. This happens after using an ability with a high cost. Characters that are tired take more damage when attacked. Oh. 
Oh, tired is in the back bar here, right? Beyond two. Okay. Uh, characters in this area are tired and are more vulnerable to attacks. All damage taken is increased by 15% per stack. Which is fine. I should be able to kill him off though before he does anything. Yow life eater. As the goblins dispatch the threat. Yeah, see? <laughs> So basically, the loot that the humans got, somehow I got. And the, th the difference here is I actually can't control my loot bag either. Doesn't go anywhere, right? Yeah. There, a light. Finally, a path out of this abyss. This abyss. Oh, there's a shiny here. Oh, that's the stone, right? That's the stone. A familiar feeling beckons to them. A glint beneath the rubble. Mm hmm. The goblin stone. Uh oh. Ambush. When characters are surprised in battle, they start further back on their time bar. This allows their foe an advantage. Uh oh. Shit. I need to make sure he's not mortally wounded. Hmm. No, it's fine. Let's see if we can kill him before. Nope, not happening. Uh, no, let's go ahead and try to kill him. It might crit. No, oh, damn it. That might actually be bad for me. This will cause him to get tired, right? We don't want that. Oh shit, my next guy is... It's gonna take... Damage. Four. Okay, he won't be mortally wounded, right? So that's fine. Crit, nice. It's only four damage. Okay, two. He's not mortally wounded, right? He's still alive. Yeah, he's not mortally wounded. Smack. We need to make sure he doesn't die, though. They survive the ambush. Otherwise, I don't get the maximum loot yield. Take the yeah, I'll take the stone. Of course, right? That's why we're here. The goblin stone. Looks like the characters from Lords of the Ring. As curiosity surpasses reason, they unearth the strange object. The golem. It indeed appears to be the artifact the adventurers so fervently coveted. As the stone awakens from its slumber, it radiates a light both beautiful. And blinding. Strange spirits emanate from the stone. They swirl and undulate in jubilation. As the awestruck goblins peer into the brightness, the spirits speak out. They bid the goblins to seek a sacred place deep within the woods, and there rest the stone. Faced with such a spectacle, the goblins muster what they can to break their stupor. They pocket the stone and head for the surface. All right. Let's go. 
I need to get food, right, to heal that guy. Oh, okay, so here's a chance to get food. But the spider is in the way. The old wood. Or woods? Woods. The old woods? I can't, I forgot to see the, was it Astro at the end of it or not? Coming into the light. They are greeted by spring winds and the echo of new leaves stirring in the breeze. Okay. Rest the stone. The mysterious stone has told of the ruins within these woods. The goblins have been charged to seek it out and place the stone inside. Okay, so we need to do the quest. Alright. Leave the woods. Woods, right? Find the ancient ruins. Rest the stone. And then we get loot. Is there anything here I can pick up? Alright, we are at the very end. I think there's a spider. A cozy fire welcomes the wayworn. Let's heal. They rest and reflect upon the day's events. I don't think that's like, gonna be enough though. It's definitely not enough. 20% is not anything, yeah. Here you can view each of Goblin's stats, abilities, and manage their equipment. You can also reorder their combat positions to suit your strategy. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I had to, I started a new game. There's nothing I can do about it. I mean, it's either that or end stream, right? Or start a new game, or, or a different game. So I started a new game, or a new story. It deleted my other save. I can only have one save. So that also sucks, right? There's only one save file. So if I start a new one, new story, basically it just wiped out my last progress, which kind of sucks. It's very disappointing, actually. Hopefully the developers will fix that. Got an answer on the food and temporary items. Someone in the dis uh, Discord is claiming that food items are automatically sold at the end, but you don't get anything from temporary items. Not a dev, so it may not be 100% reliable. Yes, thank you for that. Yeah, I would like a dev to, to tell me that, because I'm assuming that it, it would be sold. It looked like it was sold at the end. Now, the the temporary items has zero sell value, but unused temporary gems automatic looks like they have a sell value, so they might be sold. So I'm leaning towards the fact that they might be sold, so that person might be right. All right, so unknown enemies with these potential loot, right? And I'm okay with this particular order. Oh, okay, it automatically refreshes their health for us. Perfect. Huh, interesting. Well, that's good. A bittersweet reunion, as they discover their camp had been further ravaged by adventurers. A goblin lies barely breathing. Their dungeon loot was never treasure. But medicines direly needed for their wounded. With their loot now lost, they wallow in despair. A queer sensation interrupts the morose scene. As the stone artifact acts on its own accord, the group beholds the spectacle agape with wonder. The languishing goblin is bathed in a warm glow. Its wounds slowly mend as it returns to health. As the light subsides, bewilderment gradually gives way to joy. Oh, we're alive, Jan. It's a miracle. Reunited, they now set out for the forest's edge. Did the developer say anything about 
to respond to the bug, because I would really like to know what's going on with the bug. That, that warehouse deletion somehow, I don't know how that warehouse got deleted, but that is really, really bad. That's game breaking. Let's take this first before making a choice. Ooh, nice. I'll take all of it. Your raider can use this weapon. Click on it to equip. Next one. We got two raider weapons, right? They're not temporary, right? They're both real. Okay. And so I can choose either the top path or the bottom path. Oh wait, okay, never mind. The bottom path is... I remember now. The bottom path I can't... I'll show you guys. I already know the answer to this, so... I can't open the door. It requires a stone or a key. The way is shot. Right. So there's only one way. Which is to the right, top side. We'll come back to the bottom later. They chance upon a carcass concealed by the stench. A small trove of unclaimed meat and giblets. Giblets. I'll take it. Scavenge to the bone. Leaving nothing to waste. Wait, that's it? Oh, my last playthrough, I actually was able to loot this twice. So that was very RNG based. Last game, I actually was able to loot that twice and get an extra item or extra items for two. Among the treasure. A lone iron key. What might it unlock? Oh, must be that door. Mm. Yeah, the, hopefully there's a solution to that. I mean, I exited the game and relaunched the Steam, so that means there's no new updates. The iron key unlocks the gateway. The path forward becomes clear. Okay. And now we have a doggy. We ambush the doggy. 24-24 or 28-24? Yep. dreadful beasts. Their filthy more salivate for goblin flesh. I don't want to redraw, right? I don't think that I need to redraw, do I? He's got- oh, he has Exterminate, but Exterminate can't be used on the first turn anyways. So, it doesn't matter, right? One, two, three, four. Um, none of those are really that good. Slash is probably the best still. There's no reason to redraw. Um, let's see here. I could push it back, right? Or do I smack it? Second? And he goes next. The next guy- oh, okay, the next guy might kill him. We'll see. No, he won't. Twelve. Twelve is kind of high. Oh, maybe if I crit, right? But then he'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Hopefully we crit. No, no crits. No such luck. Darn it. Let's shove this guy. Still didn't make a difference. What's this gonna do? Deals 50% damage if the target has bleeding. No, alright. Go with us. Can I shove him? I can shove him back, right? I wanna be able to kill the other guy. 
Nice, good. Shove worked. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. Damn. There you go. Took the guy in the back out. Nice. Okay. What's red do? Red pushes it all the way back. We got him. We got him! We got him down. A goblin's world is full of peril, and there are many who hunt them. Yeah, like the wolves. Well, why is this not healing me? It needs to heal me. Harvest. Take it. One more harvest. Yeah, see on my other playthrough, I actually got meat from the caucus. Well, that did not... It's definitely RNG. Heals for 10. That's fine. Let's go. Are we almost there yet? Almost there yet? They breach through to the edge of the woods. At last, they find a pathway out and venture into the open world. That's a lot of stones. Okay. Are we at the end yet? No. 81%. Venture into the unknown. We are out of the woods. Now we need to find the ancient ruins. We'll have to do a boss battle, the innkeeper. Okay, this time we actually got more loot because no one was mortally wounded. Nice. The so last game, one of our guys was wounded. Okay, so spiders and wolves. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with this. Magic damage bypasses armor, make making it effective against armored foes. Oh. Cool. No sparkles. They enter a deeper part of the woods. The scent of danger lingers heavy. Danger lingers heavy. Ahead, an adventurer rests. Quietly, they sneak. We sneak. We ambush them, right? Caught off guard. Yeah. for battle. I'm thinking. Mac. Smack. He should die before he even gets it. Yeah, Dude, that guy just did a little roll tumble. To be felled by the goblins he hunts. How shameful! Oh, how shameful! His quarry watches you from behind iron bars. More junk. All right. Choose. There's only one. 
Oh, well, there's only one to choose, right? 60 30? Ooh, it's a rate. Oh, it's a guard, right? It's a guard. Hmm. You know what? I'll put him in the front. Yeah, it's fine, right? Eight, six, nine. Join us. We'll be honored if you Under join the us. One joins their company. This fellow is clad in armor. Yeah, we would be most honored if you joined us. I think his weapon is real. Right? Oh, it's oh, look at that. That's actually amazing. This run rolled. If you restart the game, you actually get different, different uh, weapons. Because I did not get a double socket. Interesting. So the loot does change in the in the tutorial run. A fork in the path. The path will not. Uh, will often split in two, each offering it, its own allure and possibilities. Both paths will eventually lead you to your goal. Once you have chosen a path, you will no longer be able to trend, tread the other way. Okay. It's very interesting. That does not have a socket, right? That doesn't have a socket. They're both the same, right? In terms of raider stats. One has mind, the other one has... One has more mind than the other. This guy actually has more mind than the other one. Interesting, huh? I'm wondering if these rolls are different. Warful fours are pretty bad, terrible. The peons are pretty terrible, actually. The peons are the same. Yeah, I think I think loot is better. Once you commit to a path, you can no longer return to the previous room. Yep. Okay, we figured that out already. Yep, money. I'll take the money. Give me a weapon. Okay, we got food. No, well, can't complain about food. Yeah, it's food. Oh, they both were the same, right? They're but but basically either yeah, one or the other. Oh, 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 shiny. Oh, actually paying attention to the shinies. There's no blue shinies, right? Blue sparkles. No, no, no blue sparkles, right? They can no longer turn back. Uh, yeah, we already figured that out. Blue sparkles gets you loot. Hidden sparkles. Yeah, Nothing there's no more. Must be wasted. Nothing left. No more blue sparkles, right? There was once a time when goblins were plentiful in these woods. These few, the last of the green goblins, are all that remain. Oh, what's this? That's new. I don't I don't recall doing that last time. Diligence there. Maybe I did, I don't know. I can't recall of doing that. That might be new. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. More blue sparkles. Look at that. I've been missing out on all these sparkles. Hmm. 
They happen upon a downtrodden orc still clad in rags and shackles. At his feet, a freshly dug grave adorned with a bone club buried in the barrow. The goblins timorously disturb the orc in his mourning. Uneasily, they speak to him, ask about a nearby ruin in these woods. Barely noticing their presence, the orc wipes away a tear with one hand as he raises the other to give direction. Politely thanking the grieving orc, the goblins discreetly withdraw and leave him to his sorrow. Leave him to his sorrow. Is there loot here? Is there loot here? No loot, right? No loot. No loot. Oh, well, this is just story. Campfire. Everyone's healed. So we want speed, right? Since everyone's healed. A place of tranquility yeah. and rest. Let's go with the right. They settle in, weary of the road. 5% speed boost for everybody. I should actually say that over here. Nothing good. It doesn't say for some reason. All right, treasure, right? I prefer treasure. Yeah, treasure versus yeah, treasure versus harvest. No blue sparkles, right? Okay. Is that it? Oh, that's all you got for me? That's terrible. Maybe I should have harvest. Yeah, I probably should have harvest, because then I might have gotten... You, you saw blue sparkle? Did you? Let me go back. I don't see a blue sparkle. Dart of the last? They can no longer turn back. I don't see a blue sparkle. I don't see any blue sparkles. Hmm. Not hundred percent sure. Oh, okay. I don't think I saw anything. Ambush, right? Nope. Not an ambush. Twenty-four, twenty-four. 24-24. Chance to bleed. Did not bleed. Chance to stun. Did not stun. 9 out of 11. Please give me a crit. Oh, no crit. Y'all... Y'all feeder, y'all feeder. Bam, nice. Bye bye, Wolfie. Chance is done, no. Chance to bleed, please. Nope. Nice, it attacked my my uh, guard, which is good. Easy peasy this time around, right guys? A little punch in the face. Smack. A crippling strike. A crippling strike. Do -do -do -do. That's all you got for me? Come on. 
just beyond an old forgotten watchtower, held fast by a great forest tree. That is a blue sparkle right there. Okay. Cool. We got some some loot there. Yeah, keep my eyes peeled for some blue sparkles. One more battle after this. Any blue sparkles. You gotta keep the eye on the rail. Oh, oh. Humans. Thirty percent? No meat, though. Okay, good enough for me. Uh, when you run into enemies from behind, it's a chance for ambush, but not guaranteed. They don't tell me an exact percent for the for the lease, but I think there was 50% on one of the demos. It could be modified by some shrines and maybe other things I'm unaware of. Alright, well, let's find out if we can ambush him. Nope, nope, that's just luck. Humans have taken the way. The road ahead will not be easy. Yeah, we started over, Shepin. <laughs> We had to. I mean, it was game breaking, right? The bug just basically put me in a situation where I can't do anything. Foes with armor are harder to beat since it reduces the amount of damage they, they take from attacks. But some special attacks like bleed will ignore armor. Okay, good to know. Hopefully we'll bleed this guy out. Yes, thank you for that. chance to stun him and this is a hundred percent stun yeah let's go with a hundred percent stun nice wakey 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 deal 65% chance twice if the target is stun freeze or slow um, add a finale for 50 for 70 percent. So that means 5.5 should be times two. So that means 11 points plus another 70 percent, right? Nicely done. Oh no, I didn't finish him though. But he's stunned for at least one turn. Let's see if I shove him. It's not going to be a good idea. I should just smack him. Because the bleed might actually kill him. Hmm. If I shove him, the other guy goes first, right? Oh, oh shit. Alright, that did not pan out the way I want it. Exterminate! Exterminate! Yeah, nice. First foe is slain. Nice. Exterminate! The dialect from the uh, Doctor Who. A staggering hit. He should die, right? We're good, right? Loot? I'll take it. What do we got here? You need some heals. And you... What is 30% of 26? It's definitely... Almost 10. 10% 10 gets me a little bit more. Yeah. 
Alright, who do I take? Oh, there's only one choice. Actually, I won't want the higher damage up front. This guy is guard, right? Now yeah, let's switch it. Let's see if that makes a difference. All right, let's go. I did that. I already added the new goblin. Let's join us. This captive is garbed in peculiar vestments. It appears quite grateful and joins the group. No, no shinies on the back, right? I don't see any shinies. I think this is it, right? There's nothing else. We now battle. We enter a new battle, right? Those guys are doing the uh quietly. The goblins approach the ruins, peering from behind a bush. They watch nervously as a pair of human adventurers awkwardly stumble out of the ruins. Deeming it too dangerous to proceed, they search for a more discreet way to enter the ancient ruin. Those guys were doing the Egyptian. The bangles, right? They definitely look like they were doing the Egyptian walk. At Ron Empire, just uh, got a response on the bug report from a dev. They're actively working on a fix right now. Oh, thank God. And uncomfortably narrow tunnel. They miserably crawl through the crannies until they reach the tunnel's end. Unbeknownst to the goblins, they find themselves intruding into a human infested establishment hidden beneath the tree. The crowd scatters in a frenzy at the sight of the unexpected trespassers. As the chaos ebbs, a surly innkeeper and his flunkies are all that remain. He turns to the goblins with a baleful glare, intent on exacting retribution. Retribution. I mean, how did they even miss that bug, right? In the, in the 11th hour of releasing the game. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty critical bug, right? I'm surprised no one else found that bug. I'm always like a bug magnet. Every time I play early release games, I'm always finding bugs to report. Foes may use status effects like haste to gain advantage. Counter this by inflicting stun or slow. However, be cautious as foes slowly build resistance to effects used on them, right? So we can't always cons constantly stun and slow. Yeah, we've seen many, many hours of the game and it was a new one for me. Yeah, see? <laughs> I'm just a bug magnet, that's all I can tell you. Oh, he actually summoned these guys early. Last game he he summoned he didn't summon them. Interesting. Fifty fifty, right. Oh, nice slow. Okay. 9 to 11, right? Chop, chop, chop. Give me a crit. Yo, Precise. we got a crit. <laughs> nice. Beautiful crit. He's got bleed. Perfect. Let's, let's, uh... Let's see here. Should I roll him for a stun? Sure, let's do a stun on him. Well, hang on, it's four to six. I mean, my guy is guard, right? The next guy is gonna take damage. Four to six, with a chance to stun, right? I'm gonna take that chance. Oh, didn't happen. Didn't happen. One second, should I push him back? Hmm, if I push him, he gets... he has to wait for two, right? He 
he goes next, basically. I can stun him. And then the next guy could probably finish him off. Oh, come on. Alright, what was that? He has haste now, right? I don't know if that's a good idea, because he's going to call one more guy. Let's go with this. Because he can only have, like, two guys. Oh, he's bleeding, too, so I don't have to worry about that. He's probably going to die off, anyways. What is a slow chance? Nice. Bleed. Oh, look at this. Ew. Exterminate. Or bleed chance. Well, if I do this, he's going to get really pushed fat back. Let's just go ahead and try to bleed him down. And I go into the other zone. The tired zone. Nine to eleven, yeah. Four to six with a sun chance, I'll take it. What's the stun resist? Twenty percent? Uh, okay, he goes next, right? Nice, nice, he's stunned. Okay, bleed chance. Do I push him? I don't know if I should push him. I don't think he's he's got 100% resist to push. I can't push him. Hang on. What's his stun chance resist? He's got 70 resist to stun. I don't think that's a good idea either. Let's go with this one. More cooks. No. no. Oh no. 9-11, please, crit. No. Shit, no such luck. So, okay. Please crit. Okay, slow. Slow is good. I'll take it. Cook dies. He's resist to st stun by 50-50, right? 50-50 chance. Damn it. Not good. More cook. Okay, good, good, good. Oh no. What does this one do? Intercept a foe and gain armor. Now let's just keep beating this up. Oh, ow, ow, owie. It's gonna take a while to bring that guy down. Oh, he got smacked hard or slowed. Crit. No. Oh. Hmm. I should shove him, right? Well, he has fine. Let's just kill him off. Because that way, this guy will just end up calling another cook. What I thought. And he puts him for forward. Okay. Boom. Okay, he's slowed. Good. Oh shit. What was that? Oh, stun on my mage. Very bad.
We're still good though, right? We're still good. Let's shove him back. So I can attack the front guy. Tool gatherers. <laughs> Tool gatherers. Oh no, another stun. Shit. This is bad. Can I push this guy back? Yeah, I could. I need him. I need to attack him down. Oh, come on. Damn it. Okay, that kills the guy. I mean, none of this really matters. I need to kill this guy. The big guy. Do I target the big guy? Nice. can't... no, it's fine. Fine, just kill him. Well, he just calls the other guy to the front. Yeah, it's fine, take this guy out. Nice, okay. Opportunity right here. Nope, didn't happen. Six to eight. Nice, he's got bleed. Nice, nice, nice. Shit. That is terrible. The long battle. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he didn't take damage. Oh, he's bleeding though. He's bleeding. Oh, he blocked it! Oh, blocks three. Oh, that didn't do anything. That did not do anything. It's blocked three. Hang on. This might actually help him bleed, right? He's got double bleed. He should die, actually, at this point. By the time he gets to us. Yeah. Got it, right? Do I still have to fight him? Oh, I do have to fight him. Yes. My guys should level up super, super good for this, but they don't. It's not how it works. Bam. Vile cretins. We made it. Yay. Ooh, nice hand bat. They can carry no more. Well, not like I can do anything else, right? Which one do I want? This guy equips it, right? He gets more damage. Okay, that's fine. Alright. They can carry no more. I'm full, right? We can't carry well, it's not like we can carry anymore anyways. Alright, that's perfectly fine. Exit right. Uh they have to do fusion dance breeding to get stronger goblins, yeah. Counters right next harvest, yeah, next. Cool. Amazing loot. Cool. Weapons abilities may inflict status effects. For example, a shield bash has 20% chance of sun. Okay. 
the goblins descend through an old garbage chute as their eyes adjust to the darkness. An uncanny landscape of endless human refuse reveals itself. Ooh. Hopefully the game does not bug out this time around. Each goblin lair begins with the Ancestors Hall, the sacred dwelling place for the souls of ancestral goblins. The strength of the lair will depend on the souls of its deceased. Yes, we already know that. Recalling what the stone has told them, they come to the realization that beneath all the filth lies what they seek. Stone in hand, they gingerly place it atop the edifice. Suddenly, as if disturbed from a great slumber, violent waves erupt, filling the cavern with relentless energy. Mounds of human waste are swept aside by the vindictive force revealing the great goblin lair, previously thought to have been lost to antiquity. Ooh. The Goblin Lair. I'm the Green Goblin. No Spider-Man's here. Rest the stone. I completed the quest. I got all these materials. Continue. With the Goblin Stone in place, the lair can be rebuilt. Begin by building a war room. I can't take all, right, because I don't have... Claim all items before starting your next adventure or lose them forever. I can't take it because I don't have a, a warehouse. Because we ran into that problem last time. I'm not, I'm not willing to click on that. I think I can't click on it anyways, right? Well, I don't think... <laughs> I don't want to click on that and cause it to bug out. I don't want to be the first to figure this out. Because <laughs> last time, that bugged out too. War room, right? Let's just build a war room and stick to the plan here. Let's not screw up. These are the ruins of a once great a great war room where the ancient goblins plotted their grand adventures and expeditions. Rebuild it and unlock the endless adventures that await in the vast world beyond. Alright, so the, when the game bugged out, it was because I was moving rooms around. And I don't think I should be moving rooms around until they have a fix, right? Okay, War Room. This is where the adventuring party gathers, ready to be equipped and outfitted for the challenge ahead when you're all set. Select the, select the map to embark on your adventure, sure. The team will assemble here. Many expeditions await them. Okay. Let's go and restore the, build the campground. Spelling mistake, right? I don't know, I, I didn't notice the spelling mistake. Wandering goblins gather here to squat on your land and marvel at the lair. Many seek admittance, admittance. recruit a few of them to create an adventuring party, sure. And goblins and merchants congregate on these grounds. Yeah, it would, it would be really cool if they actually add in Twitch integration that pulls chat and names our goblins after chat. I mean, I can manually name them too if I want to, right? Alright, what's the next one? Construction law, yeah, well, we want to do that, right? To store our, our materials. Yes, leather, yes, fiber, yes. It was instantaneous. Yeah, I've heard the suggestion for Twitch integration a couple of times. Yeah, all right, that's good. I'm not the only one thinking about that. Larder serve as a ded dedicated storage room, uh, rooms. As dedicated storage rooms for treasure and materials. 
used for construction, right click on any item in the larder to access and view the uh, available option for that item. Okay. Ample room for the magnificent spoils that await. Hmm. Okay. And now what do I do? I gotta get an armory in there, right? Okay. It's instantaneous. Usually it takes like a day, so. I should have had that as my, oh my god. Are you sure you want to build an armory? Yes. Yeah, it's fine. I kind of wanted the storage room over there, but I'm, I'm afraid to move. I'm afraid to move things around now, so. Welcome to your cache of weapons. Equip uh, them via a goblin's character sheet to directly from here, or, or directly from here. To uh, arm your goblin, right click on a weapon. Okay, weapons, yeah. Both mundane and magical will find their way here. Okay, well, everything's already equipped, so I don't want to mess with that. All right, my next task is what? Explore the Merry Foothills? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and recruit these guys. Hurtslinger. Every goblin comes with a unique genetic code generating genetic traits that modify stats and abilities. Each goblin can have up to four traits, but only two can be active at any time. Okay. All right, this guy has nothing. No traits. This guy, rescuing goblin captives, could unlock new genetic traits for breeding. The more captives you save, the closer you get to collecting them all. As you progress, you will discover more powerful traits. So Pokemon time, right? If you would like, you can get two souls right now. I could get two souls right now, huh? This is a rookie, though. That's a rookie. This guy has alert and flabby. This guy has religious. Well, let's go ahead and take all of them. There's no reason not to, right? Because I have the space. About, eager for admittance. How best to sort the distinguished? I do have the space. The two peons of my party. Um, which one? That guy I can't get, right? He's, okay, yeah, that, that guy I can get rid of. 26-5? I can get one soul off that guy. Yeah, let's do that. They prosper. He's not that what great anyways. What about this guy? Pulp Carver, he's also kind of crappy, right? Yeah, let's get rid of him too. He doesn't have any traits, right? He doesn't have any traits. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. They're free now to live a life of their own. Okay. This guy, I can't, right? There, I can't get souls off of him. Yeah, he, he has no souls. But he does have traits. No, he doesn't have any traits. All right, well, that guy is going on to the adventure. All right. How many guys do I have now? I have seven guys, right? I mean, there's nothing else I can do right now, right? I can't sell anything either. Um, I could excavate, right? Or no? Can I excavate? It won't let me excavate. Oh, it won't let me excavate. I don't, it won't let me excavate, right? For some reason, it won't let me excavate. Not until after the quest? Okay. Yeah, okay, won't well, let me excavate until next turn. Okay, alright. So... I guess I gotta go out, right? 
All right, so we only have like what? I want the mage in the front. I want the damage dealer front. Another damage dealer. I want the guard. And which one of these guys do I not want? What's this guy's ability? What's his gene? Oh, he's got alert and flabby. What's this, this guy's gene? Religious. This guy's got nothing. But he's got pretty good health. You know, I'm gonna take this guy. He's gonna be the one we're definitely retiring, right? Because he has no traits, so there's no reason to keep him around. I can't use him to breed. So if he becomes veteran, I can get a soul off of him. And this guy's really bad, right? He's really bad in terms of combat. I mean, if I take him, he can be a veteran. I can use him to breed later. And get rid of him. I think we're going to end up finding somebody along the journey anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I should probably bring... No, I need to bring this guy because he's got the most health. The damage does kind of suck, though. I'm, I'm just afraid this guy might get hurt. He might get one shot. Alright, we'll, we'll go with this for now. I might be able to swap this guy out, though, later. Alright, let's go with this. Oh, Alright, don't have a choice. Let's go. Select a region to see the available adventurers. Embark on your on adventures to gather materials for your lair. Your first adventure awaits at the Merry Foothills. Okay, sounds good to me. Let's go. Merry Foothills, right? That's my only choice. Uh, we got some humans. We got some wolves and spiders. We're gonna get wood and we're gonna get some money. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with this setup. Do, 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 do. Is the game out yet or no? Careful now. These places are unknown. Okay. Any blue sparkles? Blue sparkles? No blue sparkles. Yet. One more hour? 39 minutes? Okay. Hopefully it's fixed before then. And then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll exit and reload it. Blue sparkles? No blue sparkles, right? What the top one? Smithy versus the battle. Oh, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Harvest. Okay, I'll take it. These will be put to good use. Yeah, I found it. Yeah, I saw it. Alright, what do you guys think? The smithy, right? I think the smithy might upgrade my weapons or some shit. Let's go down first to see what's downstairs. Nothing down here, right? No, alright, let's go... What's this one? Why is that sparkling? Yeah, let's go up. You what you think? There's two smithies. How much money do I have? I don't have any money, right? So you're thinking I shouldn't go to the smithy, right? But the other one is battle. I guess, okay, battle gets me money. Alright, alright, let's go down to the bottom then. 
You spend gold you found during the this outing only. Can't use money from base to pay for upgrades. Oh, so I don't have any money. Okay, let's fine. Let's go. Let's go to the battle then. The smithy is a trap. Then is what you're saying. Ambush. Yeah, ambush. Nice. We got a little jump on them. Smithy is absolutely strong if it's later into the outing. Okay. Well, I have no money, so... I guess I can't do anything about it. What's this one do? Increases the speed of my characters. Ooh, 10 to 12. Oh, I love how he tumbles. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, that was amazing. Away with you. Away with you. Okay, six, four, six, bash chance. Oh, yeah. Stun. Beautiful. Beautiful. One to two. Oh, this is the shitty guy. <laughs> this is the shitty guy. That's... Sh that guy we want to get rid of. Yeah, sure. A shattering blow. The unsavory lot will bother them no more. All right, give me a second. I need a cough. Okay. All right, let's open this up. Gold? Ugh, not a whole lot, guys. Weak sauce, loot. That was weak sauce! Oh, so weak sauce. Alright, we gotta get these spiders out because they do poison, right? Oh, oh no, they don't do poison. These are non-poisonous spiders. Yeah, they don't do poison. Easy, right? Hang on. It's all the same, right? That's yeah, fine. It's all the same. Yes, please crit. No crit. All right, one down. And then the shitty guy. <laughs> and then the shitty guy. Oh, come on. I probably should have used the shitty guy to push him. An unpleasant encounter. Hmm, 60. Now that's useful. Hmm. No meat. So what do you think? Shop or smithy? Should I go to the shop or should I go to the smithy? I don't know. I don't know what the shop has. I could get a weapon with a shop. The smithy could upgrade my weapons, what you're saying, right? I didn't miss any blue diamond swirl sparkles, right? Upgrades are temporary, but strong. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna go with the shop. Maybe we can buy permanent weapons.
An intriguing selection. Oh, these are temporary. Well, I should probably buy... Resources. Oh, I don't have any money. It's 50 coins though, right? It's 50 coins. I don't know if it's worth it. Is it worth it? I mean, I do need fiber for later, right? I don't know if it's worth the spy materials that we get it for sure. No, is it worth it? Should I buy this? What do you think? Or should I save it? It's one of the biggest bottleneck from what I've seen. Fiber? So I should buy the fiber then, yeah? All right, let's buy the fiber then. I only have any. Just what's needed. Bone is harder to find. Okay. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and leave then. Let's harvest some stuff. No one has seen any blues, right? This will come in handy. No blues. Nothing else, right? Nothing else. And now we do a final battle. We get a harvest before then. Maybe. Ow! Nice, I got a little jump on him. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. Alright, Mr. Spider. 9 to 10, 9 to 11, yeah. Oh. 4 to 6 with a chance of stun, yes. I'll take it. Oh yeah, even better. 9 to 10. Hmm. This guy is really crappy. Let me push this back. Oh, come on. Oh, no. My mage. Alright, not bad, not bad. I'm okay. I'm okay. Intercept. It doesn't do damage, though. That's fine. It's like six levels away. Or six turns away. Oh, this guy's a shitty guy. It's only do, that only does two damage. This does two damage, one damage. Yeah. No, wait. This does one damage. This does two damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or one damage. Right, right, right. Because it is. God, terrible. That should finish the guy in the back. I don't know. That's fine.
this should finish the guy in the back, right? No more poison. We're still fine. We should be fine. No one's dying it today. No one's dying today. Oh, this guy is a shitty guy, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's the best he can do anyways. Two points. Finish him. A galvanizing victory. A decent harvest. Ooh, meat. All right, so that is the last one, right? I don't think it was 60% progress. That means there's more. Should I heal up? I don't know. Where's our exit? Oh, this is the end. All right. Well, I guess I don't need to heal up then, right? I should get the food converted to the money. These footpaths now feel a little more familiar. Mm hmm. I think that is from selling all the stuff, right? 70. I think that's the meat, right? The meat. I think the meat was 25. So 20 came from something else. Right? I think... I don't know. I think that's right. The meat was... How many pieces of meat did we get? I can't recall. I think that top portion is selling off the meat. Let's see what the new day brings. Oh, two pieces of meat, 35 each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might that might have been it. Construct a stairwell to reach the lower depths, followed by an empty chamber to further expand your lair. I think that's the best spot. Right? I don't know, guys. Is that the best spot or this is the best spot? I think there's one more after that, right? This one? I don't think this is the best spot. This one, right? Because if I recall correctly... No, no, this is probably the best spot. It lines up. The other one can c come off the edge. But I don't know. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk the whole losing the storage right see it did go off to the side right see i knew i could probably shift it over i don't know if i want to risk it though <laughs> that might be a bad idea i have a bad feeling about this Let's go with this one. I don't want to risk it. All right, rearranging rooms. Want to rearrange your rooms? Long click or right click on any room. It's like move to place somewhere else. Some rooms can also be merged or demolished. We might have accidentally demolished it earlier. Maybe, I don't know. Build a barracks. To welcome and recruit goblins from the camp. 
campground. This lets you maintain a list of a uh, list of goblins ready for an adventure. Okay. I don't need the barracks now, though, do I? What does it want me? Well, one of them gives me a class, right? I should do whatever it asks me first. Build a barracks. Alright, I'll do the barracks. Yeah, I needed barracks for the quest. Alright, so that looks instantaneous. Build the guilds. That I can't do until I get the fiber, right? Oh wait, the barracks is... I have to wait one day. Constraint, yeah, I have to wait one day. So that's not going to be instantaneous. Ward, yeah, Warden is after. But... I have to wait. What else can I build right away? I'm pretty sure the... The thingy is not going to... Excavate for a thousand. Yikes. You can't stick that there, right? There's no excavation right there. That's a thousand points. Jesus. Or what's the merchant offering me? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got, I, I got money. I'm gonna sell all my junk gold. Forgot about that. Trade, right? That's for the gold. A fair trade. This guy doesn't have anything good, right? Twig for the shaman, but that's not very... I should probably save up. I don't think I should... Well, this has a freeze chance. Which one is this one? That's a slow chance. That does what? 80 to 100. Versus this is 100 to 25. That's actually better in damage with a slow chance. <sighs> Plus the 7 power too. It's only got one slot. This one is Hunter. We don't have a Hunter. Wait for a two-slot one? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Large Blunt. It's not It's not worth the money to get it now, right? Yeah, it's probably not worth the money. What is this one? Raider or Hunter. We already have that one. But that is a... A one-slot. The number of slots isn't very relevant for a while, in my opinion. Well, last game, we actually did have more sockets to use. I mean, this does do more damage, right? Deals 100 to, ton, uh, to 125% of my damage. Oh, but that's to a random foe. It also has a freeze chance. 50% chance? That's 30% freeze. This is slow. I don't know. I mean, I already have this. There's no reason to take it out now. Yeah, but after the next quest, you can get straight into the guilds. Yeah. No, I can't. It has to be two more quests. I won't be able to get straight into the guild. Because the guild requires ten of these at least. It's two more quests, actually, Beta. It's two more quests. Alright, let's see here. 44, right? Ooh, this guy's pretty good. Oh, he's got shitty damage, though. 
Well, this guy's got a lot of life. Well, there's no reason not to take them, right? Because I have seven, three slots. So let me go ahead and take all of them. This guy is normal, right? He's alert. Okay, he's normal. Not bad. A promising young fellow. This is brute and fabby. I'll take him still, right? A promising addition. I could probably get rid of the other two, right? Peons and rookie goblins can change combat class at any time in the layer. However, veteran goblins, those who have already gone on an adventure, can no longer change their class. Right, so we can probably... We can probably get rid of one of these guys. Oh, he wants me to click on this. Yeah, but I have no classes to change, so it doesn't really matter. This guy is veteran, right? He's a shitty one. We just got an alert guy, so there's no reason to keep him. Yeah, we got an alert guy. Flabby sucks, right? Flabby is the one where I lose power. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically get souls off of him, right? Yeah, I do. I'll, I'll get rid of them. Let him live a carefree life, free from war. And this guy has what? He's got nothing. All right, let's get rid of him too. They're free totally now useless. to live a life of their own. All right, so hang on. This guy's really bad, right? He's religious though. But I could always remove his trait, right? I could deactivate his trait. But his body is still pretty bad. His body is zero. Oh, it's even worse. What's his body do? Five body points gets max life. Oh, no wonder he's so bad. Spirit is pretty bad, too. He does, this actually doesn't do anything. It really doesn't do anything. Because I have to be... Six over to reroll, right? I, I have to have three over the base to reroll, so this actually doesn't do anything for me. This guy is really bad. This does not affect anything. Alright, this guy is bad. We need to figure out how to get rid of him. <laughs> hey, Discar Raka. Welcome, sacrificial lamb. Yeah, this guy is bad. We definitely want to get rid of him. This guy is brute, right? Brute is. There's no difference in damage or thing. Okay, Brute is fine. You can straight up release him if I w you want. Well, I don't have a reason to. I have space right now. I mean, I guess I'll keep him for the... I mean, I want to keep him for the breeding, right? Because he's the only religious guy anyways. This game is amazing. Yeah, new to me. Yeah, this game is very cool. Another game, I say yes. Another game. It's it's a very fun, amazing game. This guy has no traits, right? Oh, he has alert. Why doesn't it say affected by alert? Uh, alert? For some reason, that does not say affected by alert. This guy is affected by brute. I'll take him though. 538 is actually pretty good. And this guy has 44. Flabby. 
Oh, there you go. I can take the Flabby off. More life. 38. You know what? I'll take the Flabby off. I don't need that Flabby. So we got what? Peon. Peon. This guy has Brute. This guy has Brute. We decided to take the Flabby off, right? I don't think the Flabby helps me. Yeah, we don't want to lose power. I think it says affected by a trait if the trait has a negative aspect to it, but it could be wrong. I don't know. Fist. Affected by religious. Huh. It's affected by brute, right? Well, I, I'm okay with these choices, right? And then Wind Tapper. Yeah, these guys are pretty solid. He's the guy with alert. I want to keep him for breeding. Yep, yeah, alright. I think these are fine. Let me see on Steam. Goblin Stone, right? Yeah, Goblin Stone. It's not out yet. It should be out today, though. Soon. TM. It should be out, like, in another hour, maybe? Ten minutes? Is ten minutes? Let me in. Black. Black hammer, right? Sack hammer. Mash Bobber. Bobber. Alright, let's go with this. Yeah, let's go. Alright, woods, right? Alright, well, last game I went this way. Right, last game I went this way. I guess I could get this right now, right? Lots of content replayability. Alright, let's go with this one. This should be easy, right? Yeah, it's fine. Let's go with this. Yeah, these guys are naked. Alright, it's fine. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the fiber for the guild. Get a, like a guard, maybe. A guard guild if I don't I get a new guard. Boss. No uh, sparkles, right? Oh, there's a sparkle right here. Money. Oh, yeah, money. No treasure, however small, is worthless. Harvest. So it's very similar to Darkest Dungeon, by the way, for those that's tuning in right now, wondering what this game is like. And then the other, the base building aspect is similar to XCOM's base building. I mean, Darkest Dungeon, you do technically build a base as well, right? You're building up your town in the original Darkest Dungeon. Um, it's just... In this version of the game, it's layer, it's it's formatted similar to the XCOM sideway view style instead of like a town. Oh, reed, huh? I'll take the reed. Nature's bounty. Oh, another one. Nice. Even better. All right. Even better. Vengeance bears its fruit. I need to get, what, three more? To complement the other one, right? There's no shiny on this one, right? Which one do I want? Oh, I'm gonna rescue the goblin. I'd rather rescue a goblin. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get... It might be a guard guy, though. We'll see. Ooh... Raider or Shaman? That's, those are my choices, it seems like. Ooh, they're both 44. Well, the Raider has 6 damage. He's got Brute and Flabby. What about this guy? They're both Brute and Flabby. Interesting. What do you think? Raider or Shaman? I think Raider might be better, right? 
Does he come with any any weapons? This guy probably comes with stones, right? This probably this guy comes with like a temporary weapon. Six forty four, huh? Temporary weapon, yeah, temporary weapon. Brute is increased body minus mine and life minus power. Hey, thank you for that follow. S3000. Or ZS3000. I think this guy... I think the Raider is better, right guys? What do you think? Rock on a stick. Magic rock, right? I'm gonna go with this. The Raider. Who do I send home? <laughs> Peon or Mash Bobber. Let's Mash Bobber. He's the brute with a flabby. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, God, no! Oh! I did the wrong one. Oh, I forgot to swap him out! Oh, I made a mistake, guys. I forgot to swap him out. Oh. He went back to base. Wait, did I cancel both of them or no? Did I cancel both of them? Oh, I did cancel both of them. Oh, man. Raiders back at base. One of the two. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I must have taken the Raider then. Oh, my goodness. That was terrible. Yeah, I forgot to swap it with the current guy. No ambush. Oh no. He went back to base. Okay, thank you for that. These callous ruffians butcher the innocent for experience and loot. Oh yeah, yeah. True, true. I get more I I get stones if I if I level these up. True. That is true. Slow chance, right? Yeah, let's go with this guy. Nope, didn't happen. This is bleed, right? Bleed or okay, bleed for what? Bleed for ten. Slicing dagger. This will only be. 10 minus 3 or 12 minus 3. I should just apply bleed. Oh no. 9 to 11, right? Crit? No crit. He's dead, anyways. It's here, just released on Steam. Okay, let me check to see if I have, have an update. I don't have an update status. I don't know if it's updated. We'll find out a little bit though. Hang on. Five, five little smack, okay. Crit, oh nice Vital crit. Blow. Nice crit. Oh, the mage. No. The mage. Oh. Damn, he didn't crit. One point left. Boink. You die. Okay, hang on, which one is this? Let's see here. 
Uh, okay, it does not affect him if he has... No, no, no. He needs slow or stun. This one pro provides more... More bleed. This is chop with thunder chance. Okay, yeah. Nope, didn't happen. All right, that's fine. Oh yes, thank you. Exceptional skills, thank you. I have exceptional skills. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna see if I can. Can I? Can I save? Oh, I can't. Right? Can I exit? Why? Will, will the save? All progress will save automatically, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me see if there's a new update for me. So I. Yeah. I want to make sure I can. The game is is released to all partners. Yeah. Let me quit this. I, I want to reload just in case if they actually did do a hot fix. No, there's no new fixes, guys. They did not fix the. They did not fix the bug, guys. So I guess whatever bug is not going to get fixed during the release. Oh Jesus. That means that means a lot of people are gonna get that bug. Looks like this would be a great Steam Deck game, yeah. So that means the bug that I encountered, you guys might actually get that too. And it's it's actually $25 or $22.49. Absolutely a great deal guys. Minus 10%, it's a steal. You guys definitely should grab this for like $22.49. It's so worth it. Looks like this, uh, okay, they're still working on it. Nice uh, downloading now at 600 megabytes per second. So just don't change your headquarters. Got it right. As long as I don't move my headquarters around. And for you guys, if you're watching right now, right, I'm giving you guys a heads up. Do not move your headquarters, rooms, or whatever rearrangement, right? It will tell you to like right click or drag long. Don't do that. There is a chance that you guys will get a bugged out layer and then you will end up having to abandon the game. It's a waste of time because there's no rollback for save reload. So just FYI, heads up, if you're buying this game and playing it right now, do not move your layer Let us rooms. You actually saw that here today, the bug. All right, so new, new, no new updates for me, that is. All right, what do I want here? Shrine or shop? I think shop, right? I have some money. I can sell this junk. Probably shop. I think shop is the best, right? Does this game have replayability? Yes, it seemed to be replayable because when I start restarted the game, I had to restart. I was forced to restart the game. Now, it's unfortunate that they don't have like profile features like slaves, save slots, right? Because a lot of games have like uh, sort of like against the storm there's profiles right and i suggest this a lot to all all game developers they really need to add the save slots because a couple of reasons like one you have like family members right you know wife or kids or whatever that wants to play having save slots allows them to get you know their own uh, profile have their own player experience and then that does not affect your player experience right so they really need to do different profiles um, for this. And then secondly, for people like me who are content creators or streamers, we like to test stuff offline and then we like to create a brand new profile to stream. So that way you guys or, or do video recordings and that, that way you guys can see the full experience from scratch and it does not affect my offline play where I do little experiments or whatever, right? So those are the things that they really should be adding to the game is like a profile feature. All right, we're gonna go with a shop, right? Let me, let me go down a notch and see if there's anything on the bottom floor that's hidden. Nothing, right? There's no secret 
gems here. Yeah, 50 plus hours in the main story, and then yes, there are features that add additional challenges and things uh, to playing again. We don't know all of what that entails yet, but there's still a ton of randomness and things in the game that, that make it feel fresh, in my opinion. Yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. It's not in early access, right? It's a full release, so that does not... I don't know if they're going to add any more features. So we'll see. We'll see. It may not be replayable. I don't know. I don't know to the answer to that question. Shop, right? Let's go ahead and shop. Fine wares. All right, so I got 273. Huh, what do I want to buy? More fiber, right? It's four. I mean, I definitely don't want to buy this, right? Because they're temporary. And food is temporary. They need to indicate that, right? As a tooltip, like, food is temporary. You lose it at the end of the run. One. Let's see here, two. Now, don't I have one back at home? I have one back at home, right? I only need to buy three. That evens it out. Just what's needed. Yep. I'm, I'm pretty sure I bought one back at home. Okay, I have a chance to get a goblin, right? I should probably get a goblin. There's no sparkles here, right? I'm gonna go with the top. A chance to get another goblin here. Yeah, another goblin. Alright, that's good, right? Oh, looks like it's a raider. It might be a guard, right? No, no, it's a guard or shaman. Those are my choices. What do I want? Probably the guard, right? Small buckler. But that's temporary as well. Enchanted skull. Ooh, but that's temporary as well. Hmm. Let's see here. This guy has Brute and Flabby. This guy has also Brute and Flabby. I'd go for whichever has the better stats. Yes, for sure, for sure. That's what I'm looking for right now. Can I activate this or deactivate it? No, I can't, right? I think the left actually has the most stats. Six and five. This is five and three. But it also could be the guard is... No, no. I think the guard is back, actually better. Left. Choose. I choose the left. Yeah, alright, so... Well, the question here is... Should I be swapping it, right? Because if I, if I send him home... He's, he's already a veteran, right? I'm pretty sure he's a veteran. I'm pretty sure he's a, considered a veteran, right? Yeah, he's a veteran. No, he's a rookie. He's a rookie. So rookies don't give me... Don't give me any... Uh... Yeah, let me take him back. Yeah, 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 you go home. So that means the other two guys I can get souls off of. Right. Yeah, I can get souls off of the other two guys. Wait, wait, did I miss any sparkles? I didn't miss any sparkles, right? Pink sparkles. Blue sparkles. Blue sparkles. 
Ambush. No ambush. Oh no, no ambush. Oh, I should have healed before going in. That's bad. Hex. That didn't do a whole lot. Chop, right? Removes us under. Chance to remove. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, that was beautiful. What? Look at that. That was beautiful. Wakey, wakey. Wanky. All right, so this one would make me tired. This will not, right? Bam, so I don't get tired. This guy has a chance to stun. Did not stun. That first guy was really good. Hmm. What's this done resist? 20% chance? If I push him back, my next guy gets to go. Because this is only going to do two points of damage. This will stun him for the next two turns. It won't do any damage, but it'll stun him. And this will get knocked back for one. Let's, but then this guy will be tired. All right, then that will be tired. Let's go with this one. Oh, he resisted! Oh, shit! He resisted. Oh, shit! Oh, my god! My, my dude here. I should probably heal. Did you really have to go forward to heal? <laughs> no, right? This guy, this is 11, subtract 3, or bleed. Let's go with bleed. And this is a chance to stun. Hmm, this is only two points of damage. This has a chance to stun. Oh, it inflicts stuns. Wait, are you... Hang on. Yeah, yeah. 20% chance. Oh, he... Oh, he resisted! Oh, God. Terrible. We're gonna go with this one. He should die next. He should die. Uh huh. Twenty percent chance. Chance is done. Did not stun. Oh my god! Oh my god. Hmm. 80% chance of slow. Or heal myself. No, let's just go with this one. Okay, hang on. He's already bleeding, right? 50% damage if target's bleeding. Or poison, add another bleed and refresh to the duration of the existing bleed. Or do I try to just take on the three? Now nah, let's just take on the three. I should be able to take it. He should be dead anyways. Yeah, alright. We're we're still good, right? No mortal wound. No mortal wound. 
a modest fortune. Modest fortune. Pick wounds is good when they're already bleeding in general. Oh, okay, yeah. This is the end, right? This is the end. Yeah, this is the end. No, oh, oh, there we go. Shiny blue. One more. Nice. Extra loot. A humble reward for humble work. Extra loot. Anything else? No, right? I don't see anything else. This is the end. Yes. We've reached the end. Can a fortune be modest, though? <laughs> I don't know. These footballs. I'm back. Not available till now. Are you using the spacebar key to pick up stuff? No, I'm not. Should I? Should I be using the spacebar? Okay, finish, right? 83. Some find it easier? Okay. You can skip cutscene by pressing spacebar. Okay. Let's see what the new day brings. Construction complete. This edition will prove useful. Instead of recruiting at campgrounds, create a wardens uh, a wardens for goblin to breed. Explore potent gene combination to develop stronger warriors. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. The quest is build warns, right? And then the other one was build guilds. Okay. Okay. Hmm. No, no. Cost a thousand to go that way. I can't build. I can only build it on this side, right? And the guild halls, the the next one. I have to spend the expansion. That's the only way I can. Yeah, I have to spend the expansion. Let's see what you got, though. This is the junk. 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 What else? No more junk. Oh, look at that. Raider Bandit, right? Max life is 20%. Mm. That's worse than my last game. Last game had health. Is this worth it? I don't think it's worth it, guys. I should probably wait. Hunter, I don't have a hunter. I can't get a hunter or a bandit right now, anyways. There might be something better later. Max life is 20% max life. Is, mm, I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it either. An honest bargain. All right, so I need to build the worn thingy, right? Is it instantaneous? I don't know if it's instantaneous. That takes one day. And then the next one is what? The guild, right? All right, which one do I want? You know, I should build a second one of these just in case. <laughs> Because last game, I lost one, right? At least this one, I won't... I think I should build this a second one just in case. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I should build a second storehouse just in case I lose one. Then I won't get locked out. I could upgrade my layer though, right? I could upgrade the layer because I I retire one guy. Right, because one of these guys has a rookie. 
No, 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 it's this guy right here, right? Let me move this guy off the side here. So this is a peon, right? 7-4. This is 7-6. This guy has Brute. This guy has Brute and Flabby. We, do we want Flabby? We already have a Flabby. I could retire this one, right? 7-4. This is 7-1-5. This is 6. Yeah, let's go ahead and retire this guy. Jor, let's retire him so I get the... May they prosper wherever they roam. Stone. That is veteran. No, wait. That's rookie. 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 Rookie raider. Rookie guard. Veteran peon. He's got Brute. We already have guys with Brute. I can probably retire him too still. Yeah, let's retire him. I can't change anything. Yeah, sock hammer is gone. Free from war. Alright, so hang on. To upgrade this, what do I need? I need 12 people, right? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I need 4. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have retired him because then I... Oh, I shouldn't have retired him. Only the keen and eager are welcome. I should not have retired him. I have hired. Because I could have upgraded my lair. A promising oh, answer. I shouldn't have retired him. I could have upgraded the lair. Fail, guys. I could have upgraded the lair. Oh, I could have upgraded the lair. Shit, I screwed that up. Five levels. Up to four guilds. Up to three. Oh well, next turn. It's not like I need the the upgrade now anyways, right? I don't have the resources anyways. So that's That's the warden, right? I mean, I could do this and something else, right? Or I can do two, two guild halls. So what's more important right now? Hmm. I'm thinking. What's more important? Not sure about an op optimal build order. Yeah, see, I don't know. We do have an extra raider and an extra guard. We have no way to get more shamans, right? We have no way to get more shamans. This not this guy might not be the best shaman. Four four five. This guy five five four. This is a guy 564. Wow. 544. Four, four. I think shaman is probably better, right? Because then we can actually try to get a better shaman. This guy is 10 total. Let's take off the, the mine. 533. Three. That guy's kind of crappy, actually. He's a crappy raider, right? 533, three, that's a total of 11. Yeah, he's a total of 11. This doesn't affect anything, right? That guy is 11. This guy is really bad. He's only around because of the... This guy's a 10. This guy's a 10. 
This guy is a 12. This guy is a 12. This guy is what? A, a 10. This guy's a 12. This guy is an 11. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This guy's really good. Right? This guy's really good. I'll keep this. Alright, this is like eleven. Twelve. Ten. 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 Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This guy's a twelve. All right, so the tens has to go. This guy has an alert, though. This guy also has alert. Oh, this guy actually has three things. Really? Oh, this guy actually has everything. This guy has everything available to him. He's a keeper, right? He's a keeper. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This guy's a 12. He has no... He has alert. Alright, this guy I want to keep for sure. But I need, like, a... A fourth slot just to level up people to get rid of, right? So which one do I wa not want? I don't want I don't want the bottom right fun oh the fun he will be he will have breeding yeah so I I don't want this guy this guy is actually the worst this guy is actually the worst so we're gonna have to carry him he's a carry right how is he so bad how is he so bad? All right, we're gonna we're gonna carry him and get him to be better and, and then get rid of him. All right, so he's the red shirt. He will be the red shirt. This guy, I want him to be a brute. No, not a brute. A brute is no alert, right? Alert is good. Labia is less power, more life. Brute is more... More body, less mine. Yeah, this is, okay, that's more life. So we'll go with Brute and Alert. He's fine. What about this guy? He's veteran, right? He's a rookie, but we're gonna keep him. He's, uh, he's got nothing. Jesus, he's got nothing. 6-3 is not terribly bad. Hmm. We don't have anything for him to equip, though, so he's not... I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him at home. I can't take him because I have no weapons. He can't fight. He can't fist. This guy is a what? He's a fister, right? And he's the one with 12. He's actually not bad. I want to keep him. Okay. Third, third, five. Yeah, okay. He's actually not bad for damage. Let's take him. Fine, I'll take him. I don't have any other weapons, though, right? I don't think it's worth buying anything off this guy right now. I don't think there's worth anything to buy. I don't think this is worth it. I can't even equip it, right? You know, there's nothing worth buying. Alright. Well, what am I gonna do with this room? I think a shaman, right? Let's build a shaman. Oh, it's instantaneous. Oh, even better. 
Oh, well, that's cool. Customize the combat abilities for this class. Perks, plus five life, plus one power per spirit. Class abilities. Customize this class by equipping four abilities. All goblins of the same class will share this ability set. You can unlock more abilities by earning souls during your adventure. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Equipped abilities. Choose this ability. This class will be used during battle. Oh. Let's see here. 40% chance. Damn, for, deal 40% damage to the front three rows with a 30% chance to knock back Soul Gate. It's like, a, hmm. Get pushed back by one. 40% damage to the front three rows. What do you do? Inflict slow to the second and third row. No, I don't want this, right? Let's go with this. This is heal. This is life shock, right? Heal for 25% of your power plus your spirit and stun the target. But we also stun ourselves. Give an ally haste. It's like slow on the target. Second and third. Move at half speed over the next three. Do I want that? I don't know if I want that. Well, it does give me a chance to stun for free on somebody who's already fully he healthy, right? Undead take magical damage instead. Oh, maybe. Okay. Give an ally haste. I, I rarely use that. I'm going to take this off. And the reason I'm taking this off is because then I won't have to re-roll, right? So having three, basically, I'm always guaranteed three. If I have a fourth, it's three out of four. Well, this one is a heal spell, but it also is a, sh a stun, right? If I apply it to the enemy, but they're already fully fully healthy, it just basically stuns them. Right? So that's the difference. Haste, I don't know if it moves twice as fast over the next three. Well, this is a straight up heal, but I don't, I can heal myself, my, my allies, but I don't, I don't stun my allies. You see what I'm saying? If I apply this to my allies and myself, I'll stun. It's basically I'm skipping a turn while healing. This is basically pure heal. And I also can remove bleed. This is actually very useful for my my team on my my team, right? This is this is stunning the enemy. Right? This has a chance to stun the enemy if they're already fully healthy, right? So, I mean, you're, you don't have to heal them, right, if they're fully healthy. But it also attacks undead instead of healing the undead, right? So if I ever encounter an undead, I can actually attack them with the heal. I mean, I can take all of them, right? But three guarantees my my uh, my options, right? Because if I add a fourth, basically there's a chance that I, I don't get I have to reroll or do a redraw, right? It's three out of four is what I keep. This gives ally for, uh, haste, right? But it also puts me in tired mode, which means I'm vulnerable to attacks. Moves twice as fast over the next three. I don't know what I'm thinking here. That's fine, I'm gonna leave it like this. You must select four, but oh, okay. Well, there you go, that answers that question. I have to have four. Yeah, I have to have four. Okay.
Okay. Now that I have a dude, I can probably choose, let me see here, Shaman Guild under construction. Um, yeah, I'll buy it. Let's, uh, what, what guild here? I can do another guild or I can do another storage just in case for the safety precaution, right? Because if I lose one storage, I have a backup storage. <laughs> you got three souls to release another card. I do, but then I need souls to be able to upgrade my layer. All right, hang on, let's go back. Do I have enough souls? This guy's a rookie, this guy's a rookie, this guy's a rookie, this guy's a rookie. That guy's a rookie, right? I mean, I could get rid of my current shaman because my current shaman does kind of suck. This guy is what? 9, 10, 11, 12. This guy is really good. This guy is 15. This guy is 14. The shaman is 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, the shaman is not terribly bad. 12 is not bad. I just don't know what the... Okay, so if I release another... If I unlock the ability... 13, sorry, 13, yeah. He's still... He's not bad, right? Heal chant. Do I need heal chant? Heals all... Heal allies for 10% of your power plus half your spirit. Tired allies heal twice that amount. I don't need more heal spells, guys. That's a waste. That is such a waste right now. Oh, wait, no. Can I choose... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I might be able to choose a different one, right? Deal 40% to all foes. Oh... 40% to all foes. To all foes, that's an AoE, right? Give three random allies haste. When it expires, I gain slow. Cannot be used on the first... No, this is terrible. This might not be that bad, right? All foes. I mean, I can't really upgrade anyways my layer until next turn, so maybe I should just spend this, right? Yeah, you know what? I'll spend this. Which is better? Upgrade the... Hang on. Do I want to get a Raider's Guild or a Storage? That's the big question. Well, you know, I'll do the Raider's Guild. I'm just scared of... Uh, okay, so long as I don't move anything around, we're good, right? Okay, what's the Raider's ability? Sudden Strike deals 50% uh, attack damage if the attack crits gain haste. Ooh. Deals 50% damage. This one was what? Deal 130% damage. That's okay. This is deal 50% damage if the targets bleed or poison at another 50. Okay. What about this one? It's in general. Deals 65% twice if the target has slow. That's not bad, dealing it twice. I like my current combination. Slice is... Distributed over five. <sighs> but this is only like one, right? This is a fast move. I get moved back only by one. I think this is better, right? Ooh. This is good, right? I think this is better than the dagger. Wow. 
Wow, these are all tough choices. 65 twice. But this is basically three, right? I can do this is 150. This is 100, 120. This is 130, right? With a chance of getting seven. You know, I'm going to go swap this one, right? Sudden strike, because then I can move that back. What is this one? Deal 130 if the target has bleed, poison. Deal 150 instead. Nah. Inflict Sunder. Next attack on the target is a guaranteed crit. Gain 30 crit over 8. No, none of these are that great. Alright, I'm happy with this one, right? Okay. No reason to swap that. Alright, so the... The Shaman AoE sounds like a really good deal, right? 40% across all? I mean, if we're up against like four different foes, 40% across four, that's like what? 120% damage with one attack. Multiplied by the, the weapon, right? It's multiplied by the weapon. What do you guys think? Unlock this, right? Sure. Their knowledge grows. Deal forty percent to all foes. Okay. All right, that sounds good to me, right? And what else do you have? Is there a way to turn off an Iron Man mode? I don't know. There's no way to turn that off. It's Iron Man mode for sure. There's no way to turn it off. That's how I screwed myself over. Five of these, right? One. Oh, I can only have one. I'll take it. Just what's needed. Just what's needed. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Cancel. No, let's get out of this. All right, so let's see here. We can go do attacks now, right? Wait, why can't I choose? Requires five points in spirit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, I can be a shaman now, right? Every okay, I can be a shaman. He's a shitty low level character. But I can be a shaman. Changing class to shaman costs fifty. Do you want to proceed? No, I don't want to waste my money on that. No, I don't want to waste money. No, no, no. We don't want to waste money. We want him to be... a soul. And we want him to be a soul, right? Both of these guys, we want to convert to souls. I mean, this guy is what? 5, 6, 7, 11, right? How good is he? He's got a lot of damage. Or, sorry, a lot of... a lot of life. He's got a lot of life. This guy's got what? 12? And this guy's shitty. We definitely want to get rid of this guy. This guy, he's got 12. He's got alert. 12. This guy's what? 11? 12. He's also 12, right? Hang on. He's also 12. This guy is what? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, let's get rid of this guy. Right. Can I... Does it cost me anything? No, it, it will cost me, right? Yeah, it costs five to switch him. No, right? Lava, yeah, yeah. So these two guys basically are my red shirts. I'm trying to get rid of these guys. 
I need the souls, right? Yeah, alright, that's fine, let's go. It's like, tribe must survive, you cannot reload. Tribe must survive. Can tribe must survive reload? I actually did that in one pass. So I can't remember if it actually had her save and reload. Yeah, I don't know. Should I progress or should I get more... More fiber? What's this thing? I don't know. This gets me stones, right? I need more fiber. That gets me fiber, right? As available resource. This one, I... Okay, that also has fiber. But that gets me gold and something else, right? I get two more on this side. What about this one? Okay, that's ore and gold. No, I want to go with this one, right? This one gets me bones. Am I short on bones? I'm not short on bones, right? Let's go with this one. I need more fiber. Yeah, Alright, let's go. I need more fiber. This game is very good. It's, I, I definitely recommend this game. Minus the bug. The game-breaking bug. There is no shortage of adventures, right? Okay. Okay, which one do I want? Do I want people or I want the Guru? Wait, the Guru lets me buff my abilities during this run temporarily, right? That's what the Guru does. Versus the other guy gets me people. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with the Goblin. Well, first of all, let's go down and see if there's any hidden secrets here, right? No hidden secret. Alright, I'm gonna go with the Goblin. Maybe we'll get lucky with a Bandit or Raider. Would like to get a Bandit or Raider. No such luck. Oh, I should have taken... Oh. I don't think I can go back anymore, right? Uh, yeah, 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 it's fine. This is bad, right? Guru is useless here. Because I think that's only temporary. We'll find out, we'll see. Okay. Which one are you? I can't take this off, right? This guy has every body points. All right, this get gives mine three, body two, and this is life and power. Okay, so this is basically a net minus two. We're currently at a net minus two. That means technically this is a plus one. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, this guy is actually not bad. What about this guy? Same thing. No, this guy is 11, right? No, this guy is 12. The other guy is 13. Right, because this is basically minus 1 overall applied. So this guy is 11... And this guy is a 13. I think the Raider is better. Yeah, the Raider is better. Um, so we'll go with Raider. And he's got a Stone Axe, right? He has plus 8. I think you can change what traits are selected before choosing for them to join you in the screen. Might be remembering wrong. No, you can't. I tried that already. You can only disable the traits uh, at base. I tried it already earlier just to test it out. It didn't work. So during a, an adventure, you can't change it even with the guys you rescue. 
I'm just gonna send this guy back to base because I need the I need the veteran for the souls off these two. Right, yeah, see you later. I need the vet I need the souls so I can summon the uh or upgrade my layer. So this is gonna give me a shrine. There's no sparkles here, right? Shrines are ancient statues crafted by goblins of ages past. These monoliths like figures are stewed throughout the realms. Uh, one immune with power to grant a uh, chosen blessing upon your group. Okay. What do I want here? Earn 100% more gold at the end of the venture. Each, uh, every party member immediately restores life. No, we want the 100 gold. They revel in the shrine's blessing. Yes, I got blessing, right? 100% more gold. Actually, that's amazing. Which way do I want to go? The top gets me... Tough battle. The top gets me harvest. But it's a tough battle. The Guru is not that useful. Well, he might be useful, I don't know, but I'm going to get a smithy, so I want as much money as I can, right? I'm going to go with the bottom. Two battles could get me more money. And sell my thing? I don't know, I'm playing here. Do I want the tough battle? Because then I can harvest stuff. The Guru is a temporary buff. He basically says, pick three abilities. Or sorry, pick four abilities that's temporarily buffed for the rest of the run. But that's free. The smithy is... A... Requires money to spend, right? Let's go with the two battles. Oh, what's this? Oh, that is the battle. What are these? The amorphous slime is an ill-tempered creature Blimey. best thwarted by magical means. Okay. What is this? Okay, that attacks 40% to both, right? 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Versus five, seven, that's 12 all at once. But that ignores armor. Wait, this is undead, right? That guy is an undead. That guy is not an undead. Alright, let's just go with this then. Shit. Oh, what the- oh, shit. That guy's poison, right? Shit. Oh, no. That's bad. 9 to 10 straight up. Failure in the- in the smithy just means the power didn't increase, but you can keep the weapon, I see. Smithy, you pay gold, you upgrade the temporary power of a weapon for the duration of the run. You can repeat paying more gold with increasing chance of failure. Failure in Smithy just means the power didn't increase, but you keep the weapon. Right, okay. Good to know. Oh, these guys are... ...annoying me. Zombie I can stun, right? Can I push him back? I can probably push him back, right? Otherwise, it's too damage. Okay, so Hex. Five to seven. Or all. This is six to all. 
This is heals my ally. Oh, I can do damage to the undead this way. I can do six damage straight up to the undead, right? And stun him. Oh, he resisted. That guy should die. Oh, he's poisoned still. Oh no, I'm slowed. This is... Stuns. And deal one and stun, right? This is two. Uh, this is straight up... Oh, okay, hang on. Exterminate! Exterminate. That's, I need five points on it. He's a goner. Next guy should be a goner. If I push him... I don't know if that's a good idea to push him right now, right? It's five points. I could finish off the other guy. Yeah, let me push him. I could kill off the other guy first. And then... Shattering blow. Oh shit. Okay. No, not a crit. I mean, this is easy, right? It's a, it's a freebie. Chop? Okay. I need some heals. Alright, great. I got the money, right? The money to spend. There's no blue sparkles, right? No blue sparkles. Nice. Ambush? No! Why didn't I get an ambush? Fail. Hmm. That is sex, right? I'm gonna go with this one. Chance of stun- or uh, freeze. Slow. Yeah, okay. Nice. Easy peasy, right? An encouraging that's, progression. That's a fast attack. Yeah, four to six. Oh no, that guy. Oh no, that guy. Oh, wounded. Well, it doesn't matter. He's going to get retired anyways. It just means we won't get. Oh wait, he's not mortally wounded. That's just bleed, right? Okay, we're still good. Okay. Still good. He's not mortally wounded. Nice, I got stun on him, yes. Can I push him or no? This is not gonna do a whole lot of damage. This does no damage because he's got armor. This is bleed, right? It's 
Sunder. Okay, yeah, Sunder. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, he just got his bleed. Oh. Oh, that means I get less loot at the end of the run because of him. Shit. Yeah, that's bad. Well, he's gonna get retired anyways. He was our red shirt. Oh, he totally blocked us. Oh, he's dead. Oh, well, I don't have to retire him. I get a free soul. That's, well, that does suck, though. Free soul. Oh my god, everyone's upset. Why is there a red? What does this say? What does it say? Oh, Fury, because it's, they don't. Oh. You missed the space colony. Yeah, that was the beginning of the stream. Stop victory. Seldom grow stale. We're one member short. This is bad. We don't get a lot of loot at the end of the run. I thought you started at 9 to... Uh, I started last night. Last night. It's 12 hours now until the stream. I started last night at 10 a.m. Hello. Mr. Smithy. You miss so much. They will soon need them. Is it, is it temporary or no? Upgrades last until the end of the adventure only. Armor, armory bonus. Uh, armory bonus to chance is 3%. What does that mean? Oh, because I have an armory, so I get a 3% chance. Oh. Why would I want to upgrade if it's only temporary? Oh, it costs zero. Oh, it costs zero to upgrade. Well, that's not bad. It has no upgrade cost. Four percent chance to fail. Oh, the next one is... The first one's free! The second one is 10. I don't think I want to spend the money. First one's free, the second one's 10, right? Oh, it's, it's zero again. Oh, it does cost 10 now. Okay, that was a bug. Visual bug. Alright. First one's free, the second one is... It's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. Which one do I want? The harder one or the tougher one? First one's always free, yeah. I got what you need. Okay, the tough battle is a bad idea, right? Because we're one guy short. Yeah, we're one guy short, so tough battles, not a good idea. Bunny. Oh, damn it. No ambush. This is not good. That's fine. Crit. No crit. Alright, at least we got one guy out of the way. Mm, which one is this one? Four to six versus... 
can't move for the next two turns. Sure. Oh, he resisted. Oh, oh no! No! The, the other red shirt. The other red shirt. He goes second, right? Alright, that... That did stun him. Oh, but that... He oh, that heals my guy, but it also makes him stun. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't have a way to redraw. Hopefully he doesn't... Hopefully he doesn't get hit. Thirteen. He should be down, right? Alright, he's a goner. Alright, this guy should intercept if I can, right? Oh, he got- he- he made it alive. That's not going to do any damage. That's not going to do any damage. Chance is done, though. Oh, he resisted. Shit. Well, that guy's really awful. Holy useless. Which is fine. Nope, didn't sunder him. Okay, I can heal my guy in the back. Okay, right, 11 to 13. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Summoning their fortitude, they move on. I'll take it. This is looking really bad. Do I have food? I don't have food! No food, no heals. This is looking very bad, right? The Guru has got to help us. Hopefully this Guru helps us. Hello. The old Guru has much to teach. Oh, the last one gave us four. This only gives us three. Next level is 130. Or sorry, 30% chance to throw another dagger. 100% armor. Deals 100% armor as uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tussling. 40% all foes. Foes with slow takes double the amount. Oh, let's go with this one. Practice makes the warrior. What else are you going to give me? Exterminate, deal 140 if the target dies, this ability costs less. Ooh, 14 is pretty good. Removes all armor gained and heal that X amount, okay. What does this one do? No, we're gonna take this one. Hmm. I have seen the trailer for Following Frontiers, yes. I, um, since I'm in the creator's channel for the Hooded Horse, um, they actually shared it into the creator's channel, and it was really good. I've already seen it. Like, far, Farthest Frontier is actually on the- Falling Frontier, Falling Frontier is the top of my list out of all the Hooded Horse games, and I've been following them for like two years now. Yeah, you're so you lucky bastard, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I- Yeah, I'm excited for that game. Alright, I'm gonna take this one, right? This gives me more damage. Yeah, more damage. Uh, wow. Alright, three upgrades. Hopefully we can dish that out. Alright, we want the shop, right? We don't want to do any combat. I 
any sparkles? No sparkles, right? There is much of use here. Alright. Well, we got a major boss fight at the end. I don't know if I should be buying any of this. A fair I should, trade. I should buy buy heals though, right? Hang on. This is only healing 20%. Not farthest frontier. Falling frontier. Farthest frontier is well, I mean farthest frontier is coming out their next release, the end of this month update. But Falling Frontier is a space game. It's kind of like the Battlestar. It's kind of like Homeworld-ish. Um, it's it's really good. Look it up. Farthest, far, uh, sorry, Falling Frontier space battle game. All right, I should probably buy. I should probably buy food to heal, Fine, right? Well. Yeah, I should probably buy food to heal. An honest bargain. Uh, is it fallen or falling? I think it's fall. It's falling, right? I forgot what the name was. <laughs> now you got you. You're tricking me. It's. I think it's falling, right? I think it's falling frontier. Hang on, let me go to my creator's channel here. Pretty sure it's falling frontier. Fallen! Fallen Frontier. That is Fallen Frontier. No, no, no. It's called Falling! Falling! Somebody else in the creator's channel made the same mistake as you did. It's Falling! That's what I thought. Falling. It's not Fallen. Somebody... Some, some other creator in the creator's channel said Fallen. Yes, it's Falling, not Fallen. Falling Frontier. Should I heal this guy? I mean, if this guy dies, he gets a soul, right? I should probably heal this guy. Oh, no, 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 I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I should have healed the bottom guy because the campfire is going to give me 20%. Oh, I made a mistake. I should have healed this guy here because the campfire gives 20%. That would have boosted the other guy up. Oh, that was a mistake, guys. There is much of use here. Temporarily enchant a weapon with a free slot. Damage versus beast by 50%. I'm thinking here. This guy has a weapon, right? But he doesn't have a socket. Oh, he does have a socket. This guy doesn't have a socket. This guy has a socket. And he could do bleed chance, right? Hmm. Where did my money go? I, I had to buy food. I, I bought food. I still have 200. I just don't know if I want to spend it or not, right? Because if I spend it, I get less gold at the end of the run. So the question is, do I want to spend it, though, on the orbs for max life, right? Or beast? I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. I don't even know what this is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Could be a beast, though, at the end. Could be the giant spider, right? I think it's a beast at the end of the run, right? Could be a giant spider. Fifty percent more damage might be more useful. There is much of use here. 
Let's buy it. I don't wanna Just what's I don't wanna risk it. I don't wanna fail the run, right? Which one is the sandwich? This is ham hammer, right? Yeah, here we go. Alright, let's go. Mm, okay, no sparkles, right? A place of respite for the weary. They settle in, weary of the road. Yep, 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 yep. Didn't heal them enough. I should have spent it on this guy earlier instead of this other guy here. Alright, that's terrible. Here we go. Please be a beast. No, it's not a beast! Oh, what a waste! Maybe it might have dogs. We'll find out. Might have dogs. No beast. Oh, that was such a waste of money! Oh, that was such a waste. Good, good, slow. Nice. Oh shit. I gotta go second. Deal 2%. If the target has bleed point, no, damn it. Three to nine. My next guy is gonna get. Okay, the next guy is fine, right? Which one is the steal 50%? If they, if they attack crits, gain haste. Three to nine. Hmm. I should redraw, right? Oh, I didn't get. Oh, I didn't get what I wanted. Terrible. So always use healing items after a campfire when you can. Add was playing, so I didn't catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already. Already messed up. Chop, right? That's six points of damage to potentially nine. But this has has a chance to bleed, right? No, if the target has bleed, add another blade. Okay, no, no, no. Let's go with this one. Oh, a crit. Nice. Oh god, that guy is not happy. What's like in here? None of these are going to do any damage to him, right? one of this okay intercept might be okay no it's fine done good done is good should I heal my own guy no well hang on so if I heal my own guy he gets stunned right Was this one exterminate? Chop. Away with you. Away with you. This guy has a chance to stun him. Nice.
Okay. Okay, okay, I have a chance to heal my other guy. Do I take the heal or do I just try to kill him? He has a chance to slow. I, I thought about the heal, but I don't know. I mean, if he dies. Okay, mortal wound is not as bad. If he dies, I get a soul, right? I should probably intercept, just in case. Mortal wound is bad. Okay, Hex, right? Hex. Alright, he's a, he's a goner. Nice. All right, mortal wound though is bad. I can probably at least retire him. Nah, eh, junk. They're like bag fillers. Treasure been told. Goblins return home from the woods. I get a hundred percent loot though, right? Right, I get 100% loot. Fuck, it's 400. Injured, I get less, right? Well, I got 100% of that one. Alright, well, it's not bad. I got some money, right? So the injured guy, I need to probably... retire him. A new day dawns. Yeah, I thought about healing him. But it's not that big of a deal. I, I knew I was going to win, though. So, hang on. I need to add people, right? Which one is this guy? Loiter about, eager for admittance. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This guy's eleven, I'll tell you. A promising addition. This guy is the worst. It's minus two, all right? So this is seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is also eleven. Sure, I'll take him. He's kind of crappy, though. I have high hopes for this one. This one is really good. Yes, I have high hopes for this guy, too. This guy is what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, right? Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen. Wow, this guy's fourteen. This guy's. I have high hope for this guy, for sure. Yeah, I'll take him for sure. A promising addition. Yeah, he robs swans. Yes. Oh, what's this? Raider bandit. Max life is increased. Hmm, these are terrible though. These are terrible, terrible, terrible. I mean, this is not bad, right? Two sockets, but it's kind of meh. Okay, this is a two socket wand. That's actually not bad. A two socket wand is not bad. Alright, I'll come back to you. Two socket wand. Alright, I need to retire two guys. Which one of these guys do I retire? I got a soul earlier, right? Hang on, I only need to get two, I need to sell two souls. No, oh, no, 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 go back, go back, go back. This guy I need to get rid of, right? Yeah, this guy I'm retiring. I get a soul back. He's the worst. But looker. But looker. But locker. Now, who had the mortal wound?
Which raider had the mortal wound? This guy, right? This guy. No, this guy actually had 14. Oh, it's such a shame. Life is reduced by 50%. Ooh, it's such a shame. Alright, I'm gonna retire him. These names, yeah, because I hate for, for comparison, but it looks like Winter Myth, but a goblin roguelike and card game. Sorry, but if it's a roguelike. It's somewhat card game. It's not really card game. Because the, the way these spells work is that basically it randomizes the spell. So there's a chance of one spell that you don't get to use. There's four spells total. And it only draws three. So it's kind of luck. It's really just RNG what spell you get. It's not really card game though. I thought, at first I thought it's card based, but it's not really card based. So what, what happens is, it's rolling it. Um, and then the, the, the spirit basically allows you to redraw to get another attack move instead. But sometimes you, it fails, right? This guy, is, he's not gonna cut it. He's mortally wounded. So I'm gonna get rid of him. It's unfortunate. Kind filler. <laughs> Wherever they will. Kind filler. Alright, so now I have enough... Enough to upgrade, right? Yeah, I do have enough to upgrade my... My hall. New depth level accessible? Yes, I can go down further. Look at that. I have a warn... Warns thingy. Build quarters? Okay. How many guilds? Construct a guards guild. Oh. And build a quarter. The layer grows. Sure. Oh my god, it costs 5,000 to grow the next layer. That's a lot of money. All right, well, we'll stick the... What was the other one? Guard, right? Oh, I can't... Oh, I don't have enough materials for the guard. I need one wood and four thingy, right? One wood and four thingy. Fiber. One wood and four thingy. It doesn't have that. Oh, no, I don't have that. One wood and four fiber, which I do not have. Makes sense. Also, when I saw Tamaria Trail on Xbox Weekly News, I wanted to play that on my dad's this weekend. Honestly, so many people mix up roguelite and roguelike. Uh, rogue, oh yeah, roguelike um, is basically kind of like, think of it as like Pac-Man, right? You don't get any carryovers. Roguelite is you get carryovers. This is actually roguelite. So let's say you fail a an adventure run you don't necessarily fail because whatever you bring back, you progress a little bit. So this is more rogue light than rogue like. There's a there's a meta progression. So if there's a meta progression, then it is rogue light. But if it's like a one pass, you win or lose, that's rogue like. Um I knew that, I just didn't know which one, right, yeah. I just wanted to point that out. Like is... is, is like is basically a, a, an arcade, right? You go to an arcade machine, you feed it some coins. You... Tetris, right, is rogue-like. That's Tetris, right? You fail, you don't get anything. Next time you play it again, your previous run does not affect your next run, basically. That's how rogue-like is. Eight, um... Uh, eight, uh, yeah, against the storm is light, right? So you fail a town run, you know, you still get experience, or so you don't get experience points, but you get some sort of loot to upgrade your citadel. So even if you fail a town, you get some food stock, 
you can use a food stock to upgrade. So it's not entirely, you know, dead. Or useless waste of a run. So, let's see here. I need four of this and one of this, which the guy is not selling, right? And do I want to buy this magical twig? This magical twig has, like, what? Two slots. As opposed to the rock. This guy has... Thunder. I already have that, but that's that has two slots. Alright, I have two slots on this one. This is no slots at all. You know what? I'm gonna buy this. Wait, which one is this? This is the... What about this one? 20% max life? This is 9 power, this is 8 power. Oh my goodness. Chance of bleed is 20% and life, right? But this is 50% sunder. 9, right? I don't know, they're both really good. One has the built-in life already. I mean, I could buy both, right? I could buy both. But I wouldn't be able to get this, right? This is like freeze chance. I could get that for 400 if I swap it with this one, right? I don't know if it's a good idea. Empty chamber. Warden's Guild? Okay. A strong well, let's breed some people. Body. This is where goblins breed. Goblins from the Warrens are usually better than those found at the campground. When choosing a pair, carefully consider the mind, body, and spirit attributes. Okay. Um. Can I upgrade this? What does this upgrade do? Oh, can't. No, no, no. Bad idea to upgrade. Wait, can I- what else can I upgrade? Can I upgrade this? Fiber, no. Cost too much. Alright, what can I do here? A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many generations. Ugh. Let's see here. Goblin breeding, right? Yeah. Basically, I can mix match to get better genes. Okay. What gene pool does- do you have? You have nothing! You are the worst shaman ever. Nine. Oh, actually, he's not bad, though. Nine. Or, sorry, eight. Eight. It's nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, right? He's decent. Thirteen. He's a thirteen shaman. I'll leave him. How about you? You are six. For, or, sorry, you're eleven, but you have flabby. Flabby's useless to me. Brute? Hang on, let me take, take this. Uh, let's see here. What does this gain me? I can't un undo them, right? So this guy basically has an extra two, right? So seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He's a fourteen. He's nothing. He's useless. But he is fifteen. He's actually... He has no traits! But he is actually very powerful. Alright, I'm gonna keep him until he gets mortally wounded. This guy... 9. He's also a 14. He's actually not bad either. Let's keep him. Okay, he's got alert. I want to keep alert, right? This guy is very good. Okay, so... Shoe Jabber... Shoe Jabber. Whoops, oh shit. Sh shoe Jabber is going into the slot A. And then. What are you? You are Brute. You are Flabby Alert. 
Snap doper? What the hell? You're nothing. You are an alert. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna take this guy, right? We're gonna use you as the breeder. Okay, come on. Wait, wait, which one? Oh my god, what was his name? Which one was the breeder? Shit. Forgot his name. I forgot his name. I want the alert guy. Wim Tapper, right? Wim Tapper. This guy's crappy. Snap Doper. Win Tapper, right? Wim Tapper is the one I want. Get out of this. Wim Tapper. The makings of a strong brood. Okay, he's not a 555, five, five, is he? Okay. The one on the left is kind of crappy, though, but. Ah! Sample spawns! He's not a 555. Five, five. Well, mine is not that big of a deal, right? I don't really care about the mine. I'm hoping for the left, right? I'm hoping for the left. Let's breed this. What do we got here? A new generation. A new hope. What do we got here? This guy is Bark a Jailer? Oh, he's shitty. Body is increased. So yeah, set way, set way. 50. This is 12, 13, right? It's 12, 13. 13. This is a 13. Oh, he's a shaman, though, huh? Is he gonna be a shaman? He's got mine. I don't know if I want him to be a shaman. What about this guy? He can be a shaman or a raider. This guy's got 12. He's actually got 13. Not alert, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, oh, no alerts. Oh, you're right. No alerts. Oh, I wanted alerts. Alert gives you... Gives you, um... Armor. If you have alert. Alert. Yeah, there's no alert. Damn, these guys are terrible. He can be a shaman or a raider. You have alert, you can change the selected trait options. Oh, I have alert on this guy. I do have alert on this guy. Never mind. I do have alert on this guy. This guy does have alert. I want brute, right? Which one is this thing? Yelp. Yelp snorer, right? All right. So he makes a very good raider. This better suits their temperament. Right, that puts it at 12, right? Yeah. I don't mind the mine being removed. Because mine basically allows me to redraw or crit. But he has no points for critting. If I take the brute away, then he has... He has crit chance, right? But if I put brute in there, he has more health. Huh. You know what? I'm still, I, you know what? I don't want the brute. Brute is fine, right? No, it's fine. I'm gonna leave alert. Raider's not meant to be a tank, so I'm gonna go with this one, right? This is 13 points. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. So we're gonna go with a raider, right? We're gonna choose raider for him, and he's got chance to crit. He gets six points of crit chance. 35 is fairly decent. I'll take it. Oh, he grew up to be a raider. Oh, look at that. Oh, I get to choose. Okay, this guy has alert. Let me take this off. He does have alert. He can only be... A raider requires five body. And a guard requires... A guild. I don't have a guard guild. 
Doesn't really matter, though. Well, if I get a guard, that alert increases, right? If I make him religious... Do I get... Oh, okay, if I do... I, okay, so that gets me a guard. And guard needs what? Primary attribute is body. Requires guard guild. But he's he makes a terrible tank. All right, he makes a terrible tank. I don't want to do that. All right, let's see here. Hang on, let's see here. Do I have a? Oh, I can't do a guard guild, right? Because I don't have enough resources. Hmm. I'm thinking. Or do I just not? Or I could just train him as a peon and just move him along, right? Do I... It costs 550 yet. You know what? He's probably crappy. I probably don't need him. If I train him as a regular peon, I can actually get the soul, right? Do I have to choose? I don't have to choose, right? Do I have to choose? I don't think I have to. Oh, I have to choose, right? Jail Barker? I don't know about that. Jail Barker. I don't have to choose, do I? Do I have to choose? I think I have to choose, right? An appropriate vocation. No, hang on. Let me go back. I might not have to choose. Okay, I can just do a rook rookie peon. Okay, so rookie peon, basically, I don't have to pay the 50 coin cost. I can probably just get rid of him. Right, because 526 is not terribly bad, right? Let's go with this. He's just a peon. Okay. Now, the question is, do I want to buy any weapons from this dude? Right. Where's my armory? This one goes into which raider? This one, right? He's good. And then I got... Did I get a new shaman? I think I got a new shaman, right? Did I get a new shaman or no? Oh, uh, no, no, I got a new raider, right? I got a new raider. That was the other dude. How many raiders do I have? I have three raiders. This guy has Lug Mutter. Wow, Lug Mutter. Look at all that health he's got. Hang on, let's switch this to Lug Mutter. Lug... M Lung Mutter. Lung Mutter. Yeah, so this guy is... Lung Mutter. Why did the ham bat did not give him more damage? It does give him more damage, right? Seven. For some reason, that's not updated there. Yeah, it's, for some reason, I guess his base is two? Plus the ten? Wait, what? what is, why is that two? Determined by equipment, seven, right? So his base is two. Right, but he's got the bats, which gives him seven total. Hmm. That's kind of weak sauce. 
What's causing him to lose that power? Flabby, right? Oh, yeah, let's get rid of Flabby. Let's put him on alert. Perfect. Rookie Raider, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Now he's at 10 damage and 43 health with alert. That guy is amazing. All right, you know what? We will call you Lunchbox. Lunchbox. B7, right? That is you, Lunchbox. We're going to keep track of this guy. He is very good. Let's go. Yes, Lunchbox, that is you. He's an amazing raider. 10 points of damage with 43 health and... And armor. That guy is awesome. You're OP. Yes, you are OP out of this group. So this raider has nothing. I need to get a weapon for him. He has no... His fist ability is what? It's five, but he loses five. Why does he lose five points? It's probably because of the... Of the No, body, mine. We don't want to change that, right? Flabby sucks, right? Life, no, we don't want to reduce power. We don't want to reduce body. We don't want to, we increase body, we lose crit. Or mine, we lose crit. We need a weapon for him. We need a weapon for him. How's this guy? Oath Bobber? Oath Bobber. This, he's 15. What are you? You're 13. You do kind of suck. This guy sucks right now. This guy is actually really good because he's got 6, 4, and 5, right? But he's got no special abilities. He's actually not bad. He just has no extra traits. Alright, I'm going to keep him then. He's pretty good. This guy is, is a throwaway. What about you? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. He's, this guy is a throwaway, but he's a guard. I can't undo his guard ability, right? Okay, he's a guard. Can't do anything about him. Wait, shoo! Jabber. What are you? He's got a lurch, right? Minus power, extra life. Minus body. No, I don't want to do minus body, right? Body reduces health. Body, right? Okay, so he does not need... He's a tank. He does not need the mine. Right. I can't do the other one, right? If I take that, yeah, I, I need that one. He's a good tank. Shoe Jabber is the one you liked before you made the breed. Yeah, Shoe Jabber. This guy, right? He's the... How is he a guard? No, no. Shoe Jabber was the guy I used to breed the other guy. He was the guy that I used to breed. He was not the breeder. Or the bread. The bread. All right, the bread. So he's good, right? He gets... He's better than the other guy, right? This guy is 13. This guy is 11. He's also 13. He's also 13. This guy has no special abilities. All right, let's switch out. Let's see here. It does. Let's see here. Equipment, right? Let's go back to the equipment and change the equipment. Um, equip weapon on shoe jabber. Let's see if there's a difference. Six. What was his ability earlier? Was it six or five? I think it was. They were both six, right? So ultimately, this guy is better, right? I think, I think they gave him six as well, right? Six power. 
Right, yeah, so, okay, so this guy is actually better. So rank downer, he's a downer, but he's a veteran. Can I get rid of him? I could get rid of him, right? I don't need two guards. So let's go, hang on, what's his, but he has no special ability, right? Okay, let's, let's get rid of him. So you give me a soul, right? Rank downer. See you later, because I only have like one, life. one Free weapon for him. All right, so we're now we're down to who? Bark Jailer, Swan Robber. Hawk Roamer. Wow, this guy has a lot of health. How do you have so much health? Holy shit, life. Okay, let me take this off. Alert. Okay, maybe religious. So that means he gets more armor? No, religious is not good. That doesn't do anything for me. Alert. More life, less power. All right. Brute is more life. Less crit. I don't want. I don't want to lose my crit. I don't want to lose power. I don't want to lose spirit. What does spirit do? That gives me rerolls. But it has to be now, so this is useless. God, oh, this guy is terrible. All right, Hawk. Hawk Roamer has a lot of life. You may only have three classes of that type. Okay. Attack power five, attack power two. I need a weapon for him though. He can't survive without a weapon. And this guy, I think this guy is just a Ricky, right? Okay, we're gonna, he's my red shirt that I'm getting rid of. He's the red shirt. And I need to get a weapon for him. Right, I need to get a weapon for him. You know, he's very tanky, but I don't have any weapons for him. So he's basically useless without a weapon. Alright, so I need a weapon for the raider. This guy gets more life, right? Eight power. Or nine power with thunder ability. He's the red yeah, the other guy is the red shirt, right, exactly. He's already get he's already gotten veteran, so I got a soul off of him. Um this one here. Less power, but the chance of bleed and more health. What do you guys think? And this is for the shaman. Extra damage with two sockets. This is slow, 50% slow. It's 30% freeze. 100%, you know, I'm, I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna trade this one for this one. That only cost me 400. So the question now is, do I want this one or this one? We don't have a bandit, right? So do I want extra life, 20% more life, with a chance to bleed, or 50% chance to sunder, with more power, but this has sockets, right? I should probably go with the extra bleed chance, the chance to bleed, right? Because raiders do bleeding. Sunder on the tanky guy. Well, the tanky guy can only... It's... The tanky guy is a, is the guard. In my bad opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let me go ahead and take this one, the bleed. That's all I can afford. Just what's needed. Just what's needed. Okay, so we're gonna add in the... Let me go back to the weapons room. 
Okay, we're gonna give this to the the one that this guy right here, right? Yeah, that guy gets it. And this is for the shaman. And we're set, right? We're set. Now we can go into battle. So 10, 8, and 9. This guy is pretty tanky. Let's go move him to the front. At the back, right? Rock on a stick. This one is extra life, right? This guy has extra life and armor. This guy has no armor. Oh, maybe I should switch the two. This guy is very tanky, but he doesn't do a lot of damage, right? He also has armor, which is really good. I think I should switch the two. Hang on, let me go back. Um, this is the chisel, right? Which... They, they swapped, right? I think they swapped. I think they swapped. So now he has more health. Does less damage, but he has more health. This guy actually has, an, has that armor, which means he reduces damage by one. And he has 35. He also is pretty, pretty good, right? So this is fine. I'm going to put him in the front then. Because then he goes first. Or closer to the first, right? This guy has a lot of damage. Oh my god, Lunchbox is so good. Look at Lunchbox. He's got armor. He's got life. And he's got like a super duper weapon. Lunchbox, you are amazing. We'll go with Lunchbox there. Alright, this guy is my red shirt. He needs to be a veteran and, and we're going to get rid of him. Sounds about right. Yes, lunchbox. Let's go. All right. So what do we need more of? We need more fiber, right? We need more fiber. So we're gonna attack this one here, right? That's the fiber. I need fiber and wood. Right. I need fiber and wood. That's my reward, right? Yeah, fiber and wood. Can you be a goblin? You want to be a goblin? Let's hear. Let's go back. You can be a goblin. Who do you want to be? I'll let you have a choice out of my group here. I'll rename you. Zoom. Zoombiz. Ly Lila. Leia. Leia. Okay, Zoombiz. Which one? You want to be the shaman? Alright, you can be the shaman. You are the shaman. Zoom. Biz. Leia. Leia or Lila? Alright, well that's you. You are the shaman. Alright, anyone else want a name, Angry Pigeon, while you're at it? Does armor just reduce incoming damage by- Yes! Armor basically reduces damage by that amount. So if you have armor 1, it reduces 1 point. You'll take one? Alright, which one do you want, Angry Pigeon? You want Shoe Jabber? Oath Bobber or Yelp Snorer. This guy is actually not bad, right? He's got the armor. He's actually got the extra damage. This guy is just lots of health, but he has low damage. Yelp Snore. Okay, that is you then. So Angry Pigeon, this is you. Anyone else wants a name? Since I'm on this renaming screen. Okay, so Shoe Jabber is my tank. He can reduce damage by three. Random Dutch Dude. Okay, which one do you want, Random Dutch Dude? Obviously, you don't want the uh, Red Shirt guy, right? This guy is the Red Shirt. I'm just going to call him Red Shirt because he's, he's a goner. Red Shit. Red Shirt. So you can choose... Oops, oops, oops. You can choose between... Oh... Bobber or Shoe Jabber. Yes, he's dead gem for sure. 
This guy has pretty good life. Pretty decent damage. Shoe Jabber is probably not so good, but he is a tank or an armor, right? You want the tank? All right, so you are now random Dutch. I don't think I can fit the whole thing in there. It's kind of long. What, what do you want? Random Dutch dude or random dude or Dutch dude? How do you want your name to be in there? I mean, it will fit, but it goes off screen. Random Dutch. All right, random Dutch then. That is you. All right. So we got Oath Bobber. Anyone else? Oath Bobber is not terribly bad. He's got the best. He's got the extra health, right? Anybody? All right. Nobody. All right. That's fine. Oath Bobber. Let's go with the map. We're gonna go with the the whistling heath. We want the wood and we want the fiber so we can actually get a, a new guard guild, right? Yeah, let's go with us. All right, how's my order? Yeah, all right, I'm okay with these orders. Red shirt, we gotta get rid of him. There is no shortage of adventure and peril in these woods. Okay. All right, we're looking for any blue sparkles. If you see blue sparkles on the ground, let me know. I don't want to miss it, because that's where you kind of like, it's like a secret dig. I'll take one next time if it's convenient. Yeah, we'll do that next time. I don't think I can change that in the middle of the battle, right? Oh, I can change it in the middle of the battle. Beta DM Dragon. That works, okay. You are now the Oath Bopper. All right, so that works. Red shirt guy, we're getting rid of. Jump across. Let's climb down and see what's down here. There's no blue sparkles, right? Okay, so which one do I want? Do I want the shrine or do I want the Guru? I think I want the Guru, right? Because he upgrades my cards. The shrine could give me money at the end of the run. But maybe we want the... I don't know if it's a curse Shrine or not. We're gonna go with a Guru. Because if, if I can get, like, Execute upgraded two times like last game, that would be amazing. Wait, there's no... There's no pink, blue sparkles or anything, right? Hone their skills, for they will be tested. Okay, Raider, right? Exterminate. So this goes up to 140 versus this gives me more heals. Oh, do I want more heals, guys, or do I want more damage? I think more damage, right? I think more damage. Practice makes the warrior. Blue sparkle at the weapon stand? Okay, I have to check that in a second here. So this one gives me more heals, more armor. What's this one do? Deal 70% damage. If the target is bleeding, poison, right? I get this does more damage. More damage or tank. Or more heals. This heals actually twice as much. This is a huge upgrade for healing. This does 20% more damage. I don't know. I'm thinking... More damage, right? I think more damage. Hmm. An improvement. 
Ooh, I get to upgrade this to another card level, yes. Hang on, what's this one do? Guard? Uh, deals 120, yeah, this is weak. Extra damage based on my armor. Or I upgrade the Pestilence, right? Foes with slow takes double the amount. No, let's do this one, right? This get, now puts it at 15. Yeah, so 15 points of damage with the Execute. Perfect. So you said there's a blue sparkle somewhere. Oh yeah, you're right. There's a blue sparkle right here. Perfect. Nice. Take it. Something of worth in an unlikely place. Yep. All right, let's go. Ambush? Nope, no ambush. Hopefully we can destroy this. Oh, nice. We should be able to destroy this guy easily. If I attack, if I do this, he will be stunned, right? And that'll allow the next guy to do damage. Or I do 8 to 10 and finish him off. But it's random though, right? Oh, it's random. 8 to 10 randomly, or stun him. Let's go ahead and random blast. Nice, front guy. Lunchbox, oh, lunchbox. Wait, okay, so if I do seven, that doesn't do... He's not bleeding right now. That applies bleed. Alright, let's go do the chop here. Oh, did not get a crit. Oh, no. Okay, at least my my guard... Or, my, sorry, my one point, right? Angry Pigeon had the one point... Reduction. Slice? Ooh, slice. Chop? Chop. Ten. Okay, four to six with a bash, right? He goes next. Oh, beta. Oh, no. I'm thinking here. Okay, if I apply the bleed, by the time the guy comes, he dies, right? Or I apply the bleed now to this guy in the front. To the guy in the front. And then I can kill the guy in the back. No, the guy in the second spot. Nice. A powerful start. That's the red shirt guy doing his part. Okay, nice. Random Dutch dude. Nice. Tanking. Okay, this guy, I can stun him. He's got 20% chance to resist, right? Hmm. Okay, I can buff myself for more armor. I can bash him, but it will only do one point. To three points with a chance to stun. Hmm. This is a hundred percent chance to stun. Well, eighty percent chance to stun, right? Because that is mitigated, right? Eighty percent chance. It does no damage. This has a twenty percent chance to stun with a one to three. It didn't work. And this is... Yeah, any of these, they are fine. Perfect. Nice, nice. Lunchbox, you're so good. Look at that. This guy is the finisher, right? Oh, he's dead on that one. Slice. 
and just like bleed. All right, let's go ahead and inflict the bleed. And then the next guy will kill him, right? Okay, okay. Nice job, Angry Pigeon. So now... Let's see here. Deal 50% uh, if the attack crits gain haste. No. Let's see. 80 to 100, 100 with a chance to bleed again. Inflict bleed. With a chance to bleed, right? This is 68. You know what? I'll, I'll do it. I think he'll die once he gets to his turn, though. This is two points of damage. He should die once his turn comes, right? Oh no, that's well, fine. Yep, there you go, Dutch dude. Modest victories lead to great accomplishments. All right, that's good, right? I got a big battle with a shop or a harvest. I'm gonna go with a shop, right? So we're gonna go top layer. Do I want to heal any of my dudes? Yeah, let's go heal this guy, right? Yeah, that's fine. Wait, is there any any blue sparkles? No blue sparkles, right? Yeah, we're going. Wait, we're going top row, right? Yeah, we, we want to go top with a shop. Top with a shop. Ooh. Oh, I'll take the money. They stuff their packs. Nope, no ambush. Angry Pigeon could probably use a heal, right? Yeah, he probably use a heal. Do I heal him? Sure, why not? And then, ooh, look at that! Exterminate. Oh, they did not crit. Oh, angry pigeons got hit hard. Oh no. Nine. That's fine, at least he's getting heals. And this applies stun right away. Okay. I need to take him down for sex. Dang, gone it. You're gone, right? This guy is my red shirt he goes after me right that means this guy is going to take damage or I shove him back one but then that means he's going to damage this guy I can try to stun him You've got 20% chance to resist. Or 8, yeah, 8. Okay, yeah, there we go, we got him. He's going first. Yeah, that knocked Beta out. Could probably heal. No, I mean, I could finish him off right now. Who's the next guy? So he goes right after me. So I should probably just kill him off now, right? Oh, but it's random. That's random. Do I want to risk it? He's going second. Angry Pigeon is going to take a beating for 12 points. I think I should just buff him. 
Oh, that was close. Okay. Angry Pigeon, what do you got here? You got Exterminate, right? Okay, hang on. Who? Bash? Inflict Stun. He's got 50% chance to resist that, right? So it's 50 50 on that one. Alright, let's go with this one. At least it does some damage. Exterminate, right? 20% chance to bleed. Oh, nice. Big shot. All right, what do you got here? He's going second, right? If I push him, I can take out the other guy. Or I try to do three points of damage. He might crit. Or two points of damage, right? It might crit. Did not crit. Lunchbox. Oh, no. He pushed Lunchbox back. Terrible. Red shirt guy, right? Oh, red shirt guy should finish him off. A galvanizing victory. Angry pigeon still needs heals. I don't have any food. I don't have any food. Oh, maybe, maybe we have food. Let's find out. Oh, yes, we have food. All right, so Angry Pigeon is going to need that heal. There you go. Decent enough. Yeah, yes, healing from Shaman isn't great. A later class is when you actually get good heals. Yeah, probably not a good idea because I wasted that. I could have probably killed him earlier. No sparkles, right? Oh, here's a bag. Money, money's good. Right before the shop. Ready for the taking. Yes, ready for the taking. Fine wares. Do I need any of those guys? Should I buy healing? Oh, this is actually really good. Gain life per kill. I'm gonna buy this one. A fair trade. What is this one? Chance to bleed? And beast. Or should I buy healing? Hmm. I see. I don't know if I should buy healing. What do we have coming up? I'm we'll probably get it with the bottom, right? So that's kind of scary. I probably don't need to heal. Let's progress. Mm. Alright, so we got a shaman or a guard. Let's find out. This is what? This is, uh... 12, right? This is 12. This is worse. Oh, this is also 12. They're both 12s. They're both 12s. But it looks like the Shaman has a lot of damage. You don't think it's a good Shaman? This is actually not a bad Shaman, right? He's got like 7... points of damage. I could take the... I could take the life off. Right? I could take the life off and get more damage. More power, right? I think the Shaman is better. I'll go with the Shaman. So the question is, who do I want to send back? Or do, do I want to keep my...
I take off Flabby. Yeah, I take off Flabby, but which one of these guys do I want to get rid of? I want to keep the red shirt because I wouldn't be able I wouldn't be able to get the the soul. Yeah, let's see what do you do? You have you're a you're a rookie, right? See, this guy's a rookie, right? I want to get rid of the red shirt at the end of the run. He needs veteran status. Does power affect magic damage? Yes, it does. It does. So which one do I want to keep? I take Flabby off, right? Oh, I can't take it off during the run. Oh, last time I couldn't. So this guy's now... Super strong, right? 10 points of damage. Hmm, who do I want to... to keep? Or I just send that guy home. Or I swap with, with Zumbai, right? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna swap with him, right? What's his... He's gonna do 10 points of damage, right? His weapon is a 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a temporary, though. Oh, yeah, I guess I could swap it with this guy. Let me switch it. Because this guy's already got better in status. Yeah, the primitive is 9. This is 7, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's keep this. Alright, I'm, I'm happy with this, actually. No, no, I'm gonna keep the red shirt. I'm sending back the other shaman. The other shaman has already got his... his veteran. I like the red shirt because I need to make him a veteran so I actually can... can get a soul off of him, right? So we're gonna go down. Not a big deal since you got one more soul by going on more adventures with the main crew too, yeah. Nope, didn't ambush him. Oh, I see a sparkle over there too. Okay. Alright, this is fine hit the middle guy. Okay, that's actually good, right? Lunchbox? Oh my god! He actually hit Lunchbox for quite a bit. This guy will kill him. Lunchbox? He's dead. He didn't even know what hit him. Chop. Okay, that does three points of damage. This does only one point of damage. Ooh, Sunder got... Oh, nice. His armor got removed. Perfect. Oh, his armor's back. Only for one turn. Chance to bleed. Chance to bleed. Yes! Oh my god, he's bleeding. Red shirt? I don't care. <laughs> the red shirt guy. Alright, that is two points of damage. Oh, I got a crit! Nice! Red shirt, good job. And he's bleeding. And this is gonna give me some damage here. He should be dead next turn. Yep. Alright. And then you... You're an easy peasy. Smack. Smack. Five points. Second. I don't know if it's worth healing him. No, let's just kill him off. With each victory, they advance their cause. Nice. Open. I'll take the money, yes. Thank you. There was a sparkle here, right? There we go. Ooh, fine. I'll take the money. No treasure, however small, is worthless. 
And this is Battle Guru, right? Yeah, Battle Guru. Any sparkles? No sparkles. Play yet? Oh, I forgot that. Oh, guys, guys, guys. I forgot to equip it. On lunchbox, let's see here. On, on lunchbox, right? Yeah, it's user to lose it. Oh, my mage left behind his twig. Oh, that's kind of cool. My mage ran off and left behind the twig. So that's kind of nice of him. But the primitive wand is still better, right? I think the primitive wand is still better. Hang on, let me make sure. Yeah, see, it is better. Magic twig and wand, right? But this the one on the, the right is temporary. It'll go away at the end of the run. Boop, boop, boop. Potential is nothing without practice. Okay, that is chance to with a forty percent chance to knock back, right? Ooh, that's not bad. What about this one? Twenty percent more damage. I'm gonna go with this one. An improvement. What does this one do? Let's remove all armor and gain heal for that amount. Oh. Okay. And this one is heal, right? Extra heals. And this one is what? This is probably more damage. So, okay. Remove all armor and gain heal for that amount. I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's go with more damage. Same thing, right? Four times. Even more damage, right? So yeah, let's go with this one. More damage. Nine, right? Seven. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Alright, we get treasure. Only armor gained. It does not include static armor that they start the battle with. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. It removes only armor gain. Oh, look at that. Oh, but this is temporary. I'll take it all of it, of course. Hang on. Oh, damage versus undead. So this is slightly better. That's going back with my inventory. Damage versus beast. 25, yeah, you know what? I'll use it. Wait, 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 hang on. Do how many, what battles do we have left? That might be a beast. That might be a beast. Who does the most damage? This guy, right? Alright. And that's money. Okay. Alright, then we go to the camp for heals, right? Everyone heals up. No sparkles here. The big battle next, right? A place of tranquility Heal everybody. They rest and reflect upon the day's events. Yes. Healing is good. Huh. I have watched a bunch of people assign two different shields to two diff to, to different guards. Sparkle left side. There's a sparkle? Did I miss a sparkle? Oh, yeah. You're right. There is one. I didn't even see that. Great. Thank you for that. Humble Appreciate it. Reward for humble work. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. The battle. Please be a beast. No, it's not a beast. What a waste. Can we get an ambush? No ambush. 
They confront the scourge to put an end to its terror. Okay, four to all, right? That's like, what, 12? Potentially, yeah, let's go with this. It also ignores the, the armor. Oh my god, lunchbox, no! That guy just crit lunchbox so hard. Seventy percent if they attack crits gain haste. The, if the target has bleed poison now, right? Chop! Oh my god, that's terrible. Angry pigeon lunchbox is is going down. We don't want him to die. All right, let's apply bleed. Random Dutch, fine. Uh, wh which one? This is guard up, right? This is bash with four with chance of stun. Sudden strike, right? That goes back by one, but this has a chance of the blade. So he'll he'll be before lunchbox. He goes before lunchbox. If I oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's fine. He goes right back in the back. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Red shirt, don't die. This hits it for three, right in the back. Oh, it crits. Whoa, He's stunned too. All right, what's this one do? If the target has bleed or poison, add another during the existing one, right? Oh, nice crit. Random Dutch. I think I'm gonna have to intercept. So that way, Lunchbox doesn't die, right? Yep, okay, cool, cool. The intercept worked. And this guy is a finisher. That will finish him. Nice. With you. Lunchbox is still alive. Oh, Lunchbox gets 20 points of health. No, nice. Nice. Lunchbox is healed. That gem helped a lot. That gem helped a lot. That was amazing. He healed himself for 20 points. Okay. That was amazing. Uh, yes, I, I don't see a post it, uh, a bit there yet. Okay. So let's see here. This is guaranteed. Red shirt. Five points. Oh, he crit for eight. Wow, that red shirt guy is good. And this is a finisher. Nice. The imposing creature is gone. Gone. Hopefully never to return. Never to return. Nice. Some gems. Nice. Hang on, I'm gonna equip this now. Cause the primitive is gonna go away. So that way I don't have to worry about it later. Yeah, that's gonna go away, so I'm not worried about that. This is gonna go away, this... yeah. Yeah, I just don't want to forget, because I'm gonna have to equip him again at the end of the run, run, so... Might as well equip it now. 
Goblins return home from the woods. Nice, nice, nice. Next. No extra. Oh. These are my regular loot, right? It's temporary, but it should disappear, right? Or is it temporary if it's equipped? It says that after the adventure is over. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't get it. Unless it's no, I, I don't. I don't think I get it. Right. I don't think I keep it. Pretty Let's sure I don't keep it. What the new day brings. Pretty sure I don't keep it. Yeah. See. I definitely don't keep it. All right. So everybody's equipping them whatever they're supposed to equip, which is fine. And then I got enough. Or a guard, right? I need to build a guard. I need to build the quarters. That completes my quest. Thank you for that. Ooh, very nice. Okay, let's check the abilities here. So I, okay, so do I want this one? Guard and... An ally by intercepting the next attack against it. Gain one armor. Guard an ally by intercepting the next attack against it. Gain one armor. Okay, I can choose who I want. Intercept the first or second foe's attack. Gain one armor. Guard an ally by intercepting the next attack against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this one. I get to choose, right? This just intercepts the first and the second. Yeah, I don't care about that one. Removes all armor and heals. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with this. What's this ability? Sunder a foe's armor. Gain one armor. I don't know. Knock back the foe. Okay. Retaliate against the next two attacks. Deals 200% armor versus one. I don't need that. I want... Okay, I'm fine with that. What's my next quest? Build a quarters, right? I can't fit it in here. Oh my god, it costs 5,000 to build another room. Yeah, it costs 5,000 to build another room. I can't spend that. So can't build a quarters room. Which is fine. What do we got here? Nothing good, right? These are awful. Nothing good. Get rid of this. Sorry, I'm yawning. All right. Trade. An honest bargain. Yeah, I don't need to buy any of this. this I, that's for Hunter. That's a guard. Bandit. I don't have a bandit. I already have a twig. I don't need that. Yeah, there's nothing here I need off this dude. Alright, so let's see here. What are you guys? What are you guys? This guy is terrible. He's 10. 11, right? He's an 11. He's another red shirt. This guy's 13. He's actually pretty decent. This guy is terrible. Alright, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah. 11. This guy's also 11. This guy's kind of 11. Yeah, these, both of these guys are terrible. So let's Come take a look here. To sort the distinguished from the disappointed. Yeah, this guy's terrible. I mean, I'll take him, right? A promising young fellow. Oh, he's got alert at least. This guy's really good. Loop camper, right? This guy's good. Let's. I can't rename him yet. All right, let's take him. A promising Loop addition. camper is good. This guy's. This guy's terrible, right? He's another red I shirt. Have high hopes for this one. All right, let's go name some of these guys. Is there a sort by the newest? This guy is a red shirt. 
You don't all care about him. Red shirt. Red one. Right. Oh, I forgot. Oh, shit. This guy, we're retiring. Right. Yeah, let's retire him. Dismiss permanently. So we got soul off of him. This is loot camper is good, right? This guy is bad. He is red too. He's terrible. Right. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, he's terrible. Yeah, he's very terrible. Okay, so that guy is red shirt number two. Hawk Romer, right? That was the guy that we had earlier. He's not bad. It's just the power is crappy, though. Alright, so Red 1. Where's Red 1? We're, we're taking him on the adventure. Oh, wait. Well, he's really bad. Flabby increases life minus power. Religious. Okay, let's give him some at least some health. Five, six, seven. Okay, so he's 11, right? He's really bad. Five points of damage. Okay, we'll give him five points of damage. He's really bad, though. Okay. Alright, I'm happy with the party composition. There's no reason to shuffle it around. Romer was the... The Romer. He's alert, right? Yeah, see, we, he's, he's got... Oh my god, it's... How does he have such weak... Power? How does he have weak power? This is even worse, right? Why is his power just so bad? It can't go lower than that, right? I think it's built in as two. How did he start off with so terrible power? He's a rookie too. He has a lot of health. I think this is bugged, right? I think this is bugged. Because his, his thing didn't change. I think that's bugged, right? That's probably the cause. Well, it doesn't matter now. You're back? Yeah, well, you won. You actually did a killing blow and gained, like, 20 health. So, hang on, look. Oh, now, now it's showing. You see that? So go back a few seconds, you'll see the bug. It showed two, and I turned it on and off, and it didn't make a difference. Oh, wait, no, no, wrong guy, wrong guy. No, it's right. Hawk. I'm selecting Hawk, and for some reason it's showing beta. That's weird, right? Yeah. I'm clicking on this guy, and it's not... It's not swapping him out for some reason. Yeah, I'm just hogging the spotlight. I can't even click on this Hawk Roamer now anymore. Oh, now I can. So now it switched back. Right, so ha somehow he's got two... And that doesn't change. See the bug? It doesn't change the power, so I guess he can't go below. And that should have given him six life, but it doesn't. And alert should have given him one point, but that doesn't. This is the bug, right? Hawk Roamer. Unless Hawk Roamer was beta. I don't know. What, what's going on with Hawk Roamer? 
Unless I renamed him. No, Beta was some Bobber guy, right? We He was Bobber something before, so he's not the same as Hawk Roamer. Hmm, weird, huh? A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many generations. Unless Hawk is not on this list. I guess Hawk, you no, know, Hawk is right here. Yeah, see? You should have... I can't change it here for some reason. Huh. Very odd, but having alert means he should have plus one. Why is he not getting his plus one, right? I don't want to pay to change him, right? It's going to cost me to, to change him. So that is, that is bugged. I don't know what that's all about. Okay, what's the next level? It requires 20 souls and 18 people. I need to collect more souls. Yep, I need to have more red shirts, basically. Grind more red shirts. Yeah, I've already bought everything I could possibly want off of us, right? Cancel. Get out. Alright, well... What else can I upgrade? I can't upgrade anything else, right? I can't build anything. I need 5,000 to... to create space. Yeah, you can only change traits in the war room, I think. I was in the war, war, war room. I was in the war room. For some reason, I can't click on that guy. I go back to him, right? See? I can change it, but it doesn't do anything. Minus three body plus spirit. Doesn't do anything. Oh, now it does. Now it's doing something. But that's not doing anything. Yeah, weird, right? This works. Unless that's... No! That angry pigeon had... It had armor. Yeah, see, angry pigeon has armor. So it's not... It's not specific to... To whoever, right? Body is increased and mine is reduced. Mine is crit. I don't want to reduce that. I don't want to reduce power. I don't want to reduce body, right? Spirit is every three spirit above. Oh, okay. I can actually get armor, right? Aw. Do I want more armor for less body? Don't you get souls if you get rid of him? I can't. He's not a veteran. He's not a veteran. So he has to be a veteran to to be to get souls. Right? That's why I bring red shirts, because red shirts become veterans, and then I get rid of red shirts to get the souls. The only ones I get souls off of are veterans. They have to go into combat once. Or they die. If they die, obviously, you know, I get I get souls. Because they're they're I guess they die in combat, right? They go they all they die on the adventure. Um, so yeah, Hawk is bugged. Bring Hawk and sack him. I could. Thus the name Red Shirt. Right, exactly. Thus the name Red Shirt. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could take Hawk with me. And then sack him. Hmm. My, uh, okay. My body increased spirit, but that only increases two. That doesn't help me, yeah. Alright, well, let's take Hawk.
Oh, I only have three of each class. Um, I guess beta, you hang at, you hang back. I guess I'll take him too. All right, so we'll take the red shirt guy then. All right, we'll take the red shirt. I can only have two. Wait, where's, where's the hawk guy? There you go. I can only take three raiders. That's the requirement. So Hawk Roamer. This is the bug guy, right? Red bug. So you are... You are... A goner next turn. And I need... I need to give him... Damage. Or a weapon, right? I need to give him a weapon. So... This guy goes on to Hawk, right? Hawk bug. Alright, that's fine. He actually gets a lot of life. Oh my god, 20% life. Hawk is... Hawk is gonna have so much life. It's Bug! He should actually be getting more life than that. 20% max life. Why is he not getting more life? Right? That's very, very bugged. Very, very bugged. Well, at least he got his alert now, right? He's got his alert. So that's not as bad. Minus body. I don't want minus mine, right? Power gets more life, right? Uh, no, right, no. That's the wrong goblin. This guy is Hawk. I renamed him to Hawk. Yeah, so he's actually carrying a weapon now. Yeah, I renamed him to Haw from Hawk. You're stupid? No, don't worry about it. Um... Yeah, alright, so that is fine. I can't do anything else, right? I need to get 5,000 coins. I can't get a quarter. There's nothing else I can... I can expand on right now, right? I think that's it, right? There's nothing else I can do. Wait, why is this guy... Who is our other shaman? Okay, who wants to be a shaman? This guy is a pretty good shaman. Skim Romper. Any any takers? I have a name here for somebody. Who wants the name? Who is the last person who chatted? Screaming no no. Okay, so screaming no no. Good enough for me. Screaming no no. That is you. So you are now on the team. Let's go. Nice, yes, you're on the team. Let's go. Appropriate name for goblin screaming no no, so you're interested in uh, in a good romp, eh? Alright, so what do I need more of for resource? Hang on, let me look at my my resources. Okay, I uh consolidate this. I need more bones, right? And leather. No, no, I just need more bones. Bones and stones, right? I need bones and stones. I need bones and stones. Right, bones and stones. So what... What gives me bones and stones? Okay, that's bones. And I think that's... No, that's stones, right? That does have stones. That's guaranteed stones. Hang on. 
Which one is this one? That's okay. Bones are very hard to come by, it seems, right? Yeah, bones seems to be the hardest. So you guys were right. Bones actually seem to be the hardest to come by. This one has guaranteed stones as a reward. This is not guaranteed bone or bones, right? Let's go get the, the bones first. Yeah, alright, let's go get go again here. Hopefully we'll get some bones to harvest. There is no shortage of adventure and peril in these woods. All right, let's go here. I should have bought more bones than whenever I see the trader. A respectable hall. Oh wait, did I miss any sparkles? No sparkles, right? No sparkles. This jumps down, right? Jumps down and I... Okay, question marks... Mystery... Mystery room or the goblin. I think I'm gonna go with a goblin, right? I'd rather have a goblin. Wonder if going on the adventure fixes them? Maybe, I don't know. Well, I, I was able to switch it now, right? Hang on. Okay, going on the adventure does... ...seem to switch it. Or I renamed it and switched it, right? Is this shiny under the bridge? The shiny you're looking for? Let me take a look. No, that's not it. It's gotta be a, like a blue sparkle. That's, that's like a hidden dig. I'm gonna go with the thing I do know, which I'm okay with. I don't know what the question mark is. Alright, that's cool, I'll take it. Fine baubles. Okay. Oh, oh shit, we get a hard battle next, right? Yeah, we get a hard battle. Alright, let's rescue. Okay, the top has six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. That's Link Shifter. This is eleven, right? This is ten, this is eleven. The shaman is actually better. No, the shaman is actually yeah, the shaman is better. Yeah, the shaman's better. Six, seven, eight, nine, this is ten. Well, the other guy actually does more damage and more health. Yeah, the other guy has more damage and more health. But the damage could just be coming from the weapon, though. What's his weapon? What's his weapon? Where's the, where's the thing that switches in and out? I don't know what his weapon is. Jaw, axe bone, and this other is primitive wand. I wish I can see the... The wand. Where's the wand? How, how do I move this out? It used to be like an arrow. I want to know what the... I want to know what his base weapon is. No, I'm gonna send him home. Job Axbone. I'll take the Link Shifter, I guess. Because he's got more damage. Alright, let's take a look then. The Axe is 12. Oh my god, the Axe is 12 power. Oh, Rookie Raider. Hmm. 
9.45. Angry Pigeon is 9.35. Does this guy have alert? He does have alert. Which one is this one? Life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still better than Angry Pigeon. All right, by 45, by an extra 10 health. Angry Pigeon is already a veteran. So, I'm gonna switch him out. Link Shifter. Yeah, he's actually way more damage. So, Angry Pigeon, you're going home. And then this guy will get his veteran status, right? And Brute does what? Body, but minus mind. He still does more damage. Flabby is... Okay. First of the islands, take the axe from him. Well, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep him. So this guy, he's gonna go home, but the weapon actually stays with me. It, it's automatic. Can't do anything about it. Alright, let's go with that one. Hello? There you go. Alright, you're with us. Alright, Angry Pigeon, you're the veteran. Go home. Um... So yeah, Angry Pigeon leaves his weapon behind, just in case. And then this other guy here... He's got the... Jawbone, right? He's really strong. So he's slight- he does more damage, but he also has 4 points less than Angry Pigeon. But that's okay. Right, no- no sparkles, right? Yes, I got the ambush on him. Alright, that's good. And this is... 6669, right? 9. Yeah, I'll do it. And then this guy, what's this guy? Sunder Chance. Bleed. This is Bleed now. Let's just go ahead and do this straight up. Nice. I should be able to kill him, right? Oh, come on! Not even a crit. What's this do? Armor increase. First foe is slain. First blood. Okay. This is 20% chance to bleed. Oh, I can't do that because that's my first turn, right? He's bleeding. Can I shove him? I guess I could shove him, right? No, two points. Or I can... No, I, uh, this will deal one point. This has a chance to stun him. But it does no, no damage. Oh, nice, thank you, thank you. Okay, random Dutch. Nice. You, you're at least my tank. Nice. It hits the lunchbox. Is fine. Oh, it pushed lunchbox back, though. This guy should go down, right? He's bleeding. He should go down. Red bug. That's fine. He should go down soon. Which one is this? The target's bleeding. Oh, nice. Nice crit. This guy has... Oh, I can't heal him. 
damage to all. Like, mm. This is random. This is instant kill. Random. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. This is the link shifter, right? Please hit the high number. Yes! Thank you. Visual bug report, yeah. Nice, the spider's down. Red. You're goner. It's two points, one point. Three points, yeah. One point. Your heals. You're dead. Lunchbox got it. Critians. Harvest, give me some bones. Yes, I got some bones. A decent Another harvest. More bones. Yes, more bones. Thank you for that. Is bitter, but it's great, focused. great, great. I got some bones. Okay, I'll take the money. Money's good. No... No sparkles, right? Alright, the one is Balguru, and the top is Harvest. I don't know what's past this one. I think I should just Harvest, right? Because Harvest at least gets us stuff. We're gonna go with the top. Oh, no, 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 no. Top. No, so the Guru-Ru! I might not need the Guru-Ru, because this is an easy map. This is the easier forest of all of them. Ambush. Nice, ambush. Hmm. All right. Let me go with all. Because that ignores armor. Oh, look at that. Nice. Lunchbox got hit with another poison. Red shirt needs to hit, hit kill him off, right? Oh my god, the crit. Oh my god. This is insane. The crit on that guy is amazing. Okay. He got poison. Very bad. Very bad. Fine. Can't do a whole lot. Uh, what's this do? Guard up? No. I should be able to finish them off. Oh no. No, all these poison. Getting that poison damage. The taste of victory seldom grows stale. Okay. All right, let's, we're gonna harvest, right? All right, so harvest should get us some bones here. Or meat. Okay, bones. I mean, it could be meat for heals. It's fruit. But nothing there. No. Oh. More junk. Alright, another harvest, right? More bones. Okay. These will be put to good use. I hope so. All right, what do I want to do? Tough battle or easy battle? Oh, the bottom has chess. I'm going to go with the bottom. We don't want to do the tough battle. Plus, the bottom has chess.
Ah, damn it. I didn't ambush him. Okay, 20, these guys are easy. Should be easy. Oh, Jesus Christ. No crit. Please, crit. No! My god. Red bug. Oh my god, these car these guys are getting wrecked. Okay. That guy's dead. This guy is my tank, right? Yeah, sniped. Yeah, he got sniped. I know, right? Mac, eight points. He should be dead next turn. Oh, come on. I should probably heal somebody, right? Yeah, I could heal somebody. Uh, red bug? Yeah, I guess red bug. Sudden strike, they're all the same, right? I don't think the other guy got healed. He has to move forward two turns or something. I don't know. He, he got healed. I don't think he got healed. Any shinies? No shinies, right? I feel like we're hunting Pokemons. Where are the shinies? No shinies, right? There's something here. Oh, there is a shiny here. There's something here that's sparkling with it. It takes a something while for the shiny to show up. Unlikely place. Oh, okay, what's this? Or chance to bleed. Am I going to attack anybody after that? Oh, there's a boss at the end. Shit, alright, who who do we want to apply chance to bleed to? Okay, red bug can increase his chance to bleed, right? Or sunder. And you know what? I'm gonna go for that one there. It's fine. Because it's either Sunder or Bleed, right? Because if I don't take his armor off, I might have a second chance I could try to bleed him. Do I have food? I don't have food, right? Damn, I don't have food. Each party member's max life is increased by 20. Immediately remove mortal wound of one random goblin. I don't have any mortal wound. Grateful for the boon, they depart. Okay. We got more health. And we're going into a campfire, right? That's actually very useful. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm tired. Alright, we get a campfire, so we're, we're gonna heal everybody. I don't see a sparkle here, right? A cozy fire welcomes the wayworn. Yeah, let's heal. They settle in, weary of the road. Okay. We need lots of money, right? Oh, hey, there's a rummage spot. Oh, nice. Land is right on the perfect spot. We need lots of money. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just junk. A humble reward for humble work. Junk. All right. We didn't fully heal. One person. Red bug, right?
Yeah, red bug. All right. Well, hopefully red bug will survive. If not, then, you know, sayonara, we get some souls. Ambush. No ambush. They confront the scourge to put an end to its terror. Oh my god, he got a first attack. Oh, he got a first attack. Come on. I gotta heal myself, right? To remove the poison. That was ridiculous. Chop. Link shifter. Oh, come on. That guy ran off. Nice. Random Dutch got poisoned. This is terrible. Chance of Thunder? Nope. Chance to bleed, right? Nope. No bleed. Shit. Should I push him back now? It doesn't really matter. I can try to stun him. Oh, yes! Nicely nice. done. Very nice. Oh my god, this oh, random Dutch is not gonna make it. Oh no, these guys are hard! Bash. Did not do it. Very bad. Oh no, random Dutch might not make it. Let's strike this. Damn it, did not crit. Oh, I think I should probably heal him. That should remove any bleeds, I hope. It did not remove his bleeds. That wolf needs to go down. Oh wait, I should execute him, right? There's 100% chance. I didn't want to risk it. The roll might not be in my favor. Oh no! going on here yeah this guy's gone nice Excellent strike. random Dutch oh my god mortally wounded he's my he's my guard too Jesus that's fine terrible Only one point? Oh my god, it's terrible. Random Dutch is not gonna make it. Oh, not the one in the back. Damn it. Oh, this is the instant kill. Or at least random Dutch. Oh no, okay. This is 15 points. Oh, the crit! Oh, I'm off by one! Random Dutch, this is your chance for revenge. Except for he's mortally wounded, so I think I'll have to retire him. Hopefully never to return. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, wow, lots of really good gems. Random Dutch, what's going on with you? I think I do have another tank at the back at home, right? It's unfortunate. He had pretty good stats. Treasure in tow. Goblins return home from the woods. Okay. It was nice. I got uh I got fiber, right? Oh my god, look at all the money there. 
So that guy got injured, and that guy got rescued. And then he gained plus one. Yeah, he gained plus one because the, he became a veteran. Right. Red bug. Why, do, why did he get... Will join your lair. He rescued. Oh, 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 extra, extra. This is the extra. That's the plus one on that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's population. This is not soul. This is population. Okay, so my population goes up by one. That's what it means. A new day dawns. And I have no space. Yeah, I can't take it because I have no space. And I don't have enough money to expand yet. This is junk. Treasure, yeah, junk. Ooh, look at that. 3,000. Wow, it's worth 3,000? That was actually worth it. Totally worth it. Okay, that is not good, right? Let's, we already have... He has, doesn't even have a socket. We already have that one. That's crappy, right? Yeah, these are really crappy. Yeah, all these are crappy weapons. Stones are hard to come by, right? I should probably just buy the stones. Just what's needed. Okay. Alright, I have enough now to expand. Yep. Alright, so let's go ahead and claim all of this. So now... I can excavate that. And what do I need to do? I should probably just get a second one of these. Right, just in case. It bugs out on me. Yeah. It's fine, right? Constructing new room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do I want to excavate anymore or no? No, I don't want to worry about that. Alright, well, let's take a look at our goblin selection here. Oh, I gotta retire some. Not too many. How do I get more people? I think I have to build a quarter, right? But well, that's stones. I need ten stones. Yeah, I don't have enough stones. And you aren't selling any stones. Okay, well, hang on. What else can I do here? What does upgrading this do? What does this do? Upgrade level 2 cost. What does the war room do for me? Or Aura 5 Flame Blessing gives blessing at the start of the adventure. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, that's a possibility. What does upgrading this do? Roster sizes. Uh, next level is 18. Power gained at camps. Camps are, place, are places to rest on adventures. Power gained at camps is plus two. Ooh. Well, that sounds nice. Ma maintain a roster of only the best battle-ready goblins. Okay. What does upgraded this one do? Adventure item slots is increased by 
by two. I have more slots. Okay, what about Warren? What does this do? A strong requires Spawns a three? Okay, I don't really care about that. What's this do? Power up per spirit. Well, plus one power per spirit, right? Plus ten life. Ooh. Okay, I do have resources. Okay, what about... Armory, what does the armory do? Smith the upgrade chance. Yeah, I don't care about that. Raiders Guild, what do I do? Plus two crit per mind. Oh. Plus max life. Raiders actually will get more... More health, right? All raiders share the same equipped abilities and class bonuses. All right, okay. So, increase crit chance and more health, right? I think that's a good idea for my raiders. Is it in instant? Oh, it's not instant. One day. Okay. This is weapons. I don't need more weapons, right? Why would I want a second weapon? I don't have a... Yeah, I don't need a second weapon. Storage weapons. Okay. Okay. We need to retire some people, right? I need wood. If I get wood, I get the blessing on my runs. Alright, so red shirt can go... Hang on, red shirt, right? He's a veteran, so we're gonna get rid of red shirt. That gives me a soul. Let him live a carefree life. I don't know if red bug is still bugged or not. Let's find out if he's still bugged. If he's not bugged, then we might keep him. No, he's not bugged anymore. Okay, so that's that face. Uh, so he's not bugged anymore. So that means we could keep him, right? Hey, Aquin, good morning. Yeah, alright, we'll keep Red Bug. He's not Red Bugged. Alright, we'll call this guy Aquin. How's that? Aquin, this is you. Welcome. He's not bugged anymore. So that is. Yeah, that. He's not bugged anymore. Now, random Dutch dude, right? I think he was the one that's mortally wounded. You got a character? Yeah, you got a character. Now, Link Shifter, I think I said I was going to get rid of him or no. I don't know yet. Well, this one I have to get rid of, right? Because he's mortally wounded. That means his life is cut in half. He's slightly useless. Yeah, all right, we're gonna have to get rid of him. Do we have another guard to replace him? Oh, we can always breed another guard, right? Yeah, we can breed another guard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can breed another guard. All right, let's go ahead and remove him. Get a soul. They're free now to live a life of their own. Okay. And then, let's see here. Lunchbox is fine. Link Shifter versus, versus DM, Beta. Hang on, are you a veteran? You are a veteran. Versus Angry Pigeon. Angry Pigeon actually has the most health. He's also a Okay, Angry Pigeon also has a guard, right? Yeah, this... Okay, so Beta DM Dragon doesn't have anything special. But he does actually have the most points. He's 15. Angry Pigeon... Oh, I can only have one of three. He's actually better than Link Shifter. Okay, let's switch it. Angry Pigeon goes back in. 
because he's got he's got alert all right he's got alert all right so I need another red shirt there was another red shirt that I was getting rid of right wasn't wasn't there gonna this guy was a red shirt right this yeah this guy Swan snap doper right he is red one We're getting rid of this guy here. Oh, there, oh no, never mind. He's red too. He's red too. Did the red one get removed? He's also a rookie. Okay, well we need a guard though. It would be nice to have a guard. Who's this guy? How many people? I can recruit three people, right? Hmm. This is like 12? 13. This guy's shitty. This guy's also shitty. Oh my god, these guys are all bad. Only the keen and eager are well. Babby, religious. He's got alert. Plain wetter. Uh, who else can I retire? I need more stones. Oops, oops, oops. Who else can I retire? He's rookie. He's rookie. He's a rookie. He's a rookie. He's a veteran. He has no special traits. All right, so that means this guy can be retired, right? So Zumbiz Lila, you're you're out. Yeah, you're out. May they prosper wherever they roam. All right, who else is a veteran? Okay, Link Shifter. What's your special? He has, oh, he's got a lot, actually, but his, he's only 10. Link Shifter actually kind of sucks, right? 7, 9, 10, right? So Link Shifter I could probably get rid of, but he's also got, well, he is kind of shitty. Yeah, let's get rid of him. Right, that's, he's a total of 10. Let him live a carefree life. Please beta more. is also no beta is the highest, right? Beta is fifteen. Beta is very good, actually. This guy, he's a peon, right? So beta DM is a keeper. Everybody else are rookies. They're all red shirts. Okay, hang on. This is eight. 7 is 12. He's a 12. He's all he's got root. Root is body minus mind. Okay, let's see here. This guy's kind of crappy. Let's let's rename him. Red. Uh red 12. Red 12A, <laughs> right, with alert, that's you. What about you? He is 11, he's really bad, 11B. Red, 11, with a B, brute, right? This guy is super, super bad. This is 11, right, this guy is 11. BR. He's a red 11 BR. Root religion. God, uh, this is like the best way to name these guys. For some reason, it didn't update him. There you go. Okay. So this guy. Hello. 
Yeah, there's some bug with this, because I can't select these guys. I can't select this guy for some reason. There we go, now he's back. So this is what? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So he is red 13. With... F... R A, right? With F R A. F R A. Flabby religious alert. This guy is totally bad, right? This guy is a ten. Red ten. With F and R. It doesn't matter though. He's he's really bad though. F A F A. Flabby, what's Flabby? Life and power? Oh my god. He's really bad. Alright, which one are you? Loop Camper? You are 13. Okay, 13. He's not bad actually with alert. Alright. Red 13 with an alert. Right, red 13. 13 is... So this beta is fine, right? Because he's 15. What about this guy? He is... 14. Okay, this guy's actually not bad. He's a brute, though. That gives him crit, right? 10 crit points. This gives him less crit point, but more health. Can I can I make him? He's he's what? He's he's 14. So I don't know if it's 14 is better than. Yeah, he's 14. 14 with with a B. All right, 14 with a B. And this guy is what? This is 11, right? He's an 11. He's a red 11 with an FR. FR, right? All right, so now we know who we're getting rid of. This guy is definitely somebody we're getting rid of. I need to get a uh, a guard with an alert. Guy's 14, but he's not a he doesn't have a guard. Yep, alright. Maybe I should breed somebody here. He has everything, right? That's uh that's twelve. This guy's a twelve. This guy's an eleven. This guy's a 13. This guy's 15. Okay. I think the 15 is our highest. But he has no other additional traits. Oh, he has no traits! DM, you're slightly useless. Okay, this guy... has... 13? Okay, the closest one is what? The 14 with a B. I want one that is an R. This is 12. 11 with an R. Screaming actually has everything, and he is technically a 12. This is a 13. Okay, so Angry Pigeon, we're gonna use him to breed. What are my chances? Dan needs new blood. Ooh, the guy in the middle is actually not bad. Right? Five, six, okay. Angry Pigeon. Okay, we're hoping for the guy in the middle, right? We're hoping for the guy in the middle. Go ahead and breed that. Okay. What do we got here? Shit, that sucks. Oh my god, that guy sucks too. He's got an alert. 
Oh, actually, this guy is really good, right? He's 15. Yeah, this guy is actually really good. And we can make him a guard, this right? Better suits their temperament. Because he's got an alert. Alright, this gives him more... More... Uh, sorry, move to a different setup trying to watch multiple streams at once, though. So. <laughs> yeah, no worries, no worries. Okay, so this guy can be a guard, right? That means he can get, actually, three. Yeah, 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 so that's fine. Brute and alert. Yeah, this guy's actually really good, okay. So, this guy is my new guy, right? I can probably replace... Beta DM Dragon and retire the other beta. Because this guy is what? Total of 50. How much, how much is this total? Hmm. This guy's total of 15, right? Yeah, he's 15. This could be our. This guy is our new one, right? Beta DM. Dragon, that's you. Where you get rid of the uh, the other guy, right? The other guy was a raider. This guy is actually fine. I'm gonna pay for the cost on this one. He makes a really good tank. So let's go ahead and grow into a battle-ready go goblin, right? And then we're gonna get rid of the other one. Because he's already... He has no special trait. I actually used him to breed. Um, because he had the highest points, right? 15. I wonder if I can use him again, right? To breed. Oh, but I have to get rid of the... I have to get rid of this guy. What is this guy? He's terrible, right? He's 13. I mean, I could hire him. Just not upgrade him, right? He upgrades to a nobody. Yeah, let's upgrade him to a nobody. Pine Carver. So, Pine Carver... Where are you? You are 13, right? So we're renaming you. Red 13. With... With everything. Okay. With a B-R-A. A bra. <laughs> B-R-A spells bra. Alright, that's fine. So we're gonna use... We're gonna use DM again with the other DM, right? We're gonna use the DM guard recovering. We're gonna we're gonna get him anyways. Oh, he's recovering. Oh, he can't breed again. We can't. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. Let's go ahead and can we eject him now, though. I think we can eject him now, though, right? No, that's fine. I'll, I'll let him cover for now. Yeah, let's let him recover for now. So, this guy is definitely a red shirt. The new guy... The new shield guy, he's coming with us. And then Angry Pigeon. Let's go to the um, weapons room here. Alright, so the new guy, you get that, and then Angry Pigeon gets the stick again, right? Okay, yeah, that's fine, right? Wait, no, there's, another, there's a new stick here. That's for Angry Pigeon. Yeah, okay, so all of our raiders have something, right? Yeah, hey, making a whole new goblins in a few moments is exhausting. Do you see those insane dance moves used to make? Yeah. 
Yeah, so I can't, basically, I can't reuse them to breed. They have to relax before I breed them again. So this guy is going to go Angry Pigeon in the back, right? He's actually got the most health. Aquin has the most damage. He goes in the front. So Beta DM. It's pretty good, right? Aquin goes in the front for the damage. All right. I'm happy with this. these choices. The red 10 goes here, right? Yeah, I'm happy with that guy. All right, I don't have enough money or the wood to recover that. All right, one more run, let's go. We need more wood, right? We need more wood. Hang on, let me go back. Let me figure out what I need more of. For my next upgrades. I need wood. I've got a lot of bones already, right? Is there a way to... There we go. Okay, I need more reed, and I need wood. Right, because I can't upgrade the other thing. Any reed and wood. I could use more stones, but nothing right now needs the stones. Because I want to upgrade my war room, because then I get the blessing when I start my adventure, right? Yeah, see, I need wood. So we... Wood and reed, right? Wood and reed. I think that was a guaranteed wood and reed. No, that's guaranteed bones and ores. Nope, I don't want that one. What about this one? That guarantees ore. What about this one? Guarantees stones. All right, I need a I need a guarantee wood, but none of these guarantee me wood. That guarantees me bones. This does have wood, but I also want reed, right? Oh, that also has stones on this one. All right, let's go with this one. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the selection. Everyone's fine, right? Yep, everyone's fine. This game is addictive. Holy shit. Way, way too addictive. It's that there one more no run kind of situation. And peril in these woods. Yeah, the breeding is actually kind of cool. Mystery. Mystery or harvest. Let's go with a mystery. No sparkles, right? No sparkles. Ooh, what's this? What's this guy? The orc herbalist. During their journey, the goblins come across an orc herbalist, meticulously collecting an assortment of herbs. Among them, the orc holds a particular. A uh, peculiar plant close to his face, taking in its aroma. His brow furrows as he ex examines it closely. This one is foreign to me. Goblins, he inquires, his gaze turning towards them. Have you encountered this herb before? Inspect the herb. I get plus 10 life. Oh, is it, who, who gets it? Who gets this? Test of mine. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Choose three. Thirteen mine is required to pass. What is choose three? Oh, maybe. Uh, oh, it's. A, oh, I should have memorized it. Oh, guys. Do you remember what that was? Where was the mine? Who? Oh my god. Can can any of you guys remember what the mind choices were? It went by so fast. I didn't know what the, I didn't know what it was I was doing here. Oh my goodness. 
Nope, sorry, no one remembers. Sorry, boss, was picking my toes. Uh, they are they are not shuffled. Well, they they shuffled it and then they they flipped it over, and I think there was a memory test, right? It was like a memory test, because otherwise it's random, right? I don't think it's random. I think the idea is they they are shuffled to some, but it's like a follow the queen thing. I don't know what the follow the queen thing means, but I believe it's. It's basically a memory test. I don't know, they're all the same to me, so I'm like, yes, this one? Oh, yes. I didn't get the 13 line. Oh, I failed. Not possible, they had 333221. Oh, okay, so I couldn't have gotten it. It wanted me to pick three, right? So nine was the best I could have gotten. Yeah, all right. That was awful. The goblins examine the herb closely, but no memory of its uh, it surface in their memory. Okay, so I healed for twenty percent, which is like no one. No, oh, it's terrible. Terrible. Yeah, follow the queen is street hustle game. Oh, I don't know what follow the queen is. Well, the heal didn't really matter because none of my guys had damage. Awful. Thank you for that follow there, Corky17. Appreciate that. You could disable the mind attribute first? Oh. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I see what you're saying. I could have gone back, but I don't know if I can leave. Yeah, I guess I could leave the... I could have left the dialogue, enable all the minds. And then try to do it, right? I understand what you're trying to say, Angry Pigeon. That's a good idea, actually. The uh, Swiss Silly 07. Thank you for that. Uh, first time chat. Follow the Queen. It's called Three Card Monty around here. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, yeah, that's a very good idea. I probably, what I should have done was left the dialogue, don't pick a choice, and then go through and pick mine, right? Find all the guys and go mine. Religious, right? No, mine. Well, I don't really have a whole lot of mine to begin with. Okay, that would have gained mine, right? That would have gained six. Okay, okay. I could have gotten it off a of beta DM dragon. Right? That's six. And then the other three points, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six plus three. No, that's 12. That's not going to cut it. This is five, right? Six plus five would have been 11. And then a three. Yeah, yeah. That would It would have been possible if I had done what Angry Pigeon suggested, right? To basically leave... Un get the highest mind possible. Right? And then go back do the event, and then if my memory is good enough, pick the six, five, and something else. Right? I think that would have worked. Yeah, I think that would have totally worked. Okay. Live and learn. We figured out something there. Ooh, a temporary magical twig. And crit 20, right? I'll take it. They stuff their packs. We stuffed our bags. Is this better than what we are currently wearing? It's the same, but we have a 50% chance to damage to menfolk. What's menfolk? Who the hell is menfolk? I'm guessing it's people, right? Humans versus humans. I mean, it's still better than what I have, right? better than nothing. Alright, well this is crit, right? Who do we want to crit? Enchant a weapon with crit. Lunchbox's weapon, right? Because if he crits, he does the most damage. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, men folk includes humans and halflings, etc. Humanoids, okay. Men folk. They should have just called it humanoids. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
men folk. Three and a half men. I'm taking the easy one, right? That guy's a men folk, right? The smithy is next. What is this one? What is that icon? I think that's a shrine. That's slime. The smithy is probably better. I get a free upgrade. Ambush. No ambush. Oh, there's a sparkle underneath him. Fight. Okay. This is random though, right? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna shock this guy. He's stunned. So chop, right? Hang on, what does this one do? No, we're gonna chop. Is this better? 50%. I mean, I go back only one row instead of three rows. If I go this way, he goes all the way back. If I go this way, he has a chance to fight again. Lunchbox and fight again, right? Because Lunchbox has the best weapon. No, Lunchbox has the crit chance, right? Yeah, Lunchbox gets a fight again. I don't know, guys. Go for the 10 12. Or. Get a closer attack. Because he's got the most damage. I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, the 5 haste, right? I think the 5 haste is better. Oh, DM Dragon. Okay. Finish him! Nice. Encouraging progression. Alright, so this guy, what's he get? Let's bleed him out, right? Chance to bleed. And this is 100% bleed. What's his bleed resist? He does not have a bleed resist. Let's go with this one. Nice! I got the bleed in too. Very, very nice. That is the red shirt guy. He got knocked back. Okay, if the target is already bleeding, I refresh, right? If the target is bleeding or poison, add another bleed. Refresh the duration of the existing bleed. Oh. Or I go for the, you know, let's go with this one. Oh, nice. Nice. The crit, too. Okay. This is the red shirt guy, right? This stuns. He has 20% chance of resisting stun. Alright, let's go with this one. This is two points of damage. Hang on, he has 20% chance to resist. What's this do for me? Guard and ally, right? No, let's go ahead and attack him. Mm. And what's this do? If the target's bleeding, refresh, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, he should be dead next turn. Oh, come on! How are you still alive? He definitely should be dead by the time he gets to us. Execute. And you are dead. Yeah. Oh, how is he still alive? Yeah, you're dead. Wow, and D and D rate, uh, etc. True. According to Wow, goblins are humanoids. Goblins, well, rummage. All right, cool. I'll take the money. Something of worth in an unlikely place. Unlikely place. Two hundred. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Keep going. All right, the smithy, right? 
We get a free upgrade. Good evening, Good evening Mr. Smith Smithy. Eyes that battered blades. So, this is 10, this is 7. It's temporary, too. The first one's free. Right, the first one's free. I think I'm gonna go with a hand bat, right? Because if I crit, that's gonna be amazing. It's temporary, too, right? Upgrades last at the end of the adventure. Armory bronze is 3%. Yeah, I mean, I already know it's temporary. I have a 4% chance to fail. But the first one's free, so it's free. You know what I mean? Free is always good, right? I like free. Oh, bullshit! Bullshit! 4%! What? That was bullshit! 4% <laughs> chance to fail! Come on! You are a washed up mythy. Oh, he won't even let me. He won't even look at me. Oh my god. Fail. Time to buy the lottery ticket. Oh my god. That was awful. XCOM math. <laughs> Exactly, right? It's XCOM math for this sure. Come in handy. 4%! I mean, come on! God damn it. Nature's bounty picked clean. Yeah, alright. So who needs the heal? Okay. Screaming No No needs the heal. And then this guy, Beta DM Dragon, needs the heal. And then the red shirt guy. Alright, it's good enough. I can save it. Seven. Alright, let's save the rest. There's no sparkles on this map, right? Alright, what are we doing here? We're going for the easy guy in the bottom, right? Because we get a rescue at the end of the tunnel. We get a Guru first. I think at the bottom is easier. Let's go with the bottom. Nothing special here, right? Alright, let's go with the bottom. Alright, this is the... Men folk, right? Men, men, men. Ambush. Yes, we got an ambush. Alright, this guy should be critting. Right, his weapon should be... Damage versus men folk is 50%, right? That should go more than 8 to 10, right? Let's go with this one. That means I should get what? Four and a half? Okay, it didn't give me four and a half. It, it rounded down. It rounded against me. But that was what? 12 points of damage, right? Which is not bad, which is better than this. Because it because this guy had a three armor. And so had this actually applied on him, I actually would have gotten less. Which is fine. This is sorry, sorry, the other one, right? His 10 to 12. I think his arm his, his weapon was was 8 to 12, 8 to 10 or something, right? I forgot what it was. Chop. Oh, the crit! <laughs> that was Lunchbox, right? Yes, Lunchbox, right? His, uh, his plus 20 crit actually paid off. Right? Plus 20 crit with the four points crit here. I probably should have taken off the Brute. Can I take off the Brute? I don't think I can do that in the middle of battle. Yeah, I can't do that in the middle of battle. I should have taken that off to give myself more crit, right? Because every 
every three points or every one point is worth two. So that means I could have gotten an additional six. I don't need that extra life. Okay, I screwed that up. Now, remind me to take off the the extra health off of lunchbox. Yeah. That guy's dead, right? Well, let's hope for the six, right? Not the four. Oh, come on. Easily peasy, right? Yeah, he's down. All right, the red shirt guy. We're going to... I'm going to try to stun him. He's got 20% stun resist. Nice. I got it in. All right, so dragon DM beta. Let's see here. Nice. An angry pigeon, right? Oh, angry pigeon's got X ex exterminate. Oh, no. Didn't crit. Hmm. I think Hayes. Well, he has crit. Let's go with the crit. Did not crit. Weapons sheathed, they trundle on. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so we are switching lunchbox to get more crit, right? All right, so he now has more crit chance. 35 crit, right? This lowers damage. We don't want to lower damage. Spirit. No, that's not going to help, right? Okay, so he has 35% chance of critting. Right. I'm happy with that. Check our loot here, guys. Loot? Okay, food. Who has... Who needs food? This is 10% chance, right? Everyone's fine. We don't need to heal... Yeah, there's no reason to heal. It's a waste of money. Or a waste of food. Was there sparkles? No sparkles, right? Alright, so this is Battle Guru, right? I don't see a sparkle. Good evening. Good evening. Alright, we're upgrading the Exterminate. Hmm. Now it's got 14 points. Give me more exterminate. Nope. This deals an extra. Oh yeah. Okay. This haste is really good. I'll take the haste. Makes the warrior. Okay. This gives me. Okay. If they have slow, they take more damage, which is not going to matter. This is more bleed damage, right? I'll take this one. Yeah. Seven, yes. Okay, I'll take it. Good, 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 good. Oh, hey, is there sparkle? Good, I'll take the no money. Treasure, small, now we go rescue somebody. I don't see a sparkle on the screen. Oh, I do. There we go. It took a while. I'll take that. Something of worth in an unlikely place. Okay, we can get a guard or we can get a shaman. Okay, the shaman. I can't change that in the middle of the battle for some reason. Yeah, okay. So the shaman is worth 10. Yeah, shaman is worth 10. No, 11. Shaman is worth 11 points. And this guy is worth... Um, 
14. So the guard is actually worth 14. He's actually better health too. I'm gonna take the guard. So we'll choose the guard. And then do I take the guard or do I send him back? I should probably take the guard and send Beta Dragon home because Beta... Wait, is Beta? Oh no, Beta is not a... Not a veteran, so I'll keep Beta. Aquin is not a... Aquin is a veteran, right? But he does pretty good damage. Angry Pigeon is a veteran. But this guy doesn't have as good damage. But this is an opportunity to get him to be a veteran, right? Alright, I'm gonna switch... Angry Pigeon with this guy so he can get better in status. Peon, right? So the Peon, I'm trying to get, he's a red shirt guy, red 10, right? I'm trying to get him to be veteran. They only can get veteran status going on an adventure. Once they become veteran, you can actually dismiss them to get soul. Right, I need to collect soul to upgrade my um, my uh, layer and all these other things, right? So he, he has no experience, right? He needs to go on battles. This guy can get better in status, right? He's actually got a lot of armor, too. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. All right, so I have too many goblins, right? So Angry Pigeon's going back home. Okay, that guy's not joining us. He's taking off. Wait, do I need to change out the... the weapons? No, right? Angry Pigeon left that behind with max life. Okay, Aquin has a better weapon. But this will give Aquin... Um... Max life. I don't know if it's a good idea, though. But Aquin could do a Chance of Sunder, right? Well, that gives Bleed Chance. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's fine. Let's leave it. Let's switch it. So hang on. How how's the food situation? Yeah, we're fine. Right. How's Aquin's health? Oh, maybe I maybe he could use some food here. She he she, this character is a she or he? I can't tell. All the goblins go the same, so we'll call it a she. Um, yeah, heal there. Okay, that's good enough, right? 9, 10, 11, no, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, we're, gu we're good with that. Let's move on. Alright, any blue sparkles here? Oh, you know what? No, 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 I'm not gonna heal, right? I'm gonna get the speed boost. We're gonna go a speed boost. Of respite for the weary. Speed boost. They repose for a moment by the warm flame. All right, there's no sparkles here, right? No blue sparkles. No blue sparkles, right? No blue shinies. All right, we're going into the final battle. Should I do the remaining heals? Should I do the remaining heals? That's only like, what, one point? Two points for this guy, right? Let's heal that guy. One point, one point. Keep the money. It sells for ten. Yeah, that's fine. There was a shiny? Was there a shiny? 
Was there a blue shiny? I don't see the blue shiny. The yellow. Oh, yeah, you're right. There is a blue shiny right here. Jesus. It took a while to see it. You're right. There was a blue shiny. Ooh, a thousand gold. I'll take it. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. That was a nice blue shiny. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Good job catching the shinies. We're going to try to ambush this guy. No ambush, but he is a menfolk, right? So since this guy is a three, I will get all three. This guy, this could randomly hit him and I wouldn't get the full benefit. Or I stun him. And try to take out more, right? I don't know. Should I stun him? I guess I could try to stun him. But he has a 20% chance of resist. You know what? This is better. Right. At least I got 12 off of it. Pure, pure damage. And this is Sunder chance now. This is bleed, right? Inflict bleed. I'm gonna go with this one. That's a lunchbox, right? Because he has the hammer too. Lunchbox has the uh the hammer, the ham hammer. And this is bleed, right? 70% chance if the attack crits hit again. But the he's got armor, so let's go ahead and bleed him. Okay, that has a chance to bleed. Let's go with a chance to bleed. Oh, we didn't land the bleed. Oh, damn it. Okay, let's bash. Nope, that didn't do a whole lot. That's the new guy, right? Chance is done. Oh, damn it. Which is better? No, straight at five. Oh no, Aquin! Oh no! Oh, Aquin's mortally wounded. Oh, we're gonna have to retire Aquin now. But before that, let's see if Aquin can do a little exterminate here. Oh damn, that sucks. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Rattle. No, let's bash him. Oh, that did not do a whole lot. Red. Oh, dear lord. Alright, lunchbox. Let's finish this guy off. Crit, right? Yeah, baby! Lunchbox. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so this one is easy peasy. No brainer. Aquin is going to have to retire after the end of this run. Hey, agent number one. Thank you for that big raid there. Appreciate that. Shout out to you. What were you streaming, by the way? Yeah, what were you streaming? Uh, hang on. The shout out does not exist. Agent number one. How, how, is, how am I, am I mis mistyping that? How am I mistyping that? Here we go. Let's try it again. Shout out. Hang on. It's a forward slash, right? Shout out. Copy and paste. There you go. Yeah, how are these little gobbos? I saw this game earlier and I'm so curious about it. This game is actually amazing. It's very fun. I enjoy it. Uh, it's like Darkest Dungeon. 
with a little, a little mix of XCOM with the base building. Uh, so you bring back loot and all sorts of stuff to level up your base. It does have a lot of interesting mechanics that I haven't seen in other, other games. So this is a very unique title. Definitely worth checking out. It's pretty cheap, too. It's, it's currently going for, like, what, $22.49? I thought it was going to be, like, 30 bucks. 25 you know, to 30 So definitely worth um, having a look. I'm having so much fun. I'm, it's so addictive right now. I'm already at like 15 hours and 30 minutes streaming. This guy is definitely dead next turn, right? There you go. The imposing creature is gone. Hopefully never to return. So having this narrator definitely feels like Darkest Dungeon. I think they were going for that vibe, right? The Darkest Dungeon vibe. Open. Nice. All right, so I don't see any shiny loots on the ground, right? No shiny sparkles. You guys see any? It's got a little hidden object game to it as well as you're exploring the map. So if you see like little blue sparkle on the ground, it's very hard to to see it. Uh, it's easy to miss. So you have to like wait a little bit for the, the ground to twinkle. And if you do find it, you can go over there and dig it up and then you'll get like extra loot chance. So it's kind of like a little thing where you basically study the scenery as you move along the path, which is really, really cool. Agreed. Uh, and and done well in my opinion. Yeah, it's it's a very good um, game design. It's been well, it's it, uh, they've been working on it for like three years, right? Because I actually played the demo two years ago uh, during a Steam Next Fest, and they also had a demo a beta invite. And I also did that as well. Treasure goblins return home from the woods. So I did find a bug today. So if you guys are buying this game because they haven't fixed it yet prior to the release, they um, th there was a bug in the game where if you move your room around, I'll show you in a second here. All right, let me collect my loot and I'll we'll go back to base and I'll show you what I'm talking about or tell you about it. I don't want to show it to you because then then I'm going to have to restart again. There is a game breaking bug because the game doesn't have save files. It only has an Iron Man mode Let's save, single save. So it's possible to lose your larder, which is your storage. If you lose that moving things around, right? I moved it around. I lost it for some reason. Uh, I had it basically took away all of my um my materials so i couldn't i was basically blocked from building and i can't build another warehouse because i have no no resources right so that basically created a, a situation where i had to restart the game entirely and just dump the save file and the developers are aware of it they learned it from our stream and they're currently trying to patch it so do not move your rooms around, right? It's possible to move the room around. They, it's called a uh, hold, hold, hold the room, long hold, and then you can move it around or right click and, and choose move. And then you can decide where you want to place it. But it can create a bug where you might lose the warehouse. If you lose the warehouse, you have no access to any of your materials. So that means you can't rebuild the warehouse back. At the beginning of the game, you were able to build the warehouse because all your resources was temporarily uh, in a holding box, right? The unclaimed thing here, I'll show you right here. Right, this little, this, this little thing here was a temporary holding box, right? So all my loot was actually inside that box at the start of the game when I didn't have a warehouse. So I used the unclaimed items to create a warehouse. And then once you create the warehouse, all your all your resources go into the warehouse. But when the game deleted the warehouse, I have access to no resources to build an another warehouse. So basically, it was blocking me from from doing anything. 
because I had no resources. So I decided to build a second warehouse here just as a backup, right? In case I lose a warehouse, I have a second warehouse as a backup. So that was the reason why I built the second warehouse here. Uh, hopefully they fix this as a day one patch soon. So I'm, I'm giving you guys a heads up. If you buy it and you play it, just don't move any of your rooms around to be on the safe side. You can watch that from this morning stream. It really sucks as I, I, I think I played like six or seven or eight hours and then I had to like redo it. Um, so that kind of sucks. All right, so I don't need any of this, right? I was gonna, I think I went on the adventure so I can upgrade the war room. I didn't get any wood. I didn't get any wood from that run. I need to buy some wood. Oh wait, let me get rid of all my gold. I might have wood in the unclaimed box. There might be wood in the box. Right. Yeah, safe for selling, right? It's, treasure can be safely sold for gold, yeah. Safe. 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 And then... All the weapons suck, right? Yeah, all these weapons suck. Alright. There's nothing to buy I'm off the three. dude. And then... Hopefully one of them is wood. Oh no, it's not wood. I can't upgrade this. I was... I was going on the adventure to try to get wood. I don't have enough wood to upgrade. An honest bargain. Yeah. Okay, what do you got? Stab necker? What? Oh like okay, I need to get rid of Aquin, right? And red shirt, right? Red shirt needs to be retired. Or Red 10, right? Red 10 is... Yeah, Red 10 is... We retire him. To get the soul. They're free now to live a life of their own. And Aquin is mortally wounded, so... I'm sorry, Aquin, but you have to go. I'm pretty sure the stick goes back to my inventory. Just to be on the safe side. Um, I want to make sure that... Yeah, just to be on the safe side. I'm pretty sure I keep the weapon, but just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna take it off before I dismiss Aquin. Since he's, uh, he, she, I don't know what this goblin is. She is mortally wounded, which reduces health by 50%. So I'm gonna get rid of her for the soul. May they prosper wherever they roam. And then. Shiv Chaser, what is it? Shiv Chaser is worth 17, 14, right? He's not bad for a a tank. I'll put him on the side here for now. Angry Pigeon comes along with us, right? Who's the next red shirt guy? We're gonna take red shirt. 11. You know, this guy. This guy's really bad, right? 11 FR. Let's take this guy. Yeah, so we're gonna get him to be a veteran next. Oops. Uh, and then we can bring somebody else, right? Lunchbox. He's good to, for that. Beta DM. Yes, he's good. Angry Pigeon needs a weapon. Alright, so Angry Pigeon's got 841, which is great. Lunchbox. Hang on. Angry Pigeon is not using. So we got 9 crit with Angry Pigeon, right? Guard, we don't need. The purpose of the tank is not to have crit, right? This guy, okay, Lunchbox has crit. He's only got 2. I don't think it's gonna make a difference, right? Three back. I don't think that's gonna make a difference. I think our 
I think our shaman needs more health than anything. So I'm gonna keep that the way it is. This guy has crit, right? He's kind of crappy, actually. Alright, so we can fit in one more person there. I could take Beta DM. Yeah, let's do that. And he can take another weapon, right? Yeah, he's a Thunder. Okay. Nice. Why do I have two Beta? Oh, right, right. One was the offspring of the first Beta, right? Or is that a bug? I think that... Is that a bug? Or no? No, that's the original beta. This is the offspring beta. Yeah, see? The offspring beta. What's the question? Sorry? No, 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 no. I, I already know the answer. So let's go ahead and breed. Set up another breeding pod here. So we're going to breed, Beta breeds with his child. <laughs> I don't know, that's that's a little incense there, huh? He's a relative, oh, Beta cannot breed with his child. <laughs> that's funny. Interesting, they know it's a relative, right? It's the child. <laughs> no incense allowed. <laughs> Relative! Oh! The child offspring can't breed with angry pigeon. Okay, who's the next best lunchbox, right? Lunchbox is 13. Can't breed with daddy. Shiv is... 17, 14, right? Shiv is probably the highest. And he's a brute. This is 11, right? This is 11. This is 13. This is 13. This is 14. This is also a brute. This is a red shirt guy, right? We're going to retire him. Let's go with this. This padding holds promise. Ooh, it does hold promise. I'm hoping for the one on the right. Oh, I want the right, right? Yeah, we want the right. All right, I'm hoping for the right, if not left. Right, this one or this one? One of these two. Let's hope for this one. Breed. A game doesn't yeah, a game doesn't allow incense. Teams with new life. What do we got here? That is twelve. Oh, damn it. That is thirteen. Oh, but he's got a built-in alert, right? This guy does not have alert. Okay, so this guy is actually pretty decent, right? He's got a built-in alert. How do I want to handle this guy? Uh, eight. Nine. Till I'm 13, right? Brute. Do I want him to be a raider or a guard? That is the question of the day. Raider or a guard? Well, he's got a built-in alert, so maybe I should make him a guard, right? Crit 10, though. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Built in. Oh, let's see here. Body is 34. This gets me crit. But less health, right? Alright, I'm gonna make him a guard then, yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll have this guy be a guard. Or her. Alright, this will be our new Aquin, right? Aqua win. And you are going to be the guard. Alright, Aquin. 
Welcome to the team. This guy, I don't think I want, right? He has no alert. I'm just going to upgrade him and not pay for the 50 coins. He's just a regular brute. Boar hum. Boar hummer. Okay, boar hummer. What is boar hummer? Boar hummer. Take this off. Boar hummer is a 15. Wow, he's actually a 15, huh? He's not bad. He's actually 15. The other Aquin is what? Oh, Boar Hummer is actually pretty good. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow. The Boar Hummer guy ended up being really good. He might be useful as a shaman. I might have. I should have probably taken him to be a shaman. Let's see here. He's too bad he doesn't have an armor. I think he can only be. He has pretty good crit, but I don't. Mm. He's a 15, right? You know what's fine. He's a a red 15. He doesn't have very good body. He's only a brute. We might use him to breed. Right, we could probably use him to breed. And I need to find another person to to mix him up with. Hang on, these guys are pretty crappy, right? Prospects loiter about. I can only take two people in. I can't choose him until I I becomes my my team, right? This guy is basically 15 total. I guess I'll hire him because he's 15. Promising young fella. Oh, this is 15. This is not bad either, right? This guy's got alert. I'll take him. What's about this other guy? This guy's the worst. I'll take the left. A promising addition. I'm already maxed out. I don't need this guy. This guy's pretty crappy though. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this guy's already. He's 11 total, right? Yeah, goblin roster shuffling to make room does become a big part of the game. Yeah. All right, hang on. Let's breed another group, right? We want the the new guy, right? The fifteen. Breeding can only be done once per day. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Telling me that. And I can't upgrade this one, right? Because I don't have enough wood. And then, hang on. Should I upgrade? This addition will prove, this addition will prove useful. What does this do for me anyways? Raiders Guild. Right, I upgraded the Raiders Guild. Okay, I upgraded the Raiders Guild. I don't want any of this. So the Raiders Guild now, I have extra crit. And life. Okay, do I want to upgrade the Shaman? Oh, it requires wood and fiber that I don't have. A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many generations. Okay, what does the extra barracks upgrade do? So, I have a greater roster size. And camps gives me plus two on adventures. Uh, Ron, nice to see you playing this. I see you are a bit far in a game. Yeah, well, I got the early access, but I also had to restart... Or not early access, was the advanced uh, review key. I had to restart because it bugged out. There was a game-breaking bug. I don't know if I want to upgrade that or not. What am I going to do with em empty chamber? Armory, I don't want to do anything with the armor. 
I can't upgrade the shaman, right? Guard? Can I upgrade the guard? I can't upgrade the guard either. What was I supposed to make a quarters thingy? Yeah, build a quarters, right? Oh, I did. Okay. Oh, hang on. I don't think I. Oh. The quarters require stones, right? I need to go get stones. And he's not selling stones. I'm already maxed out on my characters. What do I do? Which one do I take? Screaming needs to carry something. Right, yeah, that's fine. Right, I'm happy with all my choices, right? Before, yeah, let's go. One more, one more run. One more run. I keep saying one more run. One more run. We need stones, right? This one guarantees me stones. Yes, it does. I'll carry anything you want, boss, right? Thank you for that. That gets me stones, guaranteed. That gets me wood, guaranteed. Alright, let's go with this one. Alright, we should be fine, right? Let's go. This gets us guaranteed stones for the, um, the quarters upgrade, right? I'm happy with the configuration. Lunchbox is the front row. Hang on, I'm gonna put... I have two DM betas with me. Which one was the daddy and which one was the... This is the junior one, right? Wait, I was gonna retire this guy, right? Because... Yeah, let me go back. Let me retire him because I, he has no special traits. Yeah, let me retire him. We have two DM. Can I go back? Hang on. Let me go back. Is it fun and replayable? Well, I don't know about the replayable part yet because this is my first playthrough. But, it, I mean, it wasn't that bad when I had to restart, right? So, DM... Can I find a better... A better raider? Because he has no special traits, right? Do I have a better raider to take? I could take Aquin. Aquin has... Alert. He has... Aquin has Brute, maybe? Mind? Mind reduction, right? 39. DM Beta actually has a lot of health. He's actually pretty solid. I have no reason to get rid of him. Other than the fact that he has no traits, though. Aquin is a tank, though. Do I have another raider? I don't have another raider. Hmm. That's... You know what? I'll take him along. Alright, so this is Junior, right? DM Junior. Or we rename him to somebody else. We'll we'll name this guy Sexy Hog. How's that? Sexy Hog. That is you. You are the tank. We'll keep DM beta. Sex eye hog, right? That is you. All right, we're going to take this one for the guaranteed stones. It has an unknown enemy. I'm not thrilled about that. And then the guard. Let's put the guard near the front. So that way, if I need to use him, I can, right? All right, I'm happy with this. It's very fun, very, very addictive, and the mechanics are very unique. Totally unique mechanics. Alright, what do we got here? What's the quest? It's a new one, right? Scout Furrow's Rest. Ooh, okay. That's this one, right? Hang on, let me 
see here. Let me check to see if there's any new changes. Did they update a new change or no? I don't think they updated a new change. Do we have any blue sparkles? No blue sparkles, right? There's a sparkle? Did I miss a sparkle? Oh, there is a sparkle. You're right. Nice catch. Nice catch. Okay. Very good. How goes the Darkest Goblin? Yes, this is the Darkest Goblin 007. It's great. I had a game-breaking bug that caused me to restart, so this new session is actually a lot better. Guru, right? This is the Guru. Alright, let's see here. If you guys catch any sparkles, let me know. I don't see any sparkles. Hello. Maps are random. Yeah, maps are all randomly generated. Potential is nothing without practice. Okay, we're definitely upgrading the... Hang on, what's this one? Oh, 50% chance. Hmm, no, that might not be that bad. 50% chance to the front rows. 10% more, right? That's 4444. Four, four, four. That's potentially 12. This can give me a killing blow. That goes up to 14. 40% chance knockback. You know, I'll take this one, actually. An improvement. Normally, I would like to get the Exterminate. Which one is this one? That does 3 damage and stun chance. Okay, this is heal. Oh, no. It's, okay, well, this is 70 points, right? I'm gonna go with a wound. Practice makes the warrior. Ooh, what does this do? No. No, that doesn't do anything for me. What is this one? Dagger with 30% chance to throw another dagger? I'm okay with that. Learn and improve. 30% chance to throw another one. Okay. I'm okay with that. Alright, what do we want here? Free upgrade. <laughs> with a 4% chance of failure or treasure. I don't know. Last game we had a failure, so that resulted in nothing. I'm gonna go with a treasure, right? We might actually have some good loot. Yeah, we're gonna go with the treasure, because that 4% uh, fail last game really killed me. It cost Aquin a wound. No sparkles, right? No sparkles. Okay, what is this? Chance to knock back and some food, okay. Fine baubles. Let's see here. Who? Which weapon can I apply that onto? Lunchbox can get the knockback, right? Or Aquin. Lunchbox or Aquin. This is knockback chance, right? I'm gonna probably put it on Aquin because I think the freeze, the freeze card actually had a knockback chance to it as well. It was like 40% knockback, added another 20, right? That's a 6% chance of knockback. No sparkles for me? Yeah, hang on, let me look at this, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this has a 40% knockback chance, plus the 20%, so that's 60%, right? Yeah, alright. No sparkle. 60% chance of knockback. Across four enemies. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Oh.
Oh, he goes first. At least I didn't get poison, right? With knockback chance. Why? I don't know why it doesn't say knockback chance on there. I didn't just do three. Why did it do three? What? Should have been four. Alright, that did not end well. Okay, this is an instant kill. Away with you. Away with you. You die. Instant kill. Not an instant kill, right? But the next guy will. Oh, he oh, nice, a stun. A galvanizing victory. Nice. Gold. How is my dude here? No, no. <gasps> Screaming no, no has what? What's the max life on him? Oh, ma okay, so four points off. I should heal. There. We're all good, okay. So shrine or boss fight. Hmm. Shrine or boss fight? Well, the top gets me loot, right? This I have to pay. Let's go with the shrine. The shrine might be better. Any sparkles? Any sparkles? Yeah, let's go with the shrine. Alright, yep. Yeah, here we go. Any sparkles? They humbly seek for stone for its blessing. Fifty percent more gold. Each party member immediately now. That's more gold at the end of the run, right? Yeah, we want more gold. The goblins have been blessed. No, we're gonna go forward. Yeah, we're gonna go forward. Where there is a sparkle? Where? That's not a sparkle. It's gotta be a blue sparkle. Hang on, let me go jump down, see if there's a Unless I'm wrong. Unless you see something I don't see, right? It's gotta be a blue sparkle, not a yellow sparkle. The yellow sparkle basically is branching. Yeah, there's no, there's no sparkle. We're gonna go with the top, right? This gets me stones. Oh, there's a sparkle right here. You see that? You see the twinkle, right? Watch. It was a blue one right here. See that? That's the sparkle we're looking for. Okay, I'll take the gold. A humble reward for humble work. Okay, I got some stones. Nice. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Nice, nice. So now you know what the sparkle looks like, right? It's the little blue one. Okay, the wolf. I'm gonna try to jump him. Oh, no ambush. Damn, no ambush. Oh, this is gonna be a tough one, huh? This is 444, four, four, right? Oh, this is the knockback. The other one was not. This is not the knockback. This is the soul. G oh, I clicked on the one earlier. That's the one I wanted. Nice! Oh, everyone got knocked back. Oh, beautiful. That was beautiful. Nice. 
That was a beautiful knockback. Down with you. The aesthetics and graphics are beautiful, to be fair. Yes, it is very nice, right? The graphic is really nice. I enjoy it, it's very colorful. Okay. Uh, six to eight. Can I kill this guy? I can smack him. This guy is the red shirt guy. I might be able to stun him, right? Nice. Next guy, give me 10 damage. Oh, beta, come on. Don't bleed. Don't die. He's got 40 health, so I'm not too worried about him. I'm not worried about him. Nice! Oh, look at that crit! Beautiful crit! Beautiful crit. Okay, Angry Pigeon. Yeah, let's go with a cheap one, so you can haste. You can attack again. Alright, this is a... Any one of these, right? Nice, okay, that guy's a goner. That guy is a goner. Hopefully, yes. Nice. Blow. Mighty blow. There she blows. Beautiful. Everyone's Summoning safe. They move on. Nice. I got the stones I needed. Nature's bounty picked clean. Give me something good here. Okay. No sparkles, right? One more time. No sparkles. No sparkles. Alright, there we go. Back to base. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go. Actually, the body, mind, spirit are all predetermined at birth. Oh, okay. Cool. As the goblins prepare their supper beneath the gray pall of dusk, a familiar face joins their merry company. Ooh. Somebody joins us. The massive orc sits with them by the fire. His craggy smile by the firelight reveals a tired soul whose years of youth have ebbed. Over a meal, they share stories of menfolk, cruel creatures who creep through the woods like the rot of a festering wound. The orc whispers an old prophecy from the time of the Great Divide, when the world was set asunder, when the last song is sung among the dead, and trees awake where blood is shed. From ways afoul, a hero is woken, we forge shall be the bonds once broken. The orc explains that it tells the tale of a hero promised in legend, one to reunite the broken tribes of monster folk. Before parting, the goblins pledge their friendship. The old orc smiles and invites them to forage with him on the morrow. Okay, nice story. Oh, what's this? Chapter two. The hinterlands. Oh, we are in chapter two now. We completed chapter These one, guys. Nice. We completed chapter one. Awesome. And we should get double loot, right? Fifty percent more loot. Fifty percent more loot. Okay. That was not one hundred percent, unfortunately. All right. So that was chapter two. Or chapter one ending, right? We're now chapter two. After sharing stories, the orc offers to forge together. Meet him at the furrow's rest. Okay. I still need to build my... 
my uh, quarters, right? Is it instant? No, it's not instant. Yeah, it's not instant. What about this one? I need. I gotta meet the guy, uh, right? Meet up with the orc. That's chapter two. All right. What what do we have here? I'm maxed out, right? Yeah. Uruk high. So let's see here. Let's take a look at this guy. See what he has to offer me. Ooh, a better stool, right? With armor. Oh, now that's nice. I want that. A better stool with armor. All right, I'm gonna trade this for that one. Hang on, I gotta get rid of all my gems. Very crap, right? We're swapping the better stool. Sexy Hog is swapping with the... Yes, I wanna sell it. I wanna buy this one. All right, we're trading, so we're only losing 470. Yeah, all right, we only lose 470. I'll take it. A fair trade. I should probably buy some of these materials. That's a fair trade, right? Just what's needed. Just what's needed. Oh, they only can stack up to 20. Why won't they combine it? Oh, that's kind of weird. Uh, is there a raffle giveaway recently? No, it's not. It's this Friday. Friday. Friday is the giveaway. All right, let's see here. Who do I want out of this group? This is 14. He's 14, right? This one is 13. This one is 13. None of these guys are useful. Yeah, none of these guys are useful. How can I check how many tickets I have? You can't. You can ask me. On, message me on Discord, and then I will look it up, and I'll, I'll whisper it back to you. Cost stones. I don't have anything else I want to buy off this dude, right? Yeah, these are terrible. What's this one? No, I already have that one. All right, let's go back. And then... Who can I retire? I'm already capped, right? Oops, not this way. Shut, 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 shut. Back, back. I need to get rid of all my crappy ones. Elevens, right? And just invite the other guys. What, which one is this guy? He is pretty good, right? He is a 15, right? He is a 15. This guy is red 15. Dash B. Red 15 dash B. He's not bad, right? This one we can retire, right? Let's go ahead and retire him. I got souls. Life. Free from war. Okay, so Sexy Hog. Aquin. Sexy Hog. You use the new stool. Oh my god, he's got like 8 damage. All oh, 8 armor. 8 armor, right? Okay. Every three points above the base. Does he have any spirits? No, he does not spirit. Okay. Yeah, Sexy Hog, you're still alive and you actually have amazing armor. And you are really good at tanking. Alright, I'm happy with him. Oh, wait, hang on. What, am I, what are my other choices? This guy, what's his deal? 
He is 15, right? He's actually pretty good. Red, 15. Dash A, right? He's actually really good. He's got an alert. Okay, that guy's not bad, right? 15 is good. This guy has got... He's a 12. Silver Chaser. He's a guard, right? He's not a bad guard, right? Oh, he's got alert, too. Take this off. And put this on there. It's bugged for some reason. It's not changing. Yeah, it's not changing for some reason. Silver Chaser, right? There we go, Silver Chaser. I can't pick you for some reason. Yeah, there's a weird bug that keeps flip flopping. But he definitely makes a good tank. Oh, wait, why is he not? No, it's Silver Chaser. There we go. That's 16, right? 17. Uh, right, right, right. That makes him 14 only. Okay, that makes him 14 only. So he's a decent guard. This is a 15, right? I really need to get rid of these guys. Okay, let me see if I, I have more guys than I need. And I want to be able to take these guys, right? Because these guys are what? 15s, right? This guy is 7. It's 12. No, this guy sucks. This guy is 13. This guy is 13. But my other guy... My other guys are 12, right? So let me go ahead and re get rid of this guy. I'm, I'm sorry, hang on. I'm getting rid of this guy. Just to make room. They're free now to live a life of their own. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Let him live a carefree life. Free from war. So we freed up two, right? And then the other... So we have three op... Yeah, let's go ahead and hire these three. Prospects loiter about, eager for admittance. A promising addition. Okay. And... Let's go ahead and rename them, right? Let's sort it with the newest. So this guy is... 12, 13, 14, 15, right? Yeah, he's 14. He's total 14. So this guy's red. 14. With a religion trait. This guy is 13. With no trait. Red, 13, no trait. 13, no trait. And then this guy... He is 13 religion. 13 religion, right? So those are the 13th are the lowest. This guy has all sorts of skills. All right, well, let's go back to breeding. Can you go over 18 if you find a goblin around? Maybe, I don't know. But you could probably breed them, right? Because 16, I'm guessing you might be able to breed the. You get 666, right? You might be able to breed an 18. A strong lad Want to be born, father? Age. Please, Any bread. <laughs> Soy tarted kitten, welcome. Alright, who is... Who is the highest out of the group? 15, right? I don't think I have a 16 anywhere. I'm pretty sure I don't have a 16. Pretty sure I don't have a 16. 
Now, beta DM is 15, right? Yeah, I don't have a 16 anywhere. All right, that's a 15. What's he's a brute? He's also a brute. He's an alert, right? Okay, so let's mix this guy. Alert with a brute, right? The makings of a strong brood. Oh, these are terrible combinations. Oh, the one on the right actually is not bad, right? That's 16 on the right, guys, right there. There's a probability of me not getting that, though, right? All right, let's see here. What, what's my other combination? Switch this guy out. The den needs new blood. Okay. This is 17 with no special trait. Wow, 17 with no special traits. Can you breed me? <laughs> you want to be bred? Well, I don't think your your character has that quality, right? Your character is only 14, 15. Oh, your, your character is a 15. And oh, you know what? Yes, yes. Actually, I will breed. I will throw you in there. This pairing holds promise. Yes, this one. Okay, let's see here. So, the far left basically gets me 15. The middle gets me 15. Brute and alert, right? Sexy hog, I might consider it in the future. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's try this other combo. They're related? Oh, they're related. The den needs new blood. Ooh, oh, I get a lucky trait. This is new. I definitely want to go with this one, right? So then I can get like a new trait. This genetics, this is actually an interesting combination. So I'm not getting the most possible, but I can get a new trait. Right? I get a new gene trait. Alright, let's get, let's hope for a lucky. How, yeah, it, it, I don't know how lucky got in there, but <laughs> I'll take it. Right, brute alert. Somehow we got lucky. It's lucky rolls. Alright, please give me a lucky. Generation, a new hope. Slap Tanner and Russ Shiner. What are you? No lucky. No lucky. What in the hell? No lucky. Oh my god. Fail. Never lucky. What? Fail. That's so fail. By the way, each goblin have gender. I don't know if the gender... I don't know if they have a gender or not. I think goblins do, don't have gender. You can mix match them. I think they're all asexuals. So this guy is 15, right? 16, 15. This guy is a 15. Slap Tanner. And this guy is also a 15. But he's a brute only. I think I want to keep this one, right? He's got an alert. Alright, this guy is good, right? He could be a tank. Ideally, right? Let me see if I can take the blue brute off. No, hang on. He's got mind. Mind makes him very strong for crits. So if I make him a raider, he can actually crit really well. Because that just gives him health, but it takes away crit. Right? If I go with that, I keep the armor and crit. 
Yeah, you can turn them off if you want to. You can choose. You can have four traits, but you can only choose two. That's the way it works, right? So you can basically use that to customize how you want your character. So if I want this guy to be a raider, a damage dealer... If I want him to be a damage dealer... I can keep that, right? Because then every point of mine becomes two crits. So actually that will be a 24 crit chance, right? If I choose Not him. Right, if I go with that, if I go with the other choice... Every three body points gains one armor. So if I go with this... He would actually be a pretty good tank, right? He's got, what, six points? Or th three points of armor. If I go switch to the Raiders... And take this off, I will have 24 points. Yeah, see, it, it didn't update earlier. It, it was bugged. It should have been updating. So he actually has 24 points of... Of crit. I think this guy would probably be better as a Raider. He has lots of crit value. Alright, who wants to be this guy? Anybody? Any takers? Who wants to be this guy? Um, Skid, right? Skid, you want to be this guy or no? Skid Z087, right? Skid... Yeah, Skid 087. Is it 0 o 87. That is you, Skidzo. So you are a raider. You're going to do 24 crit. You have a chance to also... Oh, not chance, but you also have extra armor mitigation as a raider, which is actually a nice little perk there. Um, So I'm going to go with that. So you're going to be a raider. Do I not have money? Wait, why? Oh, oh, I can't because... Oh, I gotta retire some people first. I gotta retire people first. Okay, let's, let's go back to our war room here. Yeah, that's fine. I need to go back and... How do I upgrade my roster size? No, I gotta get rid of my... I gotta get rid of some of these other guys. Wait, no, not in the barracks, right? Not in the barracks, it's in the war room. That's the only way I can see them all. War room. Alright, so... 13 I don't need, right? Let me get rid of 13. Brawl, brave, religious. All right, so let me get rid of this guy, right? This guy I don't need. Yeah, I don't need him. He's pretty crappy. Let's go ahead and re re eject him. They're free now to live a life of their own. What about this one? That's just alert alone. This guy is brawl, but he's got all sorts of. Okay, he's actually got pretty body right there. Yeah, Reject this guy. He's got a really bad body. All right, you're terrible. They prosper. All right, so let's go back, and we're gonna get Skidzio87 and to join us, right? Which one was it? This guy, right? So he's a raider. An appropriate vocation. Yeah, see, it's bugged out again. It should have showed the crit appropriately. I don't know why it's not. This better suits their temper. See that? It's not it's not upgrading. Now it's upgrading. See that? There's a there's a visual glitch. But that is the correct value now, right? So he's gonna join us. Gidzo87, thank you for joining us. Now this guy. He's really kinda crappy, but right? 
is a 15. He's not terribly bad. But he has no ability to even get us, even if he's a raider, right? Uses body every three. He's not even, he's only gonna get one point. Right, brute? This gets maybe two points, right? An appropriate vocation. This better suits their temper. For some reason, it's not updating. He's supposed to get... Every three body points gain one armor. For some reason, it's not up upgrading that armor. I don't think I want to spend the money on him. A new calling. An appropriate vocation. No, right? Get back. We're just gonna... We're just gonna take him. No, we just... Okay, we don't want to upgrade him. He's just gonna be a rookie peon. And then I can just get rid of him, right? He's 15. 15B. 15B is not terribly bad, I guess. Yeah, 15B. I gotta remember the lucky combo. So 15B is this guy, right? Where is he? What was his name? What was his name? Did I oh, I don't have space for him. That's why I can't recruit him. Forgot. I don't have space for him. Or no. No, I did recruit him. Why did it not... Why did it not show up? What was his name? I forgot his name. Supposed to be 15. Oh, Rush, right? Yeah, Rush. Okay, yeah. He is the red 15B. That's his only trait, is the brute. Alright, Skid is 40. He's actually pretty good, right? He just needs a weapon later. Yeah, Skid is pretty good. He's also, he's got what, 564? What's yours? Wow, he's actually better than Lunchbox. Yeah, he's actually better than Lunchbox. 553, five, he's 564. That means he's actually got more crit than Lunchbox. Right, yeah. He's got more crit than Lunchbox. Let's see here. Let's switch out the... Let's put Skid in here so he can get some veteran status. And then we're gonna put... We're gonna keep Lunchbox for now, though. And then Skid. Let's take a look at Skid here. Skid is... Yeah, so he's... He has more crit than Lunchbox at the end of the day, right? Because if you compare to Lunchbox... He's, yeah, see, Lunchbox only has 24. So Skid... Zo87, right? We'll keep him. This guy, we need to... He's our red shirt. We're getting rid of him. And then... Uh, I think everybody else we're fine with, right? Yeah, we're happy with this. All right, let's go. By the way, there's more classes than shown on the panel. Yeah, there are. I just don't have access to them. I wish that I don't have access to them, right? I don't think I can build anything here. I guess it makes space a new one, right? I don't think I can add anything else. Did I already make the quarters? Okay, the quarters is being under const construction, right? Yeah, so there's nothing else I can do... ...yet. I need to start collecting 20, right, to be able to upgrade. Alright, so I need 20 more... Or, sorry, 11 more to go. 11 more souls to go, right? Alright, 11 more souls to go. All right, what? How much? How much uh, resources do I currently have? All right, let's combine this. Right. 
For some reason, that doesn't combine. Yeah. Splits. For some reason, it doesn't combine. You see that? Split. Seven. Nine. Yeah, see that? For some reason, it did not combine. When you stacked it on top, it should have auto-combined that. I'm okay with this, that's fine. So what do I need now? I need more stones and wood, right? I need stones and wood or and fiber. Stone, wood, fiber. Those are my thingies. We gotta meet the orc somewhere, right? I think that's where we're supposed to meet him, right? Yeah, let's go meet him there. Oh, I don't get any resources though, but I does complete the quest. Fine, let's go there. I might be able to get some from harvesting. Yeah, let's go with this. You can merge two similar rooms into a larger one by moving them together. I don't want to mess with moving them. I might actually delete my my uh, thingy. My warehouse. Something of worth in an unlikely place. Yes. We got the shiny on this map already, right? Uh oh, what's this? Looks scary. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? I don't know. You no, know, he's not attacking me, so he must be a good guy. A cloaked figure beckons with a wave. Hail, dear friends. Fear not. I mean no harm. He chuckles, eyes gleaming for, from his ropes. He reveals two bottles. Here's the good stuff. A potent elixir for perilous battles with with a sly grin. He, uh, he presents the other bottle. Ah, and this one. He chuckles. Quite different. Not for the faint of heart. Uncorking it, a pungent odor fills the air. I'll uh, part with ear, either at a irresistible price. What's your choice? I don't have any money. The stinky one? What is... What is... What is plus 20 maybe reduced? That's the gamble, right? I don't know, guys. Do I want to gamble? 50-50, right? Alright. Gamble. What do you guys think? Gamble, right? Let's... Hmm. Haven't seen this event before? Alright, let's gamble. Always gamble, Gifs. <laughs> Alright, let's gamble. Please be good. What the hell? What the hell? Oh! Guys, what was that? Did you, do you, do you, does anyone remember? Choose three. It's guaranteed. I think they all win, can't lose. We got this, easy win. Any of them, right? What was, what, do you guys remember the numbers? I don't remember the numbers. Somebody, quick, tell me the numbers. All was four, and there were they were mostly three or four, right? All was four and one and five. Oh god, guys, do you know which one was four? All was four and one five. They were mostly three fives. Okay, all right. Literally thinking any any three auto wins. All right, that's a four. That's a four. That's a four. Yes. I get 20%. Oh, yeah, you're right. They were all fours. Yeah. All right. Cool. Gain 20% speed. Cool. 
Is that temporary, though? I guess a potion is not permanent, right? I think that was temporary. No treasure, however small, is worthless. Let's take a look. Speed. Oh, I think that's permanent, right? All of our goblins get plus 20. Oh my god. Oh my god, I should have brought some more characters with me. I think this is permanent, right? It didn't say it was temporary. Yeah, it's permanent. Oh my god, all of our characters have... We brought a red shirt and he got a permanent 20% increase. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, okay. Alright, that was really good. You, you think it's temporary. I, it doesn't say. We'll find out at the end of the run. Open. Don't get excited till the end of the run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get excited for sure. All right. What do we got here? That was a nice little loot there. Power five. Wow. Okay, beta DM, max life for you. All right, beta DM. And this was gain five per attack, right? Per attack, not kill. Oh, that's gonna be so awesome. Who do I want to give this to per attack? Who's really fast? Oh, we left lunchbox at home. Let's see here. This guy has the most attack value, right? Life per attack. Huh. Ask your mom to get your lunchbox for you, yo, yo, right? I'm thinking here, skids or DM? gets the five a life per attack. Who's fastest, right? I don't I don't know. I, I I'm thinking this is probably the best to to give it on this guy, right? Let's put it on this guy for now. I think he has a, a haste skill, right? He has a haste skill. Skids, right? Skid has a hay skill. Sudden strike, right? That's the hay skill. Right, right, right. So if he attacks more often, then he heals faster. All right, so top or bottom? Top is hard. It gets treasure. It also gets goblins. Oh, wait, the bottom also gets goblins. As a choice. Either way, I have to deal with... Oh, wait, no. The top has two hard. The bottom has... Harvest, right? We kind of... We're here for the harvest. Yeah, let's go with the bottom, because we're here for the harvest, right? Because I needed money. Or, sorry, I needed resource, right? Um, okay, let's go with the bottom. Any shinies? No shinies, right? Oh, ambush. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. These guys are weird looking. This is a chance for knockback, right? No knockbacks. Damn it. This is potentially instant kill. Nope, didn't happen. It's fast attack. An 
Stretching progression. Nice. Hmm. Rattle, right? For eight points. With a chance of stun. Or no, definitely stuns. Definitely stuns, right? Oh, he has a 40% resist. Yeah, see, he resisted that. This is a clean kill. Alright, the next guy does poison damage. Oh, damn, Beta got poison. Oh, this is a guarantee kill, right? This is guarantee kill, that is not. Alright. How's Beta still in the front row? How is he still in the front row? Oh, that's awesome, huh? How was he still? I guess his speed was really good. Just keeping the spotlight hog in, yeah. Alright. This is exterminate, right? And then magic. He's gone. Refuse to get out of the way, yeah. Conflict, though, if it killed it, only not one. Necessary. Okay, it's fine. We don't see any shinies, right? That's no, fine. Take all. How much? Thirty percent. Yeah, let's do that. It's fine. No shinies, right? No shinies. I get a free harvest. No ambush. Knockback chance. Yes. Somebody got knocked back. Two got knocked back. Nice. Chop. Skids, yeah, that's good. He's just soaking these damages. 14. Oh, a crit! Beta, nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I crit that guy. 25. Wow. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was a perfect crit. Alright, let's take this out. I should be able to kill him, right? No. I'm short by one. If this crits, then yes. Oh my god, terrible. Sexy Hog got... Oh, he blocked it! Nice! Oh! Sexy Hog's got like eight. Oh my god, Sexy Hog is so good with that eight points. It's like no one can take him out. Oh, he got poisoned though. Well, that's crazy, huh? No, he got he got hit with the poison though. It's unfortunate. But having that eight points basically unstoppable tank. Otherwise. I should be able to heal him, right? That's four points. Two points. And that guy should just die right away, right? Okay. Thirteen points. Yeah, he's a he's a dead man. Oh, that crit. Nice. With each victory, they advance their cause.
That was a beautiful attack. Read the last part of the exterminate abilities. Yeah, it pushes it back all the way back, right? Nothing must be wasted. Let's read that. What'd you let's see here? Which one was the exterminate? This one, right? Yeah, see, if this target dies, this ability costs one instead. Cannot be used on the first turn. Yeah, I can't do it on the first turn. If it kills, it only costs one instead of five. Oh. That's probably why you didn't move all the way back. That's probably why that other game you didn't move all the way back. And your haste actually put you forward. I think that's probably what happened. No sparkles, right guys? No sparkles? Let's go rescue somebody here. Oh, nobody knew. No blue sparkles, right? Top guy is terrible for Raider. He has no crits, but he has lots of health. Thick blood is new, though. We might want the top or the left, right? Because he's got thick blood. Ruthless. What's ruthless? Oh, he's got skeptic, too. Oh, he's got lucky, too. What's ruthless? Plus five power after killing a foe. Oh. What's thick blood? Resistant is plus 50 to bleed. They have potion to buff. Well, Skeptic and Lucky are on both of them, right? Oh, wait. Lucky is on the first one. This gets me three different new items. This gets me only two, right? All right, what do I want, guys? Thick Blood is what? That's Resist. This guy has Lucky, right? Crit 5. I could probably generate my own Lucky, right? I, I have the ability to generate my own Lucky. The 20% effect, they have it. Oh, that might be temporary. That might be temporary, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at that, too. So what do you think, guys? Ruthless? I mean, Skept, sorry. The Lucky, I have a way to generate that. Ruthless, I do not. Skeptic is mind, but spirit is reduced. Which one of these skills do I want? This is resist, right? Lucky is something I can do. Okay, I'm going to take this one, right? Because this one, I think I, I can... I can get off of getting this guy anyways, right? Skeptic is- they're both skeptics. Ruthless is new. Lucky I have the ability back at base. So the only one is Thick Blood. But I really don't care about Thick Blood that much, do I? Yeah, Ruthless seems really nice, right? Plus five after killing a foe? Is that permanent, though? No, it's not permanent, right? I, I don't- sorry, I, I meant is it for the adventure or for the battle? Right? Plus five for the battle or plus five for the adventure? Hmm. I'm guessing it's for the battle only. Well, that, that wouldn't be true, though, because all these other ones are permanent. It would be nice to know what that plus five after killing a foe is. I mean, I don't imagine it being permanently stacking, but maybe during a battle. I don't know here. Okay, so the other option is what? Thick blood is resisting bleed. What's skeptic? Skeptic is kind of meh. All right, I'm going to go with ruthless and figure see how this goes. He's a 5-3-3, three, 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 right? He's not a good shaman, so I'll send him home. I'll, no, no, I'll, I'll send him home. Yeah, you go home. 
I think, for battle, but haven't actually seen it happen. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll find out when we... Oh, we can't find out this run. Because we just sent them home. Top or bottom? Wow, the branching is kind of crazy. I think I should just go bottom, right? Because I have a chance to get another goblin here. Yeah, let's go with bottom. Because I want more traits, right? To breed. This breeding really adds a whole new dynamics to the game. Nope, no ambush. That does not push, right? Oh, guy in the back. You should actually get health back, right? For each attack. Yeah, you got five points of health back. That's overkill. Not such overkill. Okay, this is definitely chance to, s to stun. That's 20% chance. This is 100% chance. Let's go with this one. Nice. And then s slash there. And this guy is the... The peon. Yeah, I think the the speed might be temporary. I have a bad feeling it's probably temporary. Okay. Poor doggy. Foolish creatures. Okay. Oh, I got meat. I got meat. Arby's. We have the meat. I don't see any sparkles, right? Alright, what do we got here? It doesn't look bad, right? Unless it's an ambush. Or is it free loot? Spar of the moment. And this is their journey. The goblins come upon an old training dummy. Near, nearby lie an array of wooden weapons that have seen better days. It's evident that this is the abandoned place once served as a training ground. They ponder de dedicating a few moments to spar and train in preparation for the greater perils that lie ahead. Spar and train. I get minus 5% life, but I get ability upgrades. Is this permanent? I don't know if that's permanent or not. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. It's probably one of those memory thingy, right? If I fail, I get less life. If I pass, I get the ability upgrade. I think that's what it is. Right, we'll find out. 5% is not that big of a Probably just run same as Rue, but damage is my guess. I don't know. We'll find out. You guys, try to memorize what's on the screen because my memory is really bad. So here we go, guys. Memorize the cards, quick. The group dedicates time to try... Oh, okay, this is not a memory test. Using wooden... Oh, okay. So basically... I don't know if this is permanent or not. From their forever, it's been very for okay. Yeah, let's find out. Oh, you're right. It is like the okay. It's temporary, guys. It's it's basically like the Guru. It's a temporary buff. Temporary buff upgrades last until end of battles. So we've already figured that out. 
Rattle. I'm gonna take a rattle. Makes the warrior. You lost like 13 hit points split from all. Okay. Uh, 50% to all foes. Foe was slow. Take double the amount of damage. Level up. And heal. Damn it. These are terrible. Terrible. I don't have... I don't do slow enough, right? Yeah, let's go with this one. Mm, Terrible. This one does knockback chance. Uh, I'll take that one. Mm, it's not that big of a deal, right? We took a few points. There's like a campground. There's a campfire coming up, right? So we should be fine, right? With with a heal. Oh, hey, there's a loot here. Ready for the taking. Ready for the taking. All right, give me some good traits here. Any shinies. No shinies, right? All right, what, what did we get earlier? We got Skeptic Lucky. Right? I think we got... No, we didn't get Lucky. We didn't get Lucky. Skeptic, we do have, right? Oh, yeah, the first one. This gets... This guarantees us. Okay. I'm taking the first one because this guarantees us Lucky. We don't have to try to generate Lucky. We will have Lucky. All right, so why don't I take the first one, then? Ricky Guard. Wow, this guy is... Oh, this guy is pretty crappy, actually. This guy is pretty crappy. But he, his purpose is to breed. He's a breeder. Yeah, he's a breeder. Lockpicker. We're gonna have to get rid of goblins when we get back, though. Right, there's no shiny on this, right? So should I heal or should I? What are we looking at here? 20% heals? Yeah, I should probably heal. We already have the speed boost. There's no reason to get the speed boost again, a cozy right? Fire welcomes the way worn. Yeah, let's go with the last. They settle in, weary of the road. All right, I don't see any shinies. I don't see shinies, right? No shinies. No shinies. All right, battle time. Oh, no. They confront the scourge to put an end to its terror. Uh oh, Skids. Oh, Skids has to all foes. Three times four is twelve. Yeah, let's go with this one. Oh shit. Oh come on. Alright, you get you die. Down with you. Yeah, down with you. Skids should now get five point back. Yeah, easily. 
So now we have the big guy, right? Hang on, this one gives damage, bleed. This crits has a chance to bleed. Let's go with a chance to bleed. Damn it. And this guy is... Let's throw the stone. Nice, he stuns. Well, nice, nice. Sexy hog is so good. Rattle. Eight points and stun. Nice, even better. Slash. Crit. Target's not bleeding. Haste, right? No, this has a chance to bleed him. Did not bleed him. Damn it. Okay, 14. Please crit. Okay, we should kill him off now, right? Nice. The other guy got knocked back. Good. Five points or stun chance? Five points. Oh, 12. Oh, that crit. That ham bat. Nice. Hopefully never to return. Is there any way to shred armor? Yeah, there's a sun uh, sunder uh, ability. So yes, you can. Well, there's nothing else, right? We didn't meet the orc. Something's not right. Well, how come we didn't meet the orc? Oh, here we go. We do. We do meet the orc. Goblin's pause as the wind carries the lingering note of a tortured wail, mixed with the dissonant twinkling of laughter. Uh -oh. They bear witness to a band of adventurers dragging along an unfortunate creature bound I think that's the orc. in a patchwork burlap sack. These are most certainly halflings, stout, childlike beings whose innocuous visages mask a twisted malice within. Oh. I think that was the orc in the bag. I think that was the orc that we were supposed to meet. Yeah, I think that was the orc that we were supposed to meet. Yeah, we didn't actually meet up with the orc. He was the guy that was in the bag. Unfortunate. What do we get? Oh, we got some stones. Okay, that's, we do need some stones. I wanted wood though. Wood would have been nice. Let's see what the new day brings. Rescue the orc. The orc has been captive. Ambush the halflings and free your friend. Layer full belt. Uh, punter lock. Uh, bicker have returned, but the layer's full. You'll find them waiting at the campgrounds. Retrieve belt, uh, putker, and lock it before they wander away. Okay, cool. So, we are getting rid of this guy, right? Peon. Yeah, Peon is gone. Let him live a carefree life, free from war. I think the red. This guy, right? He is bra. Body and spirit. He's only 13. Everyone else. Okay, this one. How about this one? This is. This guy. Yeah, this guy definitely we need to get rid of. He is just brute. Let's go ahead and remove him. They're free now to live a life of their own. Slightly less distracted. Orc meat. Uh, num num. Oh. 
Yeah. So we want to rescue this guy. To sort the distinguished from the disappointing. And we want to bring these guys because they have the new abilities. Oh, the barracks is full. How's oh, the barracks full already? Wait, why can't I bring him? Prospects loiter about. Eager Try items. upgrading to increase its capacity. I have like people. How's the barracks full? Oh, come on. All right. A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many generations. Sure. It takes two days, though. Okay, let me see. Who else can I get rid of? Who else can I get rid of? This guy, right? Red 13? He's got nothing else. Oh, yeah. He's got nothing else. Let's get rid of him. Alright, let's check to see if these guys have their permanent. No, yeah, so that speed boost was not permanent. Unfortunately. Yeah, see, all these guys did not get anything permanent. Nope, no permanent boost. All right, that did not work out. Oh, the barracks! Getting rid of that last guy does not in, not open extra slots. Hey, thank you for that follow there. Mildly salted. I just realized that getting rid of the rookie does not increase the barrack slot. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's add Aquin on this. Maybe that might help. I don't know. I don't think I can get him though, right? Only the keen and eager are welcome. Oh, it did work. Okay. So putting Aquin on the in my team worked. This guy is pretty terrible. This guy is pretty terrible. This guy is also pretty terrible, right? Yeah, I guess you have limited space on the bench. Yeah, I think, I think that's what it is. It's, I think it's bench space. But you're, you're right. So having the population is fine, but it's the bench space that's, that was my limiting factor. 20% chance of slow? Wow. Alright, 20% chance of slow. Okay, I'm trading that for this. Yeah, screaming no no. Oh, let's get rid of all of our junk. And I want to buy the wood, right? Let's just buy these wood. This is... No, I don't care about that. It is better than this, right? Which is better? Bleed chance or sunder? I think sunder, right? Alright, I'm going to swap this one with this one. Because this has like two slots. The other one does not. So I'm okay with this, actually. Now, we don't have... We don't have a um, an Acolyte. Or a Bandit. An honest bargain. Yeah, an honest bargain. Alright, so... Let's try to get some new... A strong lair requires a hardy lineage. This guy is. Where's the guy with the? Let's go with the new ones, right? Lucky and ruthless. The makings of a strong brood. Okay. I get alert. I don't get lucky on any of them, huh? I don't want skeptic. 
Skeptics are on all of them. I'm not getting... Oh, okay. Lucky is a yellow trait. I mean, alert. Alert's not bad, right? Alert is basically armor. I'm hoping for the guy on the left, right? I'm hoping for the guy on the left, but that's not a very good combo there. Let's see here. Um, let's see, take the, this guy off. Who's got the highest hit point? I think DM Dragon, right? This padding holds promise. Ruthless and flabby, terrible. What was the other combo? Okay. This guy, right? This is religious. This is brute. Um, lock pickers, no, like that's lucky. I was, I already tried that combination earlier. This is brute. This is alert and brute. Let's try this combo. The den needs new blood. Okay, the one we really want is the one on the left, right? That's 14 now. No, let's try a different combo. We don't want religious. 15. This pairing holds promise. Oh, we want the left, right? We want the left. Put me in the game, coach. I get good genes, so all right. We'll try. We'll try adding Angry Pigeon in. See. The makings of a strong brood. Okay. No, not really, actually. Because this is the worst combo. This is. This is. Oh, this is terrible. This is only ten. No, Angry Pigeon. You do not give good combos. That is not really a good combo. No, sorry, Angry Pigeon. You don't give us what we need. Screaming. This padding holds promise. Okay. This is nine, right? That's not a very high combo. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, let's try a different one. Try lunchbox. The makings of a strong brood. Okay, that's 14 on the left, right? 14 is not terribly bad. 14. Keep in mind, Lunchbox might be a good candidate. The den needs new blood. Um, 12 on the left. No, none of these are brutes. Sexy Hog is not a good candidate. Aquin. The makings of a strong brood. Not a good candidate. Sorry, Aquin, you're not a good candidate. But your gene is just not good. <laughs> All right, so skids. Let's try skids. Needs new blood. No, we need ruthless. I'm looking for ruthless, right? This and alert. Holds promise. Yes. Okay, so that's no go. Screaming had the closest, right? Or was it, was it Lunchbox? The den needs new blood. Okay, no, no. Lunchbox, right? Guys, keep that in mind. Lunchbox is a good candidate. 14 is the highest I've seen right now, right? 14. We want Alert and Ruthless. Lunchbox. This pairing holds promise. No, right? Lunchbox is definitely better. 14. This is 13. Okay, Lunchbox is a good candidate. The makings of a strong brew. No. Wait, maybe. 12. No, no. 12. 12 is no good. Wait, lunch. We already tried long Lunchbox. We already tried Angry Pigeon. I think Sexy Hog we already tried, this right? No good. Oh, Sexy Hog is 14. Okay, so... Sexy Hog and Lunchbox are pretty good candidates. Yeah, no, this actually is the closest, right? I have two chances of Ruthless... No, 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 this, I need I need Ruthless. So this is 13 and 14. Sexy Hog, I think, is the the best choice out of the 
the option right. What was it? Lunchbox? So we got a 14 and a 13. But then needs new blood. Yeah, so it's either. No, 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 no. Lunchbox is the best choice. We're guaranteed ruthless alert on all of them. I'm gonna take this one. So lunchbox and pelt punter. We have ruthless alert, ruthless alert, ruthless alert. 14 here, 14 here. Worst case scenario, it's 12. Right. Let's go with this one. All right, what do we got here? We got brute alert, not not ruthless, not what I wanted. Oh, come on. This guy is generic. This guy is so generic. I mean, this guy at least has skeptic, right? What is skeptic? Mind, increase mind. That's for crit at the expense of spirit. No, these guys are terrible. Right? This guy's this guy's 12. He's terrible. And this guy is 14. He's kind of generic too. All right, none of these work. All right, next time we'll have to do belt punter and lunchbox again. These guys can probably get rid of. Not too worried about that. Splendid addition. All right, what do I do with his quarters? What does quarters do? Ancestors Hall level two. Completed. Upgrading the Ancestors Hall let you delve deeper, construct new rooms, and upgrade this. Is this new one? Upgrade the war room. That's my next one, right? Upgrade the campground. Oh, okay. What does that give me? The life recovered at camps is 25%? Oh, that's not bad. Okay. The possibility. War room. I don't have wood. Shit, that sucks. Can I add anything else? I can't do anything else. I don't have a new class type. Alright, we'll do the campground since that's the... The one we have stuff for. Is it instant or no? It's one day? Is it instant or no? I think it takes one day. Ah, fail. Oh, that's new. Oh, that... Okay, after we upgraded, that actually rotated. That just got recycled. Power 5. Oh my god. Power 5. That makes that... Better than this, right? I think power 5 is better, right? No, that's 10. 10 is still pretty solid, though. It might be better than this, though. Right? Yeah, it might be better than this. It's under... Yeah, okay. So it's actually better than the stick that we got earlier. Right. 9. That's 8 plus the 5. Okay. I'm gonna take this one, actually. A fair trade. Yeah, a fair trade. Hang on, who do we... Who do we want to equip that with? This guy gets the new twig, right? He gets the twig. So one of my raiders need to switch with the new power. Which one is it going to be? This is 20 life, right? No one's on this one. This is 10. 
But this is 13. This gives me more life. With the bleed chance. Life and bleed chance versus more damage. Bleed chance. Beta has a weapon. Oh, silver chance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're right. There we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's got something, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so this guy does not have a weapon. But can I move him off? I need to replace... I need to get rid of one of my red... My red guys. He's got no skills. Let's go ahead and replace him. So that's my other guy I'm getting rid of, right? Oh, well, this guy is Bra, right? Let's get rid of the Bra. He's 13. Well, 5-5. Five, 5-3-5 five, five, five is actually not bad. 4-6-5. This guy's the worst, right? The body is actually the worst. I'm thinking, who's the worst? Four five five. Nah, I'll leave it. That's it. That's fine. That's that's the guy I want. Okay. So that's fine. I'm happy with those configurations. I need to figure out how to get more space, right? Oh oh, we're at third. Oh, we can actually get more now, guys. We're at thirty. That's because we upgraded the ancestors' hall. Look at that. We actually have more space now. Interesting. I think we we got more space because of the quarters, right? Tranquil home for goblins in the twilight of their lives. Retired goblin capacity is plus 18. Interesting. I don't know. How did we end up getting 30? Oh, because the retired. That's how we got 30. What does retired do, though? Goblin veterans can retire here in peace, increasing both your soul counts and population. But what does that mean? Goblin veterans can retire here in peace, increasing both your soul count and population. What does that mean? Oh, okay. So, okay, okay, okay. I increase my soul count, but it also increases my. Why would uh, why, why would it matter? Why would it matter, right? I guess it's just a high score. Yeah, I, I mean, all it is is, I, I guess I get rare shrine blessing increase, right? That's all it is. I mean, I technically don't have 18 spots. Or so I don't, ha I technically don't have 13 spots. Retired is going somewhere. But I, it, but they're retired, so that means I can't use them. Does that mean retired guys can be reused for... For breeding? I guess retired folks breed, right? I think that's how it works. So if I retire... Guys, I can continue to use them to breed, is my guess. We can try that with... Beta DM, right? You can breed with retired goblins, but not take them on adventure. Okay, yeah, that's what, that's what I thought. Okay. So, beta DM is good for that. 
have it have witnessed it many times. Right, right. So we want to retire Beta DM because he has no special perks. But he has high rolls, right? He's got like 15 body, mind, and spirit. So he's actually very good to have to get a, a, another raider. Great times watching the old folks breeding with the young blood. <laughs> right. This is very interesting now. Now I understand why I, I, I need the, uh, the quarters. Right. All right, I really need to sleep. Uh, it's, it's way past my bedtime. It's like 17 hours and 30 minutes. I really need to sleep. Get something to eat. I'm so hungry, too. Hopefully, the developers will fix my... Or the bug that's currently in the game, right? Yeah, so this is a good stopping point for me. Exit the main menu. All progress will be automatically saved. Yes, okay. Yes. So this is a great stopping point for me here. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching today and hanging out. I appreciate you guys looking out for the uh, Blue Sparkles Beta DM Dragon for finding out the answers to some of my questions and reporting the bugs. So thank you so much, everybody. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy today's stream. And if you're deciding to buy the game or not, uh, hopefully my stream helped you made a decision of some sort. I highly recommend getting this game. It's on sale right now for $22.49. It's a great deal. I had lots of fun streaming this today. Um, I'm hoping to play some more of this when I uh, get up get, uh, after I sleep. Um, so yeah, so tune in tomorrow or later tonight, whichever comes first. Or more Goblin Stone. Alright, if you guys hang tight, I'm going to raid somebody so you get some more channel points. So you can spend that on raffle tickets. Yeah, pleasure. Have a wonderful sleep. Hopefully catch you after a good sleep. Yes, thank you. I definitely need sleep because my brain is now fried. Hey, thank you for that follow there, Arc9 Angel 1. Alright, uh, have a great evening, guys. So, hang tight.